You here, Dave? Yeah, I'm here. Is the stream up? Yep, we're live. All right, let me add everybody. Awesome. Okay. I don't know who's in so far. Let me uh, set up chat. Uh, he, are you streaming on TG or YouTube? YouTube. Gotcha. You gonna put the announcement up or should I? Yeah, yeah, I, I am. Alright, bro. Yep, YouTube. Sup, noobs? I'm doing good. How are you, Feinberger? We're going to be watching uh, the matches, with the first one being Marauders versus Goblins Dynasty. Or sorry, I don't know how they wrote their name. Let me look at the schedule. Okay, it is Marauders versus Goblins, yeah. So, let me get my lovely scoreboard. Randy, you should check this shit out. Okay. It's awesome. Poop and pee. <laughs> yeah, poop and pee, bro. Poop and pee. Looks like we got Gilbert in the chat. Okay, Marauders. And then... Let's see. Goblings. And... Then zero zero because they're both shitters. Okay. Can't wait till they start. Adrielli, good night. Andrew, you're right. You're number one. Randy, number who's winning it, bro? Who's winning it? This is really tough. <laughs> I, I, I honestly wouldn't put money on it. You wouldn't put money on it? No, I, I don't know who's going to win. I think, I think Goblings takes it, bro. I think Goblings takes it. All right, then I'll. I think Marauders takes it. What? Come on now, bro. I think you're being a little biased, Dave. How so? I'm not gonna get into that. Uh, J4K. I'm not. I'm not playing. Well, I'll. I'll play during our time, but like until then, I'm just gonna watch over some of the matches. So, yeah, no, I'm not calling, bro. I don't want to hear that. That's what I was going to say, Snake. It's not true. It's not true. Thanks for saying it for me. It's not true. It's not true. Let me turn off. Like, How do I get it to where those theme pop-ups don't happen? Do I go on Do Not Disturb? Yeah. Okay. Or just, just go offline. Just go offline? Yeah. I can't even go offline. Yeah, you I, can. I can't. Clicking it doesn't do nothing. I can go on Do, do Not mean? Disturb. I don't know. I click on the offline thing and it doesn't put me offline. Whatever. Okay. Ernie Ground Chivalry 2 community. Who is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Boster in the chat. <laughs> Let's go to. All right, bruh. I'm actually going to hype, I guess. Let's see. All right. So. Looks like Marauders is defending first, and Goblings is attacking. Goblings with Coplo, Akai Suisui, Suisui, Suisei, 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 Colin, <laughs> If Then, Short, and Cry against Marauders, Freezer, Menace, Bonk, Wug, and Rain. I gotta spawn in, get my scoreboard. Like, Marauders is missing one. Yeah, bro, Mitch. Shiv left love, bro. Shiv left love. Did that not fix the scoreboard? Oh, well. What the hell is going on? I don't know, bro. 
Spectate. I am. Alright, bro. One more sec, I'll be back. Alright. No Lahas debut. Guess I'm rooting for Marauders. Oh, yeah, you think so? This is weird here already. Menace spawning with a knife and a tower shield. I know that that's glitched. Already off to a great start. Spawn bug. Oh no. They all glitched so they just want to roll the map again. That's unironically going to take eight minutes. Okay, well. We wait. Who the fuck is that? That's Bonk. Okay, no, they're going to play it out, bro. What are they doing? Play it out, bro. Let's go. Damn, they playing at a player deficit. Okay. Goat shit. Marauders is missing one. Okay, playing at a player deficit. That's crazy beginnings, bro. Crazy beginnings. And low-key winning in the team fight, regardless. That's crazy. Amazing 360s that lead to nothing, as per usual. I'm back. Hey, they're playing at a player deficit. Not anymore, though. Okay, uh, Bonk has done like three 360s in the span of five seconds. Then to win, man. Yep. He's been living here in oh, spawn no for a kick while. Blood. Nope, no Dead kick blood. Tag. This is honestly already a good defense. They've gotten barely any distance on the cart. Uh, and Bonk is goaded. Ooh, never mind, you're right. <laughs> I want to see Coplo. It's been a while since this beast actually had some action. Let's see, bro, if he's like a ragged old pup. Or if he's just a dog that's been waiting for his day, bro. I think it's the latter. Yeah, bro. Like a Kai's taking this 1v2. <laughs> Let's see then. Menace right here playing with the tower shield. I know he spawned with it by accident, so I guess they're going to give him a pass. Yeah, and then he just leaves to fight on the other cart. I don't know what Akai is doing. Marauders intercepting the flank cart, waiting to jump, and now jumping. Oh. Wagon Guardian taking free hits for days and then dying instantly. Chris playing Greatsword Knight, not meta. At least not in my eyes. Gets an amazing spin. Oh my days. Oh, and then he just lets himself die to the spear, unfortunately. Rain right here deciding what to do. Ooh, Loses his teammate. Gets the perfect drag counter. But I don't know if this is the play. I would disengage and then go for a special. Instead, he's taking wise. hits to the side. Oh, gets hit by throwable. Wug once again taking free hits, unfortunately. And Coplo teabagging, I think? <laughs> no, I don't think I've ever seen a team abandon the cart on the left and just... No, I don't right think over. I don't think it's the play, but I mean, if they want to do that, bro, if they want to do that... Yeah, they're doing pretty well. Somebody told me to zoom out, bro. I'll zoom out a little bit. But I like to focus on the individuals, not the team, for the most part. Uh, Coplo gets a... Dave, the people want you to zoom out. Yeah. I zoomed out. Agatha actually holds this here. If they can last five minutes, bro, that's it. It's game set match. But I don't think they will. Uh, yeah. They got a little downed guy over there probably begging for revise. Two babies on the field crawling it out. One dies to a throwable. The other dies to a throwable. Banner probably got them this point, and Coplo decides to disengage. I wonder, do you think babies count as, like, on the objective? I honestly don't know. Coplo thinks he's Himothy, but unfortunately he can't handle the 1v6. This is going to be really hard for the goblins. Rabbits as they do this. That's nice. Time to open up a cold one. Berry Coke. You know it. Rain decides to...
play around with the catapult, but then he just decides it's better to destroy it. And now he's in a one with Coplo. Oh my days, that was a good jump, but he missed. And he's actually doing the right thing, dragging his counters into the, the catapult. Very intelligent, but I don't know if it's the right time to destroy it since they haven't even gotten the battering ram yet. So the catapult Big fight on the much. ram right now. I know. It's like Goblins is winning. I'm just captivated by this one. Dual Yard Rain versus Coplo. And Coplo destroys his own catapult, unfortunate, but they get the battering ram regardless. Maybe it's a good thing that Rain was here holding the catapult so they couldn't get some easy damage off in the beginning. Mwug is holding it down right now. Colin right here, unfortunately, taking the L. And if then, in a 1v2, actually gets it down and looks like he's going to solidify the kill on the Guardian, and he does. Huge! Wow. That was a bad pickup. And if then, actually doing good here. I know some people thought that he's a sleeper, and it looks like he is, because he's just slaying until he dies. Chris right here, left in the 1v2. Both are injured. Can't get that active parry off. Gets a decent faint. And then gets a double kill. Good job. Good job, Chris. But he is injured, and I don't think he just saw the spawn wave behind him, so I think that's an L. Uh, yep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> up. Yeah. It's expected. They miss with the catapult. Unfortunate. That's what you get for being in the dual yard all day. <laughs> <laughs> and Freezer pulling out the spear. Doing decent with the jump, jump stab. stab. Yep. Damn. Get those jump stabs in. Get those jump stabs. Damn. Missing the catapult again. That is, that is costly. <laughs> Remember it. Chat, it's all about time. Okay, there we go. They got it down pat. And they're holding oh, short. Short all oh, my days. No way they put dual yard Danny on the catapult. <laughs> he missed oh, again. Oh, good fire pot. That was a really good fire pot. And now it's an all out brawl here at the uh, catapult. Yep. Short going crazy on Halbert, unfortunately, takes an L to the jump stab. Freezer maintaining distance and showing that he's supporting the team like a true Pullman. Very cool. Unfortunately gets disarmed and then probably one shot by the Highland, there you go. Bonk, trying to solidify Ooh, the baby kill, mistimes his counter and now Rain is here left in a 1v2 to prevent them from yep. using the catapult. I think he actually will do a decent job with it too because that poleaxe will help him survive for a long time as he solidifies the kill on the baby and makes them waste a fire pot as it does in nothing. Good job, Rain. Getting damage off as well. Holding off against who is this? Akais. Oh, Akais go, to, go, to, go to the ram. Very good. Like goblins might take the ram. Rain got a ton of value out of that, but then, like you said, goblins is fighting for the ram. It looks like they're at a player deficit though. While Marauders has two banners on OBJ, and then they tag team short and make mm -hmm. sure he can't help. Coplo tries to take back the catapult as they have four on it. They should be able to get some damage on the door. Let's see that. Yeah. They're funneling in. They missed again. <laughs> There's no way. Man. This is what happens when you're in the dual yard. I think he's going to hit it there. There you go. Um, there we go. Oh, the Warhammer. Yep. Guardian actually properly prevents them from using it. And now that's even more time wasted. They have about half the time remaining to capture this objective and they haven't even gotten half the door destroyed. I do think that they're going to get it now that they kind of have a rhythm going and they know what to aim at, but their catapult gets know, destroyed. Man. Yeah. They're funneling in, the catapult keeps getting destroyed. They can't even hit the gate with the catapults. I know, dude, they, they've missed so many shots at this point. That is unacceptable. Truly. Coplo versus Bonk. Bonk's pretty low. While Short throws a heal and it misses. And Coplo almost gets the hit on the back there, but Bonk gets the parry off and gets a stab. And then Coplo finishes him off with a jab. While Bonk is baby battling for his life and probably gets revived here by the Guardian. Yep. Colin has decided to take in the reins on the catapult and misses again. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. This is absolutely unacceptable. At this point, they should just go for the battering ramp. There is way too many misses. Uh, I think you might need to start doing catapult training. <laughs> this is really, really bad. And it's probably because they have a 
like they probably have like a different person using the catapult every time. Mm -hmm. It's just not. It's, it's, yeah. it's probably the easiest objective to use the catapult on. Like you charge it like ninety five percent of the way, and it. They it need to go for the battering ram. They, they it's just at this they can't point. win the team fight though there we go they finally they hit the door doors about at half health if they win this team fight here they can totally use the battering ram to get the remaining damage off but it looks like preoccupying the marauders while they use the catapult is the strategy they want to go with unfortunately i don't know if they're going to have enough time for that because the new marauders spawn wave might be enough but fortunately, if then gets some crazy spacing on that stab oh my god they missed again oh my god there's no I way there's I no can't, way. Can't watch this. I don't like to be rude, but straight up, these catapult shots are bad. It looks like they're on target now, but holy. They're gonna get it though. If then gets a really good disarm and is fighting in a one v three decent, and they finally get the door at about a minute fifty. Well done, goblins, yeah. but they better hope that they reach further than marauders on attack. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, it's over for that yeah. objective. I mean but now we move on to capturing the town square where I think goblins will have a little bit of a better chance because the only thing that the town square necessitates, in my opinion, is just good team fighting. If you win the team Are fight, you, you win the objective. There's not a lot of strategy here. It's not like there's no strategy, but I mean... They're going together. Yeah, there's not, much, there's not much here to talk about. They hold this point, and if they die, they don't hold it. So if goblins can win one or two team fights in a row, that's it, Brian. Like, it's game, set, match on this objective. Marauders have overheal and a banner. It's yeah, Lacuna said in chat, Town Square is LTS. Basically, yeah. I do think you need to win two team fights in a row. You can't just win one team fight because then they'll take it back. But I, I agree with you. They literally just have to win team fights. And they throw fire pot on the banner. I don't think that was a good fire pot. Marauders actually did something interesting there. Two banners there. I don't think that's a good decision. I think they should kind of stagger their banner usage. Bonk keeps short the Pullman busy. And even if he doesn't necessarily kill him quickly, that's fine. Because now a Guardian comes in to assist, and they tag team him to death. And then, unfortunately, he gets team killed by Chris. But, you know, it happens. He was one shot. It looks like, though, Goblins is going to win this team fight. Yeah, but Marauders have the close spawn. They're back on the point already. Oh, and Bonk team kills his friend. Understandable. He was covered in red. Marauders ends up winning the team fight. Barely with most of their members standing. Uh, Bonato, I thought if you use it as two people, it charges to full faster, but deals the same damage. No, the battering ram actually does not charge faster with two people than with one person. It's literally just roleplay. <laughs> I guess you could do that in case if one of them gets like hit off of it, then the other one is still charging it, but for the most part... There's no reason to have more than one person on it. Wug here actually having some good crosshair placement with his blocks and counters. But then he gets hit in the back while a random female peasant gets caught in the crossfire. Misogyny from goblins. Okay, seems like goblins has won this team fight for the most part. Even though there is a marauder left alive, uh, he is not stopping them from capturing the point because they simply just have the numbers advantage while Marauders spawns behind them and yeah. actually jumps them. Short and Coplo are tag teaming this night until Short unfortunately was team killed, I think, or maybe hit by a projectile. And unfortunately, they can't get the revive off before Bonk solidifies the baby kill. I believe from now on the Marauders spawn on the bridge, yeah. Yep, it's... and it looks like Goblins is going to take this, so... Well done. They made up. They made up for the first objective. Mm -hmm. That was actually a pretty nice, clean take. And Marauders decides to walk back onto the next objective. Decent There's choice. There's almost getting opinion. killed by a peasant there. It's close. <laughs> <laughs> it is close. It is close. Okay. It looks like they're getting up their defenses. And they're actually opting to defend near the middle of the bridge, like most teams do, rather than up ahead. Probably so they can defend the ammo box and make sure that nobody gets past. This part oh. of the bridge is a little bit more narrow than the rest, obviously because of that platform. And it looks like it's just wall of flesh meets wall of flesh. I can't even like tell who's winning right now. Yeah. It looks like Goblin's going to win it. Yeah, one of the Marauders got taken out by a trap before the fight even started. So. <laughs> oh, unfortunate. Oh. Okay, Goblin's actually... 
went backwards a little bit to make sure that they won that fight. And I think that actually cost them the objective because now when they could have used that time to flank and run past, they got hit by the next spawn wave, which probably means that Marauders will win this fight. True, but for now that the uh, banners are in the desertion zone, babe. True. That was a decent oil pot. It actually caught two Marauders off. Killed one. And Akai Susi unfortunately dodges into a block and then gets hit. He's trying to solidify the kill on that Guardian, but unfortunately his whole team is dead. And then Marauders opts for a Engineer. Very interesting I'm choice. Back. If you did not know, Engineer can actually place four walls, but... Yeah, they probably it. know that. Oh, I guess not. Interesting. Okay, so rather than trying to cover the entire bridge, he's just trying to cover the flanks and the banner. Good job. Rain with a pickaxe on Engineer. Going for the special, unfortunately, he misses and almost hits his baby. And then he revives his friend and heals himself. If you did not know, Engineers actually heal a quarter of their health bar whenever they heal somebody or revive somebody. One, so he just healed one, half his health bar. Rain decides to stop the up. flank. Yeah, I see that. Oh, and Rain stops it. Bonk tries to help him, but it was unnecessary, and they let the baby bleed out. Good job. <laughs> Should have won Archer. Yeah, that's right, Rabbit. Can NGs pick up other weapons? Yonchovi asks. No, they cannot. They are not allowed. So, he is stuck with his pickaxe. He decides to chill on the wall. Wall of Flesh meets Wall of Flesh, and they decide that it's time to break those walls. Uh, it, maybe that was necessary, um, especially if they can get away with it without dying. If then, actually getting some good clean hits on the behinds. Misses the overhead on the Guardian, but gets the kick. Properly reads him and punishes. Goblins wins the team fight. And now they have the opportunity to actually run in and try and get some damage on those banners. Good job, Goblins. Coplo also uses the horn. A little bit unnecessary, considering I saw a bunch of bandages going out. Better communication could have saved some resources, and Colin decides to dual yard here to hold one of them off. Oh, it looks like Goblins is going to get the two... Ooh, and Colin actually gets a nice machine gun off. Marauder's pretty dug in up here. Yep, they decided to just defend one banner, and I think it's actually going to cost them. Because it seems like the goblins sort of just surrounded them and got it off anyway. Causing Marauders to waste, basically, one of their banners, and potentially a good defense that they could have set up beforehand on the tribute channels. Yeah. Can't let them be good. close. Coplo and If Then still fighting a 2v2 up here. In my opinion, unnecessary. I would have left. But I guess holding them up and killing them might be a good way to stagger their spawns. So let's get a good eye here. Two different sides happening. It looks like Marauders has decided to just forego the left side and defend uh, the right, right side facing their, their spawn. It's quite literally an uphill battle here as a 2v3 happens with goblins and then finally Short enters the fight and making it a 3v3. Ooh. Bad spacing from Short. Chris unfortunately getting 2v1'd here, but he might manage to stay alive as he has some pretty good spacing and lands some hits and then he opts in for the heal. The Pullman doesn't see him, so he will not get the punish. Oh. And then unfortunately Chris walked up and got hit. Freezer actually... Getting some really good kills here this entire match. <laughs> the biggest, most vertical stab ever from Freezer. Unfortunately, didn't land, thank God. And then Freezer solidifies the kill on that Vanguard and will kill the baby. Some pretty decent teamwork here for Marauders. They're just positioning themselves well, literally killing one goblin after another. Shorts in a 1v2 on the point. Yeah, this is really bad. Yeah. Unfortunately, Short got ganked there, and Marauders gets to reset with the banner and their defenses well placed on the trebuchet. They win this team fight. Goblins is going to have to win a whole other team fight to take this objective. Rabbit says the glaze, not the glaze. I'm not glazing anybody. Shut up. <laughs> An oil pot there unfortunately misses from Sin while he pulls out his primary and gets to work on Coplo. Unfortunately, not hitting anything because Coplo is just the GOAT, and then Coplo drags his counter into his teammate with a brilliant target switch, and the 2v2 looks like it's going to Goblins here. 
but Marauders does have the banner, which will give them that advantage. And Sin actually gets a good target switch off Coplo, which doesn't result in anything. As the Godlings look four. like they're going to take this team fight with a 4v3. Akai Susi Suisui? I don't know, bro. <laughs> Still haven't lit it yet. Oh, there we go. Zoom out? Bro, I'll zoom out. We focus on individuals, bro. It looks like the Marauders are trying to take it back, but in my opinion, it's a lost cause as Goblins takes this objective. Yep, Goblins takes that. And it looks like Marauders, again, opt for one objective while they forego the other. In my opinion, I don't know if that's the best decision, but it's definitely a safe one. Yeah, you could zoom out while following someone. Like this. It's like I'm playing an RTS right now. <laughs> All right, and the goblins finally decide to march up the ramp, instantly destroying the marauders' fortifications. I don't think those were in the best spot. Whatever. Coplo enters, and the Marauders quickly finish off some of the Goblins. It looks like they're going to finish off the rest. Pause on that whole sentence. Coplo's doing good, but unfortunately, a 3v6 can only go so well. Getting hits off is not what he needs. He needs a kill. And a disarm into an overhead, and then, unfortunately, dies, staggering the Goblin spawn. Short is trying to live, but I'm, I genuinely believe he should just let himself die in that situation. There's no winning the 1v5. And Marauders again places two banners while Akai comes over for no reason, entering the 1v6, doing well, but it doesn't matter. That was a bad decision. You're gonna leave him to bleed out? He should have 10. 100% should have 10. He still has an F10. Oh, Freezer shouldn't have killed him. Another team fight starts. It looks like Kellen's gonna sneak the, sneak the fuse right here. He's Went all the way around and he's It looks it like right it, now. yeah. Ooh, it very good job by Colin. And then the Marauders obviously get the defuse mm. because there is nobody here. That sucks, but it was expected. The Marauders play cleanup, and again, Akai goes in and gets staggered. What's the point of that? Disengage. Classic Overwatch gameplay right here, bro. It looks like the goblins are waiting for their teammates, finally. But do they have enough time? I don't know. Probably if they win this team fight, then they got it for good. While Marauders puts up more fortifications and some of the goblins opt in for the flank, the other two are stuck and they are not engaging with the other four because of the fortifications. That engineer did good, but it looks like he's gonna get hit in the back and he actually gets away. While there's a duel in the back and it looks like everything's all over the place. Everyone getting hit in the back and everything. It looks like the Goblins might actually win this fight. With a horn probably healing the majority of them, it looks like it's a 3v5 or 6, and Goblins takes it. There is a very low likelihood of them getting the defuse off now, especially with one of them getting staggered here, thinking he can ninja. This is not domination. What, what's it called? Hard <laughs> point. Domination, I don't know. Yeah, wait, what's the Call of Duty game look called, bro? Demolition. This is not demolition, demolition. bro. There ain't no ninja. <laughs> and it looks like Goblings solidifies the plant as Marauders trickles in one by one and cannot get it off. GGs. But remember, it's all about time. Boom. Game end. Very good. Very good. Search and destroy. There it is. I was demolition or search and destroy. I don't remember, bro. You already know, bro. Well both fought. Bombs. Well fought. They both have bombs. Okay, so for goblins, that's five points. You can't rabbit. It. It's not being streamed. Shout out Ape Hulk, by the way. Shout out to Ape Hulk, bro. I changed the scoreboard. Should look cool on stream. Goblins with five. Marauders now has their opportunity to attack. I didn't get a look at the times, did you? 
No problem, Nate. It's not over yet. I know this can be a little confusing because we've never held a league like this. What does the five mean? The five means that they got five objectives. So they, they have five points. <clears throat> but yeah, it, it can be a bit confusing. This match isn't done. Now the Marauders have to go on attack and the Goblins have to defend. Will the team logos be displayed anywhere? Um, no, unfortunately they're not going to be displayed anywhere. Maybe I can find a place for them on the server. I really couldn't think of a way that looked nice on the stream to present them that was also easy to manage, so... No, we won't do that. And I'm just spawning in so I can fix my scoreboard. Okay. For reference, it took Goblings 5 minutes and 31 seconds on stage. Oh, you got the times? Yeah, I went back on the stream. Maybe I'll Hold maybe up. I'll add in the times like next stream, you know? Yeah. To give an idea of like what time they have to be, but it's definitely going to be way more work. And it looks like Marauders instantly wins this objective right here. And they move on. Quite cool. And they opt in to take one cart. Oh, they no, they are going for both, but unfortunately it ended up in a 1v1. Very interesting. That means that both teams had a 5-1 split on the same objectives with Bonk trying to finish off this 1v1 against, who is this, Chris? Wow, and Chris actually wins the one. Good job, Chris. Barely alive, but he won that one. <laughs> Good job. He's probably like surprised himself. Like, wow, I, I beat that, bro. And the team fight here, it looks like Marauders is actually winning this team fight, but Chris might be able to change it, and no, he doesn't. Chris is actually fairly intelligent and opts to disengage, protecting his home. I don't care, bro. I'm not glazing, bro. I'm not glazing. He won the 1v1. What are you on about, Rabbit? You're wilding. That's not glazing. This is the Rabbler, dude. I literally said he barely won. Coplo trying to escape from a Pullman. That's not how this works. You are going to get chased and die. And then unfortunately uh, gets 2 v one Nate, there are... Let me see. How many matches are today? 16? 16? There's a lot of matches what? today. There's a lot of matches. There's a lot yeah. of matches, bro. I don't know the number. From yeah. 5 to 12. All right, so Marauders ends up continuously pushing this objective. Chris, I think, is somehow still back there. No, he's not. He's over here, yeah. Okay. So now another team fight kind of weirdly forms around here, being shaped by the objective. Wall of Flesh meets Wall of Flesh, and it looks like the Marauders are actually winning it, but... Mm, maybe not. Right no, nah, maybe not. Yeah. It looks like the Goblins are actually taking foothold. This might be the oh. first team fight they win. Marauders and no, Marauders looks like it's a 4v2. Can Goblins take it back? Unfortunately, no, I don't think so. They're slowly getting pushed back bit by bit. And now these two are staggering. They're taking way too long to die unless they can live until their team gets here. It's bad. Short might be able to. And that might actually be good. Unfortunately, he doesn't. And now it is a 4v4 with Marauders and Goblins split into a 2v1 and a 3v2, kind of going all over the place. Marauders plants their banner, which will probably give them a considerable advantage, and it becomes a 3v3 with Looks the like goblins. goblins. Opted for the Heavy Maze, too, as their superior weapon. Interesting. I They were using both Pullman before, but, you know, if that's their decision, if the Heavy Maze is needed, then that's fine, too. In my opinion... I I rather have a heavy mace than a Pullman. Um, if my heavy mace was better, but like I think most teams would do better with a Pullman than a heavy mace. Short being accused of Doomer dodging. <laughs> yeah. Um, does it? This player asks, does it change the respawn system, the server we're using? No, we cannot. Um, the way that respawns work is like a you know spawn wave system, and we do not change that at all. So it basically uses default game mechanics completely. Can we even do that? No, we can't. We can't adjust that. Okay, so all around goblins and marauders colliding everywhere. Marauders actually did push up the objective though, and they 100% pushed that faster than goblins did, solidifying this point as for marauders. They and beat it looks that time. like it looks like it, the heavy mace user is actually just running away and letting his team two v two, 
I don't know if that's too reliable unless he's absolutely certain that his team is going to win. Which, it looks like two different duels happening simultaneously while the goblin spawn wave is here. And they get some damage off with the catapult and they actually landed it first shot. That's definitely going to help them. Unfortunately, the goblins did not win their 2v2, but it doesn't matter. Potentially, they were just keeping marauders busy while they used the catapult and now marauders is here to defend it. 4v1, whoever tried to rush the catapult alone, that was a bad idea. Chris, unfortunately, potentially having the same idea or possibly delaying until his team can get here. Unfortunately, though, he dies before that can happen. Now, at this point, all of Goblins is trickling onto Marauders as they defend the catapult. Can Coplo break it before he dies? Oh, he's on top of it. <laughs> no. He did it. He, he did it, but that's all, like, they're all repairing it instantly. <laughs> that was sick. Oh, man. Talk about teamwork. Yeah, washed up shift player. Um, we can't adjust respawns at all. So basically, this just uses the, you know, the chivalry respawn system, which is spawn waves. So that looks like short, uh, shorter Callan on one end. Callan went man in arms. What's Conspiracy happening? theories. Ooh, okay. Short actually interrupts the usage of the catapult while a few goblins are damaging it pretty well and they break it which was really but good value the battering ram oh no they there's no way the there's no way really <laughs> marauders up, wug flanks and gets the battering ram on the door very cool all right then with 845 on the clock marauders rushes to the town square while some goblins try and keep some of them preoccupied coplo throwing his sidearm at the goblins, sorry, at the marauders, trying to stop them. It looks like it's going to be a pretty decent fight here. It looks like uh, goblins actually has hold here, so that's fine. Wugs your spirit animal? Yeah, that was definitely a really good flank. Good job. That was a total C9 from goblins. But then again, your attention split. You know, I don't even blame them. Your attention split between the catapult, the door, the battering. It, it's, it's really difficult to defend both consistently. Gotta have a plan. There should be shorter objective timers. Um, we actually had some maps change the objective timers, but for the most part, we are happy with these objective times. Yeah. Short actually got a pretty good target switch there and defends himself well and actually avoids the Warhammer special. Good job on Short. Very nice Messer skin as well. Trying to hit the Pullman in the switch. back. Yeah, you've gone to switch. Actually lands it though, so you can't even hate. Hits his teammate and gets a hit on the back. Doing good. Goblins win the team fight, even if barely with three people alive. Yeah, we're definitely going to ban the moose jab. That technique is too advanced. What do you think, Randy? Definitely. And we'll have to look at the shadow gale thrust after that. Hidden tech. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, washed up shift player. Um, even though you're washed up, you can still play. Go make a it's team a and video, by the way, Dave. join up. What's the, oh yeah, thank you. You like the video? I'm glad. Great. All right, it looks like goblins and marauders collide, fighting all over the place with Sin trying to hit Coplo in the back. Actually lands it successfully with a 2v1 against Colin. Colin playing man at arms with sword. Very interesting. Both miss each other while it looks like marauders take the team fight here. A washed up shift player, we can't mod. Yeah, there's no modding in shift, or no official modding. Freezer here, hitting him in the back. Marauders solidifies another team fight on the staggered spawns of the goblins, and it looks like goblins spawn behind them. Can they take it back? Possibly. Oops. So far, the goblins or the marauders are beating them on first two objectives, time wise. Yeah, definitely. But goblins can still win. If goblins holds them before they take objective five, they win instantly, so. I think they won this one as well. Colin holding out here, trying to survive. Decent holding two people here, but it may or may not be worth it. 
Sure that's not you, bro. Colin got hit in the back, and then unfortunately dies. But still, that was a decent delay. Yeah, the tournament grounds guys, right. There is unofficial modding, and those guys are awesome, the people who made Unchained, but unfortunately, it's not official, therefore it's inaccessible by most people. Zoom out. Fine, bro. We can zoom out. The goblins actually prevented a flank there. Pretty good. Wall of flesh meets wall of flesh. It looks like a 5v4. Goblins will most likely win that. And yeah, it comes down to a 6v3. Very good job. Yeah. It's like almost a clean wipe. <laughs> zoom in slightly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. Zoom in three ticks. Keep zooming out. Trust me. All right, bro. Not sure what this engineer is doing on attack. Hey, bro, who has epilepsy or vertigo in here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. So Goblin's opting in for the same hold as Marauders. I wonder if they would consider holding in for... I, I don't know why, but Marauders chose a field engineer and just placed their walls randomly. Honestly, they probably could have placed them back and it would have been fine. It looks like Goblins is getting pushed back and the field engineer tries to flank, but unfortunately he gets stopped by Coplo. Goblins and Marauders actually fighting decently well. Chris gets a nice hit on the back, but then the Pullman tries to pursue and misses. The side of the objective has been opened and Goblins wins the team fight, stopping any potential flanks. Very good job. Do six zoom effects. Whoa. Crowder's trickling in here. I think they're I think they're pretty conscious about their trickle. You know? Yeah. They're, they're not really out. fully entering. Yeah, they wait for their whole team and then they jump in. That's what goblins need to do a little bit more. Chris gets a decent target switch, but then hit in the back and unfortunately takes the L. Rain with the field engineer Ooh. flank actually successfully gets in. Yep. He is he's being chased, but he's totally going to get there before anyone stops him. I'm nice totally job, following man. this thing and ignoring the team fight. What is it, two, three hits with the NG? Two. Two hits, wow. <laughs> he jumps over oh Colin, bro. Oh, my days. <laughs> he's trying to go for the third one. Ah, but don't get greedy, Rain. Don't get greedy. No lie. The rest of the Marauders jump in. And now Goblins decides to take a defensive position on the final banner. Colin, incredibly bloody. Glowing red. Actually stops them pretty well. But then, of course, one of them comes up the ladder and probably is going to get it. No, the Goblins actually kill him fairly quickly. That's awesome. Sin falls off, unfortunately. Stubs his big toe. And the rest of the Marauders try and win the team fight against the Goblins. But unfortunately, it looks like they're failing. Holding block Menace still gets a kill by that and gets oh my another God, Menace kill. Get it. Menace successfully takes that. As long as he can survive oh, for a few seconds and repost or counter, he can get that. Unfortunately, he gets pushed off and Goblins oh, maintain the position on this banner. Successfully defending it. Good job. I think he got a hit or two on it. I'm not certain. It's stage four, right? Wow. <laughs> Bonk on the ladder. <laughs> Just chilling. <laughs> Good job, Bonk. You, you took one of their Dane axes. Colin, former top 500 Overwatch, by the way. Very good. He should tell his team not to C9. Okay. Oh, they're all running on the ladders, bro. Rain is trying to get a sneaky hit in there with Field Engineer. Honestly, I don't think Field Engineer is necessary when it already has been hit so many times. And then one good hit from, I think, Sin seals the deal while Marauders and Goblins finish off the team fight with Marauders killing the majority of them and Colin taking down the Pullman successfully. Now throwing his shit and trying to stop the plant on this side. I don't think it's worth it, but if he can kill them quickly, he might be able to get the defuse off. Unfortunately, though, they're not going to fight him in good faith. They're going to stall him and kill him. Decent job, Marauders. Marauders have both both sides lit right now. No way. Yeah. Wow. Good job, Marauders. Looks like they're gonna. They might get get it too, unless 
Goblings might be able to take this back if they can kill the Marauders quickly, which might be possible. It does look like a 4v3. Nope. Can't Unfortunately it. not, no. They tried to defuse too quickly, and Plonk jabs Coppola before he gets the chance. Coppola tries to win wow. the fight, but everybody here is about to die. Rip to everyone here. You all are dead. Is this thing going to explode? <laughs> there we go. Oh, they, they were able to do that because they fought too long after the banner was destroyed. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. So it looks like Goblins is going to defend one with Menace stealing this one. Not right from under their noses. This is a conscious decision made by them. Decent enough. Doing the same exact thing that Marauders did. Deciding to defend only this side and not the other. Definitely might not be the best decision, but it is an incredibly safe one, which is why both teams have decided to do it. They rather have an assurance of defending one than have a question of possibly losing both. Interesting. Akai here with Highland Sword. Very interesting choice. Recently buffed weapon. Unfortunately, he gets stabbed in the back. He probably didn't even oh. see that Pullman. If then, actually surviving in the 1v3 pretty decently. Unfortunately, though, he gets hit in the back. That I'm sucks. Crazy. Lit? No, they haven't lit it yet. They have not planted? Okay, well, then Goblins can probably interrupt this. Sin goes They're for the plant, right and Colin notices it. It's Unfortunately, it. he did not hit him before he could finish the plant. Goblins still probably can successfully defuse this, unless... Yeah, no, Akai did. actually gets it before getting hit in the back. If then, still fighting on very good. I've noticed his switches and team fighting is very good. Getting tons of hits off. Fights the field engineer. I think this is an easy dub for him. And it looks like Goblings has the majority of members. Now they're going to plant. Oh, no. They're defending on retarded. <laughs> Marauders actually disengages. Look at this. He goes back to his team because he right. knows there's no chance. That is genuinely a good decision. And now, in theory, they can group up slightly quicker. Yeah, this is the game known as Morbius, bro. Morbin. I don't know what match we're watching after, Rabbit. Four minutes left with one objective to go. Menace here, defending decently. The team fight is all over the place. Nobody even attempting to plant at the moment, knowing that they need to win the team fight first. With Marauders actually planting and then getting interrupted. Luckily, though, he did not take an unnecessary hit. He canceled the plant, and now he starts to plant. Marauders winning the team fight with four people left and the banner, five people left, I'm sorry. While two goblins trickle in, they must know that they don't have any chance of defusing unless they win successfully. Akai getting some awesome spins off, but unfortunately some of the goblins being held back by the fire. Do they have enough time to defuse? I don't think so. Colin preventing oh God, that guy. It. They might actually get it. No, nope. the Pullman interrupts short before he can defuse, and unfortunately he gets killed. There is no goblin defusing at the moment. It's over. It's like Marauders won that. Marauders takes that. I'm not sure if they got every objective faster, but I'm almost certain that they got most of them faster. So See, I'll tell you. Sorry. Yeah, Randy four, will tell four, me. Uh, three, two, three. For four, all you noobs watching, if both of them get the same two, distance in the map, four. then objective time is used as a tiebreaker. So. Mm. Let's that see scream is too fast, I wasn't sure. Okay. I'll have to, uh, tell you in a minute. Go ahead. Don't call me a noob. Okay, bro. The fall of Lion's Fire. I wonder who won that. I mean, I think it's going to be Marauders. It just, they just felt faster when they ran it. Just like the stream, bro. I don't care about your noob. Is that the second one, Snake Case? Okay. Which team y'all most excited about? Uh, I don't know. Looks like Marauders won the first three, Goblins won the fourth stage, and... 
Marauders won the fifth stage, so okay. Marauders wins. Okay, so Marauders takes the Fortnite dub on that one. Good job, Marauders. Well fought. Well fought. Thank you, Snake Case, for the image. Good job. Easy claps. It was a hard fought victory. Still pretty close with Marauders getting four points and Goblins getting well, one some... on the tiebreaker. But they both made it through the entire map, so. Why are the teams so small? Um, actually, I think they're pretty average sized. <laughs> I think there's a. I think I think they're pretty average sized. Ks, okay. Nothing to be ashamed of, you know. There's a misunderstanding with the servers, I believe. What do you mean a misunderstanding? Yeah, six is pretty okay. That's a that's a pretty average size, you know. Exactly. It's not how big the team is. It's how you use it. See? Perfect. Some might say seven would be too much. Yeah. I'm not going to lie because seven would be way too, way too much for me personally. I don't know about you. All right. Let me check the schedule. Who's next? I believe okay. should go to the other server, right? Yeah. I, it's on the schedule for him. So in server XY is Marauders versus Thurcore and then Server TL is Omen versus Goblings. Which one do you want to watch? I kind of want to watch Omen versus Goblings. Yeah, I'm down. Okay. Which team is Shadow Gale on? I think Shadow Gale is a substitute on for, for Stercor Brackus. Yes. SB. So, uh, we are in HG. We need to go to TL. Or they're going to stay. I believe, I don't know, Marauders should be in the other server, but it looks like they're staying in here. Can you find out for me if they're going to HG or TL? Try. Hmm? Yeah, oh, one thanks. Sec. All right, bro. So. You want to watch Omen and Goblins, right? Yeah. I mean, they're scheduled for TL, but like, yeah, that's I want to, but we're in HG. So do we go in TL? Or, or are they going to HG? I'm just going to join TL and see if they're in there. That teabag was tough. Okay, they're 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 in a, they're in TL. They're in TL. Cool. All right, so right now we have Goblings versus Omen. Um, Omen is one of the teams of Legacy. Legacy actually has two teams in this tournament. Pretty impressive if you ask me. So, pretty interesting. Is Randy streaming? I don't think so. I think I'm the only one streaming from a, a caster perspective. So. Wait, was I still talking in here like five seconds ago? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are in the They're other in TL. Server. I don't know what they're doing. Have they started? I guess not. <laughs> Dadler on Archer. You'll have to forgive me, but I haven't seen any of the tourneys before. Are these typical team sizes? Yes. Um, this is our first team objective league. And yes, that this is the team size that you'll see for the most part. Typically, our tournaments are on last team standing, and those teams are five. So... What's up, Dave? Oh, Sun God, you're here. What's going on? Um, not much. What's popping? I thought I just got done uh, farming Teto and Renown, so. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. Ain't no way. 
I, I was playing the EU raid mode. So uh, good job. How was it? I'm waiting for freaking VoIP. I'm waiting for yeah. I'm waiting for VoIP. There was VoIP. There's VoIP in raid mode. Oh, finally then. I'm waiting for them to start, bro. Why haven't they started? I don't know. I'm the ref. I guess I should handle that. Are you? Yeah. Then leave, bro. Get out of here. <laughs> How's the ref left the match? Smelly Archer gameplay? No, that's fine. They can play Archer. Which server are you guys in? We are in TL. And I've been waiting for them to start. But... No, they're starting on map roll. Okay. So, they're going to start in seven minutes. So, Sun God, did you see the last match? No, I didn't. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Well, it was pretty epic. All right, I'm up. Marauders and Goblins. Marauders won one time. Okay. They both beat the maps. Okay, so Marauders did win that last match? Yeah. Okay. Congratulations to Marauders on winning against Goblins. That was pretty good, uh -huh. but it was still an awesome match. Now this I'm is... I'm gonna go. Oh, okay. okay. Bye. I got Sun God with me now. Uh, before I go, shout out a -Polk, the GOAT. Shout out to a -Polk, the GOAT. And they're going to start on uh, on map roll. So, Sun God, who's winning? Yes. Um, uh, who's this? Who's playing? It is Omen versus Goblings. Omen versus Goblings? Mm -hmm. Oof. Um, I think it's going to be another close one. Uh, we're gonna see. I think I think it's gonna come down who 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 uh, plays the objective better. Uh, I think uh, Goblins probably has an advantage in combat, but you know Goblins didn't practice that much, so we'll see see what happens. Okay. Kind of confusing. God, dude, I know you didn't see the last match, but oh my days, Goblins. I'm not joking. They missed the catapult like five times, probably six. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Exactly. You don't have a guy who who can hit the the right the right range the catapult every single time. What's worse is they put a different person on the catapult for each shot, instead of like having one guy like improve, you know, throughout the match on aiming it. Like it was just every person's first time shooting the catapult. <laughs> It was just so they just kept missing over and over and over again. It was so bad. It was I genuinely believe it killed their run. That would do it five in a row. Like how many how many shots do you need? To it was it, a lot, but it wasn't even in a row. Like it was like like throughout the entire time, just okay. catapult shot miss, and then like go fight catapult shot miss. Error error. Uh, it is goblins versus omen. So, they were using Should beginner's luck for each cat a shot. Yeah, beginner's luck for each cat a shot, but they didn't. Let's see, see, look, these teams right now, they're like practicing the catapult. Look at Goon, bro. He's like trying to get like a feel for it. Look, he's, he's practicing like shooting the other catapult with his catapult. Boss Codes is in the chat. He's the registered uh, siege weapon expert of the MFL. Is he? Yes. Really? Okay. Pretty dope. I'm actually going to put this. I forgot that I had this feature. Okay. Uh, we'll do Q&A. Um, Q&A. Noobs. Go ahead. What the hell is this, bro? <laughs> this is so weird. I've never done this. Dave, uh, make sure you update the uh, the scoreboard real quick. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, let's see. Marauders, let's change that out for Omen. Who's winning this one? That's a good question. Um, Goblins now has more experience on this map, but so does Omen. I didn't see Omen's last fight, but. It probably was good. Andrewthless is the best. That's not a question, bro. That's not a question. But 
my answer to it would be that you're correct. Map roll. Two and a half minutes till we start. Sun God predictions? I'm making one right now. Okay. Um. Do you like Rubens? Yes. I think we're, we're going to have another close match. Um, I think the most likely uh, person to get a team to get uh, stopped would actually be Goblings, just because their lack of uh, map knowledge. Although they do have Colin, who loves playing uh, TO. To give you information, uh, they didn't get stopped against Marauders. They got through the full map. Although they almost got stopped on the objective too. That was... So the, the only thing, yeah, holding um, uh, goblins back would be their their map knowledge, uh, in my opinion. And then o Omen uh, has been practicing; they should be pretty good. Right. Like cohesion. But once again, they they gotta stick together because I think uh, um, besides Froz, uh, and Dadler, probably Froz and Dadler probably uh, Omen's strongest duelists, and. Uh, all of all of goblins is just top duelists, lists so uh we'll see I, I don't know about cry or if then uh the newer members but you got colin cope short and daddy where it's gonna be tough to win in a one so they gotta be careful fair enough all right then that's actually some pretty decent insight let me simplify it though i think omen has just straight up practiced more this team comp that Goblins brought in, while individually very powerful, has not practiced with each other once. So I'm low-key hating. I'm not hating, but like low-key I'm hating. I know, I was low-key hating too. I was saying they're, they're the most likely to be uncoordinated, make some silly mistake in, in terms of uh, objective uh, type things. Yeah. Maybe not, not be able to pull together in the right times. You know. So. I'm gonna change the score. The glaze, yeah, I mean, I'm allowed, bro, I'm allowed. Let me change the scores. Zero, zero. So when is it starting? Right now, after this map roll. About 30 seconds. Did they do a coin flip? Who's going first? I don't know. I don't know. Good luck. Have fun. I'm disappointed. I don't see Dr. Jack here. My boy. Where's my boy, bruh? Marauders attack first. Okay, cool. All right, wow. Is this the GOAT map, Sun God, in your opinion? Is this the GOAT map? Um, I, w I wouldn't think... I, in my my GOAT map, I know a lot of people think this line spar is definitely S tier. It's up there, but uh, I think... Don't say Fall Meyer, Fall Meyer for me uh, is, is my uh, sweetheart. I love Fall Meyer. Bridgetown. <laughs> Bodwin. No. No, no. All right, bro. No. Let's let's do this. Look, who takes the dub? Oh, do some Omen. votes. Yeah, I can take votes in the form of a poll. Goblins, start poll. Who takes it, bro? Who takes it? Put your votes up, noobs. Put your votes in, noobs. Put your votes in. If you don't vote, bro, I don't know, bro. I don't know what to tell you. I need to fix my uh, scoreboard. Just one spawning in. And there we go. You guys should do Montcrux next time. We can't. Montcrux is a banned map because it was almost impossible to take on the first objective. But we haven't done experimentation with the new server, so it might be like a solid map to play on. Okay. Right off the bat, fights are going crazy. Daddy wear leaves, if then, to fight in a 1v1 with Froz while Froz doesn't want it. And it looks like everyone's just all over the place while the goblins actually successfully push the cart. 
they pretty much won this team fight with a 1v1 with Froz happening in the back. If Froz doesn't win that fight over there, then I would say that he's unfortunately staggered. And yeah, if then won the fight, so he's staggered. Catapult shot actually successfully happens from Goons. That practice paid off, but they're still pushing the cart. The ball's pushed up. All right. Team well, fight idea. We'll get some damage here. engaged. Oh, but now he's got himself in a 3v1. Yeah, 3v1. Fear and Frost coming to help. He survives. 3v3. Ooh. 2v1 against Kong. Clinical cow shot. Two, two for one. One team kill, two enemies. It looks like goblins, though. Their spawn is just so up close that they can just keep trickling here and probably still take it. That catapult shot was almost good enough, but he's probably trying to not kill his team as well. I would just kill my team with the enemies. Oh. <laughs> okay, good job. Who is that, goons? Yep, that's goons, bro. And they lose yeah. the catapult. Goons is, like, destroying it with them. <laughs> so stupid. That's good. You want to destroy it now. I know, but it's like he's, they're both destroying it. Yeah. <laughs> and Goons unfortunately gets taken out. The rest of Omen is here to initiate a 4v4 or a 4v5 if Colin gets here. Dabdor unfortunately hitting his teammate in the back a little bit, but he's getting his footing. Gets a nice damage. jump stab. Yeah, good thing it's not full. 3v1 happens with Colin having decent footwork. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to matter. Oh, Copo oh, coming in to, okay. to relieve Colin, but can't do enough. But can he win this 2v1? Or at least stall until four, three of his other teammates come. It looks like they he might can. actually... That stall might have been what they needed. Dadler wastes a heal, unfortunately, as his teammate instantly dies. Dadler and Goons hold off the 2v4, and they actually use the cart as cover pretty successfully while the catapult is shooting off in a bunch of different directions. Five bolts gonna come into the back. Nice. Very, very interesting. Gets two. Fights here. It oh, looks they're, like they're running away. They're running away with the battering ram. They are, but Omen's gonna catch up. You can only walk so slow. Another kill so. for Tybalt. He's doing really well. Okay, Omen takes back the objective, and they sit here nicely, yes, enjoying the, their the defensible well. position. Yeah, I, I don't know about the banner placement, though. <laughs> it's all right. It's it, might, it might get blown up by the, by the battering ramp, but I think it's further, further, enough, further enough away. They should use the catapult to fire at the battering ram here because they're all clumped up, but I don't, yeah. think, I don't think any of them are too confident with landing those shots now. They better be, though. They better know where they're aiming. Yeah, this is a good time to kill your teammates with the catapult. Unfortunately... Get everyone close together all you need is one guy left it alive. looks like goblin is about to win this team fight it looks like a five or six v four they're pushing the catapult anyways before they even won yeah it's over good job on goblins that was actually a pretty swift push let's see if they actually use the battering ram no they all decide to heal instead and now they're using it they're larping two two people on the battering ram <laughs> live action role play here folks good job oh, oh I just missed the goons day next throw. No, that's Fra's day next throw. Misses and damage. That's the, that's is being the Batu Khan day next throw. <laughs> okay, pretty interesting fights here. It's a 2v1 on Short, but Short actually is handling it like a boss, machine gunning the hell out of his life. And he wins and he the 1v2. Wins Good job. And then he has to still fight because it's a 1v2. Again, he can't hold that. This 2v2 right here, though, Chris and Daddy wear. Do they want to rush this? Nope. Goons did a good job delaying the catapult for a while. Yeah, most deaf, most deaf. But six minutes is a long time to hold. Did Daddy wear play in the last one? No, I don't think he did. Maybe. Just come in to flank, clean up. Doesn't get the, the back hit. Omen holds with a 4v1. They revived their baby battle, and Short is on the back pedal. Unfortunately, he dies. While... Short did a good job, though. He, I think he picked at least one or two yes. before he died. And it looks like now Goblins is trying to get this catapult going. Never put all your eggs in one basket, gentlemen. Never put all your eggs in one basket. You can use the battering ram and the catapult. Now, let's see if it works. 
Okay. Pretty good. Is that a miss right there or is that a hit? I'm not sure. That's a hit. That's a hit. They oh, definitely okay. are getting the shots off. They're probably going to take this objective now. Omen took way too long to intercept on this catapult. And they're probably going to take it here. Omen's like trickling one person after another. And it looks like that's going to be it. Yep. Well done, on goblins. Much better than the first match. Press now tab. To defend the town square. There's your tab, folks. There's your tab. Literally completely even on kills. 29 and 29. Could not be a closer match. For Omen, we got Daddler with 4 kills. Goons, 5 kills. Typo, 5 kills. Afro, 5 kills. Froz, 6 kills. And uh, Bot Down, Bot Down, 2. For uh, uh, Goblings, Cry, 1 kill, but lots of takedowns, lots of points. Whatever he's doing, probably Catapult. Uh, Daddy Wear, 7 kills. Cope, 5 kills. Short, 6 kills. Colin, 9 kills. If Then, 3 kills. But of course, takedowns are just as important. Of course, of course. It looks like Goblings opts in for the simplest of rushes, which is 5 people down mid. One flank, definitely not the simplest, but something. And a team fight begins. Whoever kills who first is the determinant of who's actually going to start holding. Let's see if goblins get a kill off. Unfortunately, they can't. So it looks like even if they win this team fight, it might be hard to take it. It might be hard to start capturing. A quick banner actually is good, but goblins actually gets a few hits in instantly depleting the value of that banner. Chris here completely being an epic gamer. Unfortunately though, you can't win the 1v5. It's just not realistic. And that ends in Omen holding, even though they actually used quite a bit of their abilities to do so. A hold is a hold. A banner and a Warhorn were needed. And now Goblings immediately back into the action. They go for it's another really important fight. for defense to hold, even if they use those abilities, because every time they, they get wiped, they have to get their spawns moved back. Mm -hmm. Coplo doing some really good cancel to parries there to save his own butt. And Daddy, we're in the behind as a flanking Pullman, getting some really good damage in. Coplo disarmed and finished off. Yep, Goblins wins the team fight. They don't care about the banner. They're like, yeah, just leave that bit up. And a great special from Colin. Honestly, if I was in Tabalt's shoes, if I, if I saw I was in a 1v5, I think I would just press F10 as soon as I saw that. <laughs> and try to get him with the next spawn wave. Good spins from Short. Constantly machine gunning the hell out of his life. And Chris unfortunately gets special in the back. While it looks like Goblins is going to lose this team fight and then lose control over the town square. With one of them letting himself die so he can respawn faster. Daddy Wear deciding, mm, I don't want to engage right now. I'm going to wait for my team. Almost getting hit by Gerardo. Gerardo the peasant, bro. <laughs> you you, you got to be careful. They, uh, they don't miss. Yeah, no, those those peasants, they got auto aim, bro. They got auto aim. Also, I just checked the vote. It looks like most people think Omen's going to take the dub here. So. All right. Omen has an edge of one kill currently. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Okay. So, team fight's going crazy. It looks like Goblins is going to win this team fight. With it being a 4v3? Yeah, 4v3. Men at arms duel in. there. Colin takes it. Baby battle. Goons going for the throw. Then the revive. Oh, the revive. Goblins doesn't it. let it happen. Oh, I don't know if that's the play. I don't know if that was the play. If Goons can survive, it's worth it, but. It seems like they just oh. let are letting him live. Like they're not even trying to kill him quickly. And then Froz, Goons, and uh Ooh, a decent oil pot there. Immediately. Aflo just just streamed in and got killed. If they just waited a little bit, they might have been able to take back and tried one more hold. Well, um, they could still win this fight here. They aren't not getting kills, but they're also getting killed, so... Don't think it's gonna be a hold. 
with goblins taking the town square in just a moment. There you go. Town square. I should actually write the score in here. That is goblins with three. I don't know why I haven't been editing the score by objective. Probably because I'm lazy. Aflo here is kind of just we like, a, I got to die, bro. We had a streaker. We had a streaker all the way back at the ladders. <laughs> did we? Oh, my days. Did they finish him off or did he get it? Yeah. No. Uh, they finished him off. <laughs> I wish I saw that. Are there any weapon bans? No, there are not any weapon bans, but there are weapon limitations. Each team is under a strict set of rules to where they can only have one of what we consider superior weapons, with those weapons being halberd, pole hammer, spear, one-handed spear, and heavy mace. And that guy just got obliterated with a raider with a rocket launcher and then one shot. So you can see here how Goblings has daddy wear on the pole hammer. The pole hammer is considered a superior weapon. So none of his teammates can equip a heavy mace, spear, one-handed spear, or halberd. And for this team, Daddler is using the spear, so that is their superior weapon. Yes, exactly. The two-handed hammer is generally considered worse than the heavy mace in every way. So if somebody's using the two-handed hammer on night, it's because they want their teammates to use a superior weapon rather than themselves. Are ballistas banned? Yes, they are. The fight begins with... Omen having the banner up while Goblings pushes hardcore and destroys it almost immediately. Wall of Flesh meets Wall of Flesh while I can see Colin is incredibly greedy trying to get that flank in, probably just waiting for his opportunity to run it to the banners. And Goblings looks like they're about to win the team fight with it being a 5v2, I think? They got it. Oh, good throw by Frost. Takes one out. Very interesting. It looks like if then it tries to jump over the barricades, and he does. Deciding to help his team instead, though. Colin here dual yarding the hell out of Tybalt the Wise. Probably can just get a jab off with his shield to finish the job if he really wanted to, but instead he finishes him off with a stab. Chris and Colin successfully 2v1ing the Pullman, and then finally moving on to the banners, where it looks like a 2v1 is happening. Short, unfortunately, got Grady and was taken down before he could actually do any damage to the banner with Colin attempting to flank. No it looks like no. From, uh, Omen. Yeah, no engineer from Omen. They must have decided that they rather just actually have killing potential than using a field engineer for the walls. And it seems like it's not working out too bad. They did kill Short before he got any damage on it. And it looks like we have a fight blooming over here and on the opposite side, a 2v1 against Colin where it looks like they won the 2v1 against Colin, and they are holding Goblings here at the staircase, but Goblings is slowly pushing up. And Goblings is now finally surrounding that banner. There's no way they can protect it anymore. This banner's going down. Yep. Boom. Now it's just a matter of who wins the team fight, which will determine whether or not they get the remaining banners in a short amount of time. Cry did a good job of holding off the 2v1 on the stairs for his whole team to arrive, and now they're snowballing on the wall. Yep, Shivering Cow says, kind of surprised to see Pull Hammer grouped into the superior weapons. Um, generally, even though people consider the Pull Hammer worse than the Halberd or Spear, they still consider it a very, very good weapon. And so because of that, it was determined a superior weapon, especially because of the Sprint Charge in particular. Omen, interesting here, they're deciding to have three people, four people on this side instead of the opposite side. Left side facing their spawn. Not typical with a 4v3 happening here with goblins losing the 4v3 and Who even more. On the other side? He was just still fighting the 2v1. Loses. Ooh, goblins actually got the plant off and they're probably going to take that. They're probably actually going to take both. No, actually, Omen wins the team fight on this side. Are throwing knives banned? No. One trebuchet gone, Omen opts to defend the left trebuchet. Firepots throwing knives flying right now. And lots of firepots. See, look at that sprint charge. Instantly takes off half of Goons' health. It was very interesting to land, and obviously it can't be countered. Generally, people consider sprint charges incredibly powerful, which is why the pole hammer is considered a superior weapon, on top of being a good weapon in general. I won't controlling the middle, doing a great job. Do narrowly dodged, but gets the team kill. 
Unfortunately, I think Frost though. hit his teammate. <laughs> Goblins actually get the plant off, and they completely wipe Frost in the 3v1, and then we move on to the next objective. That was really close. That was a close fight. Goon's going for the Raider with a rocket launcher. He cannot win that, though. 4v1, 5v1, tough cookies. I feel like all one-handed is superior. Hey, bruh. That's what it is. Interesting fight in mid happening here. Looks like Goblings actually might lose the 2v1, but... Yep, there we go. Colin actually is winning those fairly consistently, so I feel like he could have won that if he was a little bit more patient. And uh, shield Goblin bumper. is uh, planting on the left side. I see that. They're going to get that now. Even after the sprint charge change, yes, Shivering Cow. The sprint charge change only nerfed it by 0.1 second. <laughs> so generally it did not change people's opinion i think it's not necessarily the wind oh, up no, of it that's the problem. no one is defending uh the other trebuchet there's no way they have it planted there's no way aflo just just responding now colin versus aflo yeah no yeah and he just and he died colin has a shield as well so there's no way anybody's going to be killing him very quickly yeah he's totally going to defend might not that be able to defuse this no, 100% they won't be able to. It looks like... Mm, yeah, no. Goblins nope. is going to prevent the defuse. Or not. What a oh, he's on. No, they got it! Oh, they got it! <laughs> Definitely butt-clenching defuse by them. But they sacrificed everything to get that defuse off, and now it's, yeah. nah, it's too late. No, I think, yeah, they, they totally um can defend this defuse. Shivery Cow, I, I think it's mainly about the... The fact that it's not, uh, the fact that it stuns you, right? Meaning like you can't repost it. That's something that people don't like, especially. And the objective gets destroyed. Goblings get all five objectives, leaving their score at five. It's mainly the fact that it's un, uh, uncounterable and it stuns you. And it's incredibly long range, so it doesn't feel like you can reliably interrupt it. With a tackle and a leaping strike, I feel like you can reliably interrupt it. Heavy mace is only usable by one person, sauce codes. It is considered a superior weapon. I'm sorry if I forgot to mention that. The, fall of the fact that it has so much range and is hard to interrupt, people generally don't like it. Rapier isn't considered a superior weapon because it feels like it annihilates opponents. Yeah, I mean, it does annihilate opponents, but generally the superior weapons are the ones that people believe are so overwhelmingly powerful that they need to be limited. And at the moment, Rapier hasn't been considered like that. Not enough people use it, I guess. So... Okay, so we switch sides. Goblings is now on defense with Omen on attack. On the poll, it seems like some of you might have changed your votes or more people voted with it being almost even, 54% voting that Omen would win and 47% voting that Omen would lose. Okay, what are all the weapons that are considered superior? All the weapons that are considered superior are the halberd, spear, one-handed spear, heavy mace, and yeah, I think that's it. I might be, I might be mistaken. I don't know. So, not gl yeah, glaive is not considered superior. Yeah, pole hammer, pole hammer, halberd, spear, one-handed spear, heavy mace. That's it. Meaning that your team can only have one of any of those weapons. It cannot have multiple of those as well so goblins has good individual and i'm assuming that's why they're beating omen and marauders um they didn't beat marauders they lost <laughs> so but now we have goblins on defense 
This might actually be better for them since on defense, your only responsibility is really just to kill the enemy team to make sure they can't do shit. And that might be what happens here. Now, they chose to not use the catapult, even though Goons had some success with it. They're probably just not confident in their catapult abilities, which makes sense. If you can make Glaive work, more power to you. Yeah, pretty much. No one's going to stop you from using Glaive. Look at that sprint charge. You can see why people don't like it. And the sprint charge is pretty similar with all pole arms. So that's why most of them are considered superior. Goons actually comes in here to attempt to defend his teammate. Unfortunately, overdrags, goes for a throw, gets punished. That was not the time to use Raider with a rocket launcher. And has an interesting fight with Daddy where it actually takes him down. Goes for the Raider with the rocket launcher again on the baby battle and lands it. Very interesting. Ooh, headshot. <laughs> Tybalt gets killed in a 2v1. And Omen decides that they can take this left cart and looks like Goblins is going to let them because they'd rather let them have it than fight at a uh, player deficit. So pretty cool on them. All right. Looks like the fight's going decent for Goblins. Killing most of them slowly with the fight being in a 5v4. Looks like here, Colin losing Oof. the 2v1, unfortunately, making the fight a 4v4, except it looks like over here, Short is coming in with an oil pot. That unfortunately does nothing. He held that 2v1 long enough for Goblins to whittle down the health of uh, yeah. the rest of the team. Definitely. It looks like Goblins looks, is going to win like that Looks like Goblins losing, actually. No, I think they're winning it. I think they're winning it. It's definitely tough. I mean, they're they're at least slowing down the progression of this cart. Even though they lost that fight, they're, they're slowing it down. Oh my days, Frost gets the Raider with a rocket launcher twice! Why would you turn your back to the Raider with a rocket launcher? Colin right here trying to 1v3. It's not gonna happen. Sprint charge to the back, 1v3 as man at arms. Definitely possible, but it's not happening. Colin barely holding his own against this one man at arms. He totally could win this fight, but he needs to fight with his fellow Pullman, sorry, Footman. Unfortunately, loses his shield, hold block, and then unfortunately drops his guard and gets hit. Daddy Ware misses the sprint charge, trying to hit people in the back. Drops his guard, fight becomes a 3v3, 4v3, 5v3, 5v4, sorry. Messer is not considered a superior weapon, no. So, that's all. Okay, Omen actually gets the kill, and now they're in a 2v4 as the spawn wave reaches them. Dadler right here trying to survive in a 2v1 as Pullman not going to work out too well as his teammate meets his demise as well. Now, we have Omen on the offensive. Five minutes left on the clock. Bot down is the goat, as Rabbit says. Sure, bruh. I mean, the scoreboarding in his favor, but I'll believe you. Let's see what bot down does. Omen's lining up for a catapult shot. Oh, unfortunately, that's not the shot they need. And now that warned goblins to start spreading out so they don't get completely wiped with one shot. Let's see if they go for another catapult shot. Nope, somebody intercepted they're, them at the catapult. They're loading. Bot down actually is getting some really good hits here, so good to him. Unfortunately, the catapult missed again. Omen is fighting at a player deficit, and the catapult is not really doing them any favors. They're pushing the battering ram now. That's pretty good with Daddy Ware behind them and a dual yard happening on the right. Can Got Daddy it. Ware stop the 1v2? No, he cannot. But obviously, Goblin's spawn wave is here. Can Daddy Ware hold out while his spawn wave helps him? No, he cannot. Now it is a 2v2 on cart. Raider with a rocket launcher misses, unfortunately. Froz actually gets some decent hits on Colin and is doing well. Ooh, very nice dodge cancel. Getting some decent damage on the shield as well and gets a nice faint off. Can he use the battery room before they get to him? No, he doesn't even go for it. Unfortunately, his teammate kills him with the catapult. He should have backed off or they should have called off the shot. Little bit of an overshoot there, goons. 
short right here, walks through fire to stop the usage of the catapult, and now Goblin starts dealing damage to it. Goons is like, fuck it, bro, I'll destroy my own catapult, I don't care. <laughs> I'm killing you. That cat shot feels bad, yeah. Raider with a rocket launcher misses his rocket launcher and decides to start repairing the catapult instead. Even 3v2 no. at, at, at the battering ram. But once again... 2v2 with goblins winning the 2v2 at the battering ram. Let's see what's happening there. I don't know why. Uh, they, need, they need to stop killing themselves trying to get on the battering ram and clear the objective before they try to do that. I agree. Yeah, Dadler cannot win the 1v3 as a Pullman, no matter how good you play. Sorry, man. Bot down actually doing decent as men in arms with no shield. Somebody should raid it with a rocket launcher, that guy. And Bot down actually lands the throw with his shield. Good job. Goon's missing all his rocket launcher shots, unfortunately. Makes it less worthwhile. But I'm sure he'll keep doing it because that one kill he got with two Danaxes was really good. And now they have control of the battering ram and they decide to live action roleplay while Daddy War comes in with a sprint charge from Uganda and gets interrupted by Bot down. Good job. Daddy were playing decent, but unfortunately, a 1v3 is a 1v3. Very Ooh, interesting Devil stuff. Gets damage off. <laughs> Time ball just going on it, even though Short is right there, and he still this gets time it, it pays off. Yeah, no, that was definitely um, very bold, and he still got it. Somebody needs to go hit the door. Just go hit the door. They're battering ramming it. There you go. Well done, Omen. I'm gonna change the omen score to two. All right, omen groups Unlike up. Last game, kills are a little bit uh, more uneven. Yeah, Not definitely the defenders have way more. They were kind of getting farmed there a little bit. Not Absolutely. really getting any progress, but I mean, they still got it, so it is what we have it is. Toplo with 12 kills, short with 10, Daddy were 10, If Then 9, Colin 7, Cry 0, but. A lot of takedowns. Tie ball four. Fraz nine. Bot down nine. Dadler eight. Goons five. And Aflo five. I mean six now. Very cool. A little bit of a fight here happening on the balcony. Or on the overhang. Colin going off of Man at Arms to Raider with a rocket launcher. Blocks the Raider with a rocket launcher shot from Fraz, but unfortunately doesn't solidify the kill with the punish. Fraz going for Raider with a rocket launcher. Colin going for Raider with a rocket launcher. Missing his second shot. Goons here in a 1v1 with Chris. Unfortunately, Chris takes him down. And it looks like the fight is all over the place. Goblings gets a nice spawn wave. And Raider hit. protects the objective. The Danax throwing is really, really powerful. Yep. Uh, Everyone's going Raider with a rocket launcher today. Something and it's that perhaps off. we will revisit in the mid-season rules of uh, your Perhaps, period. perhaps. Depending how teams feel. Day and X throws look very strong. Yeah, definitely. When you can take two of them and throw both, it's insane. 100 damage. Look, Colin's just looking out here like a sniper. <laughs> Waiting for his time to shine. Throws again. I don't think that was a hit. I think he missed but he's looking for another. Oh, he the option for a normal attack. God forbid. Now he's Collins in a 1v2. A top Overwatch player. So he they say. The yes. Well, there are a lot of Overwatch players, or sorry, characters, that do not require any aiming at all. He could have been a Mercy Man. <laughs> he could have been a Mercy Man. Could have been a Reinhardt Man. You never know. You never know. Goblins actually defend successfully again, even though Tybalt got some kills. Short chasing off goons here, deciding, eh, never mind. I'll let him go. Oh, yeah, definitely. With such a small player count, one kill can make all the difference. Oh, and Colin getting hit by the Raider with a rocket launcher. Jeez, listen, dude. These Danaxes are rotting these children's brain. They rather have no weapon and literally fight with nothing. If it the means they could throw their knife. He didn't even take out his knife. He didn't have a knife. He just died. He's panicking. Uh, <laughs> just threw his knife and free. died. Doesn't take it out for you. You gotta take it out yourself. Very interesting. Goblins winning yet another fight. They might actually hold the town square fully. 
if they're good enough. Interesting. Count Danax throwing as a superior weapon, <laughs> but Danax, Danax as normal. So they're actually changing their votes mid-match, Sun God, and they've changed it to say Goblins should win. 51% in Goblins favor, 49% Omen. Wow, okay, so... Fight initiated, kind of spread out a little bit. Kind of spread out. Looks like Omen is winning a little bit more here, getting a little bit more Locked kills. Down. It's a kill, coming in to help from behind, get daddy work. Yeah, it looks like Counters. Omen actually has control over this objective now. Healing their members. Finishing off the remaining goblins. Pause on that. Short, kind of trickling in. I mean, he got some decent hits, but I really don't think he's going to live here for much longer. I don't think that was intelligent. If he can survive here, then it's Gamble. fine. A lot of the goblins are extremely low, so... Looks like Short tried to block that jab and failed. Yeah, goblins are back, though. Short unfortunately dies. It's a 5v4 with a 2v3 and a 2v1. Oh, just missed the special. Gets gets punished. Missed rocket launcher. Classic oh. jump stab. Okay, they used a horn when there was only three of them. I don't know if that was the best, but they might be able to take it. Oh, and they're both getting hits on Daddy Wear. Colin unfortunately cannot protect Daddy Wear. About to get hit in the back if he doesn't pay attention. Luckily, gets damage in. Looks like he's looking for a raider with a rocket launcher shot. Boom, called it. Very nice calling. Goes for another shot, unfortunately, blocked. All right. Looks like it's another 5v4. Colin uses his horn. And it looks like Omen is actually getting some decent kills, but making it a 4v4. 6v5, getting kills. Dadler gets taken down. Aflo super low. Unfortunately, he misses his throw, and it looks like Ifthen is going to finish him off. Pause. Finishes that. Fraud's in a 1v2. Actually getting some decent blocks off. Unfortunately, now it's a 3v1, and I don't think that he can hold that off forever. Oh, yet he hits Daddy Ware trying to go for the cheap special and dies anyway. Four people left on objective. Getting flanked by four Omen players. Oh, Goblings on four the back pedal. Yep. A fifth arriving. Short is doing a great job of just getting behind. Yep. Getting some slashes in. Very interesting fights happening here. It looks like Omen actually finally has a foothold on the objective. But Goblins is here to take it back. Do they have enough members though? Trying to push a 4v6. It doesn't look like it. Trickling in the with their members dying. I don't know if it's right. Colin gets taken out by a jab, then gets instantly back up by a horn. Good job, Colin. Can he win the dual yard to help his team take it back? Oh, where's the rocket launcher? Throw it. I, I, I he, That might be his only day next. He only had one. That's why he didn't throw it. Depending on your opinion, might be a smart decision. Colin actually takes it. Unfortunately, though, they lose the objective anyway, even though they had barely a little amount of time left to hold it. Unfortunate. We move on to the banners. Yeah, uh, throwing is really, really small, really strong with these small player uh, player counts. I mean, one of the biggest skills in the game is uh, closing gaps between you and your teammates fighting and, and uh, switching on to the enemies. And if you can do that from range with such massive damage and such speed, it's really powerful. I think these teams the keep on switching the Uganda switch, you know, just keep on moving to like a guy super far away. And then they just ignore the raider. And then the raider throws a Danax in their back again and again and again. Or sometimes, yeah. obviously, if one of them misses their repost and is too shallow, they'll use the Danax throw as a punish. Unfortunately, Colin can't use the throw this close, so he's trying to get some distance. Unfortunately, Dove walks into the oil pot. Decent oil pot by the Omen players. Although I don't think I any of these players are actually Danax throwing mains, but some things you see people who dedicate all their time to doing uh, that play style, they'll, they'll, they'll work on the... Uh, they hit your block, repost, dodge away, and uh, crouch back throw. And unless you react in time with a proper heavy stab or, or stab, depending on the length of your weapon, they're going to hit you. Or yeah, they could course. instead aim and hit someone else and get their block up in time. Right, right. Well, at the moment, people say goblins are going to win. 53% voting in favor of goblins. 47% in favor of omen. Let's see what happens. 
getting some decent hits off on the man at arms bot bot down holding block and backing out of the fight pretty reliably colin trying to break the shields like crazy gets the fucking raider with a rocket launcher colin going for crazy switches right in front of them unfortunately gets punished for that and omen pushes up anyway somebody uses a horn and Omen goes crazy, if then, trying to prevent the flanks, but unfortunately, there's just too many people here. And Tybalt Short it into the banner. Yep, Short is way too far behind Tybalt to stop him. Maybe he can stop him from getting the other banners, though. Let's see what happens here. Short, unfortunately, is not stopping him, although I'm pretty sure he can stop him now. It looks like, though, yet another uh, Omen player manages to get to the other banner, and now it's just all over the place. You see Froz has switched to Heavy Mace. Yeah, very interesting. Taking that as their superior weapon in this scenario. Ooh. Maybe it's a good idea, close quarters. Omen successfully captures all banners. And a 1v1 occurs with Dadler. Gets downed by Jab. Very interesting gameplay. Very fair. I gotta vote Goblins 40 minutes late. I think my prediction might be right. <laughs> very interesting. Okay. What is the game two? Um, well, it would be whoever whoever gets better objective time, assuming Omen captures all of these objectives. It's a who defended longer, who attacked faster. That's what determines the victor. Exactly. Um, out of seven, well, no. Uh, they both play each side once. So I guess it's best of one. Thank you for wishing us a good day, Vladimir. Really appreciate it. We are having a decent day, right, Song God? I'm having a great day. I'm having yeah. lots of fun. Let me change the score to four. I haven't been commentating over what's been happening here. It looks like they already got one trebuchet while Goblings attempts to defend this one over here. 30 seconds added on the clock, about five minutes and 10 seconds left. Short, unfortunately Frog killed defending. by chip damage and Colin Frog healing up. Final. You'll see Colin is pretty scared to use his rocket launcher when he only has one. Most raiders are pretty, pretty brain dead. They just throw shit as fast as possible. Colin gets the Colin defuse. Gets the defuse. Yeah. Very nice, unfortunately got hit though. Goblings will still try and defend here. I think they actually have a decent chance of holding. Uh, Frost goes for a plant instead of continuing to fight. Yeah, I think that was a bad decision. Colin actually doing very good here. Goblins in general about to win this team fight. 4v2, even though Omen got some pretty good kills. Unfortunately, it's just not enough. And then we have Bot down trickling in. I don't think that's a good decision. He's going to waste his shield here to survive and get out of the team fight. Whether or not that's a smart decision, kind of up to you. I think it was. So. All right, we're seeing a reset here. Missed Firepot. Very interesting plays, bro. Frost going crazy with the overdrag. Gets an awesome delayed post off on Daddyware, and the fight begins. Everyone's going in like crazy. It looks like Goblins is a little bit on the back pedal, but they are winning for the most part. But Omen gets the lucky, uh, the lucky plant. And Frost is missing all his drags. <laughs> he's, doing, he's doing good, though. Yeah, no, it's a 4v2. They successfully get that point. There's no way that Goblings can defuse this. Frost is currently uh, leading the team in kills. He had yep. 25 kills. Vladimir, it's 6v6. So six people on each side. You can see the scoreboard. The kill diff is still in Goblings' favor. So I still think that they can successfully hold this. Yeah, that's 112 for Goblins to 96 for Owen. Oh, Coplo gets an awesome kick on the Pavis shield, but doesn't really get to punish or capitalize on it. No problem, Azul, yeah. Uh, Omen, Omen is actually a subsidiary of Legacy, funnily enough. Unfortunately, Coplo couldn't really get a good drag off there. 
but I do think that the goblins could possibly hold this off. 2v3, Coplo lets his teammate sit in the 1v3 and die, unfortunately, and then gets hit anywhere. I don't think that was the best decision. Nobody wants to fight at low health, but can't abandon your teammate like that. Oh, Frost stops the defuse. No, it's still, it's, still, it's still going. It's still going. Short tries to stop it. Not going to happen. Short continuously trying to defuse. It's oh not going to happen. Can they get him? Oh, they got it. They got it. Wow. What a great job. What a great job. That was fantastic awareness. <laughs> yeah, pretty decent. What's the other side looking like? The other side is gone. Okay. Three minutes. 259. 259. Very good. Well fought to the teams. Both teams got five objectives. Sun God, what are the refs saying on time? Who won? We'll see on the, on the, when we get this screen. Let me okay, check the schedule. I would love to join anything comp for this game, but incomplete dog shit. Caster's make an insult, please. Dude, you might not be complete dog shit. <laughs> there's, there's a chance. And in any case, the way we're doing this bracket, it puts you up against players your uh, level of skill. If you keep losing, you'll go up against other teams who kept losing. Yeah, there's a lot of teams. We have like 16 teams in this league, so I'm sure that not all of them are goaded. That's not how that works. <laughs> Sun God, what are the refs saying, bro? Uh, it's not confirmed, but we think uh, Goblins won. Uh, let's just wait for the confirmation. Okay, it looks like Goblins won. Goblins won on time? Yeah. By how 18, much? 18-10. Randy's going to post it right now. 18-10, okay. 18-10 to 21-39. What about the objectives? So, objective one, Goblins were faster. Uh, 33 minutes and 48 seconds to 5.06. The okay. second objective, goblins were faster, 207 to 223. Third objective, goblins were faster, 4 minutes and 37 seconds to 6 minutes and 28 seconds for Omen. Uh, the fourth stage uh, looks like actually Omen was faster, goblins with 3 minutes and 26 seconds, and Omen with 2 minutes and 46 seconds. Uh, and then goblins were faster on the fifth stage because of that that kind of blunder they had at the end leaving a, a whole trebuchet undefended 30 three minutes and 45 seconds versus four minutes and 30 seconds for omen okay so goblins were faster on four of the objectives yes okay so yeah goblins takes the dub good job goblins y'all did good redeemed yourselves for losing to marauders very interesting. Omen put up a good fight too, obviously. Very close matches all around. Okay, so. Yeah. Yes, I wonder what could have happened if, if they were just a little bit more coordinated on that last objective. I agree. Uh, during Omen defense, I saw people, uh, while, while the trebuchets were being lit and planted and fighting around them, uh, Omen had some people in front of the key. <laughs> yeah, they're commenting on my bee hopping. <laughs> my spectator bee hopping. Ooh, Human Shield gifted a membership. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. You are a superb virtual swordsman. All right, bro. Chris Phillips was gifted the membership. So, good job, Chris, bro. Human Shield, thanks again. Okay, so... Um, let's see what's on the schedule. I have not looked at the schedule and I have not showed it on stream either. Probably should do that. Um, actually I won't. Sucks to suck stream. Seven o'clock is 
Equilibrium versus Avernus, but that match got canceled. So we actually have nothing to watch for like a half hour or no, an hour. So sorry stream, but we might actually take a break. We might actually be back in an hour. What do you think, Sun God? I think a break is good. Okay. Maybe we show some some renowned gameplay. No. <laughs> what we're going to do um i think i'm sorry vladimir we there's we don't have a match to show you there's no there's no match happening right now um yes, there, there's only one match scheduled for the seven o'clock time slot and they had to reschedule uh to for easter activities easter yeah weekend. let me let me like show you what i'm looking at here hold on hmm like, can I just turn Shiv off? Yeah, okay, here you go. So stream, um, this is the schedule for the matches, but Equilibrium forfeited today because they couldn't make it or they're rescheduling. So we just watched Marauders vs. Goblins right here, and then we watched Omen vs. Goblins here. This is the 7 p.m. slot. And obviously, since Equilibrium forfeited, we have no match to watch here. So we are probably going to take an hour-long break. And then we'll come back at 8 o'clock. And then we'll either watch Avernus versus the Booty Clappers. Well, no, we'll have to watch that because Equilibrium's gone. So yeah, we'll, we'll watch Avernus versus the Booty Clappers. And then at 9 p.m., we're going to play Sun God, Sun God and I. And the rest of big dogs are going to actually be in a match. So that will actually be cool because then you'll get to see like first person perspective on on us participating rather than casting. So that'll be cool. Okay. Sorry to disappoint well, you guys. But you know. We get a, uh, see if uh, Divided Loyalty wants to fight. Uh... Oh, never mind. Wait, maybe. Do you think we should get the, the... No, that won't work. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. So everyone, um, going on break. We see be the back at... Cal we, yeah, we could, we could, yeah, I could show the rosters for a second. Um, hold on. Let me get the... Here you go. Um... The rosters, these are all the teams that are participating. We have Goblins here, led by Short. Um, then we have Sturcorp Rockus, led by Sam. Big Dogs, Rockus, led by Randy. Delirium. Yeah, but, but both of these are Delirium. This is going to be our team, as you can see, your boys in here. And we're actually going to be participating at 8, like I said. So... You'll, you'll be, no, not at eight, at nine. At nine, this is us big dogs. So this is when I actually get to play. So if you want to see actual like gameplay instead of casting, that's when you should tune in, nine o'clock. Um, and then we have Omen, led by Goons. Vandals, led by Casey. Avernus, led by Kietso. Divided Loyalty, led by Mars. Marauders, led by Menace and Noon. Byzantine Empire led by a whole crap ton of people. Booty Clappers with the biggest roster I've ever seen in my life. Led by Bonk Bonk. Equilibrium led by I'm Velwolf. Have, count it real quick. Dude, it's <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 members. They have no excuse to ever miss. <laughs> <laughs> if Booty Clappers manages to not have all their members or not have six people on for the match, like, bro, it's over. Equilibrium with Velwolf leading them. Basins led by Detest and the Kool-Aid Man. Revival Eternal led by Zafne. Knights of the Vanguard. Sorry, sorry. Knights of Vanguard led by Sam and um, Alakine TV. Gang Police led by Mouse. Uh, and Edge led by Justin of the Sun. 
there are a lot of teams in this league. I am very happy to see a lot of different people participating. It makes me very happy. Game is somewhat alive. It's very interesting to me, Sun God, that the competitive side of the game is growing, but the casual side is shrinking. Why do you think that is? Um, the casual side is probably shrinking, but we saw we saw uh, the casual duelers definitely shrunk because of the. Oh, sorry. I wanted uh, I wanted to answer sauce codes. Um, goblins won. Goblins won. Yeah. Well, one one source of shrinkage would uh, is the duelers, uh, casual duelers, those not really affiliated with the uh, competitive community, lost their access to dual servers and instead they were replaced with social servers, which don't have a strict uh, no RDM policy. And of course, moderators are no longer uh, banning anyone for RDM. Uh, and then yeah, uh, if I go into a I social think... server right now, I'm allowed to RDM and I'm not going to get punished because it's just not a rule anymore and that's kind of stupid and i think a lot of casual players want to see new content and the new content that has been provided has been bad it's bad all the new maps are way worse than the original maps you have uh cosmetics that are only applicable in, in ffa in this most current uh, battle pass just everything's lacking a lot of things repurposed the new things that they do release often were in the game uh, since launch or since shortly after launch so you know torn banner is definitely lacking in, in, in that department uh, I think you know Shiv will always have a, a core of, of people and we're, we're it's still a healthy game but uh, they definitely have, have had missed opportunities and I feel like a lot of people with competitive spirit who are not interested in, you know, joining a competitive community, they don't have time, they just want to log on and, and play some some games. Some people with their skill have no ranked option to play, uh, and, and that turns people off. I mean, it's it's not great uh, to go into a 3v3 arena and uh, have a level 1000 or or even worse, like, like a top comp yeah, player on I, the other I, team. I think that's <laughs> really that's really one of the problems to me. The no ranked people, people often say it's not a problem. But let's just say I go into 1v1 arena right now, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Like, I'm just going to shit on whoever I find. And it's like, people don't think that's a problem, but in my opinion, it is. Like, who am I going to find, bro? It's going to put me in a lobby with like some new blit, and then I'm just going to completely slay him. And there's no skill based matchmaking for this mode. So it's just terrible. Yeah, I, I've stopped playing because I can I can essentially one v three the other team and and so I I just fool around exactly uh, if I do yeah play and like this this guy said only jab people. this guy said only jab this guy I'm only gonna jab and I'll probably be able to win and it's just it's so sad it's not fair I in my opinion this mode needs a ranked version because. If you wanted to casually duel, you would go to a duel server, you know, like a, a like a duel yard. That's what they made that map for. So this guy over here is nothing. Gamer. Oh, gets the hit off. Dave's getting farmed. I know I am getting farmed. Dave's getting farmed. He knows. He knows your plan. Oh. Took. You already left. <laughs> This is this is sad. It's not it's not right. He knows that I'm just gonna keep messing with him, so then he leaves. It's it's really sad. This mode is basically completely useless, at least in regards to you finding an enjoyable even fight with the other opponent. It's it's really sad. I don't like the fact that it's basically bullying, but like what is it? I mean I, I fought that guy for what 10 seconds and then he decided, yeah, I'm done. I'm leaving. And that's kind of the normal like standard for this game mode isn't it sun god it is yeah either yeah you have people who leave instantly when they see your level or you have people fight and they leave after one fight or you have people who, who try to learn but then it's not fun for you because you're essentially like just going easy on them exactly right they, my, yeah my only options are go easy on him or uh i don't know do like a challenge run i mean i don't know if you've seen shinbop streams back in the day but he would literally play with his feet like like he would, he, like he would literally have his right foot on his mouse and his left foot on his keyboard. Oh my gosh! It, yeah, um, and you know, like Mr. Baggins, it's not really suffering from success. I feel more bad for them, not for me, because they're just getting shit on. 
And exactly. if I wanted to go into a good 1v1, I would go to a dual tournament or I would call up one of my boys, but they don't have that luxury because they're playing like they're not that serious into the game. They're just trying to get better or something. So they just casually queue. Oh, Look at these guys level 24, bro. Are you kidding me? It's yeah, not there's fair. There's plenty of games out there you could, you could argue are, are much more difficult, uh, have higher... Uh, skill ceilings or uh, more populated skill differentials and people have a great time playing those because they get to play people over their skill. Sun God, the guy I'm fighting literally says, oh, I'm screwed. <laughs> yep, <laughs> this that's... is sad. I go up to him. I'm just going to fucking overhead him. It's so sad. Once again, getting farmed. Well, I mean, he can counter. I'm, oh, not see, the, I'm not budging. I'm not budging. This is a. This looks like a player who's definitely trying to do well. So he would. He would be someone who would definitely keep and play the game if there was a ranked mode. Exactly. This guy's what is it? Level 24 and he can counter. Good on him, bro. Good on him. But it doesn't matter because I have over a thousand hours. So what is he expected to do? Like, there's no amount of trying hard that will help him win. And I'm not trying hard. I'm literally just spamming Dave. overhead. At the very least, a top five duelist, uh, arguably, you know, you can definitely easily say top three without much contention, and he's going against a 24. <laughs> 24. There you um, go. Just, just keep, and then, uh, keep overheading. Form Banner tried to implement uh, matchmaking into the into the main uh, mode, 64 player objective and think 40 player, but they failed at that, um, and actually made uh, team balancing worse. Oh, yeah, they did accidentally add reverse team bouncing. Yes. Um, so, God, this guy can counter. He's level 24. It's pretty good. Yeah. And I, you know what? I doubt maybe they're, they're going to try to fix it, but, you know, Twin Banner uh, may very well just throw their hands up and say that, that that's enough. We tried, whatever. Back no, they said, they said the fixed version is coming. Okay. We'll see. Is the Avernus versus Equilibrium match happening? No, Equilibrium forfeited this week. Okay. I'm gonna go there. Yeah, well. Dave, I'm gonna go on break. Okay, yeah. No, unfortunately, Clan Killer, the Equilibrium versus Avernus match isn't happening, so we're kind of just shooting the shit until the 8 o'clock match. That's going to be rescheduled. Yeah. All right. See ya. I'll be back. Bye. I mean, yeah, Azor, even if this guy is a Smurf, it doesn't matter. Like, there's nothing he can do. I have more experience than he probably has time, like, in all his games combined. And obviously, that's because I'm a no-life. But the idea that he is forced to fight against me, level 24 versus level 670, it's just simply unfair. Oh, lag. I'm sorry, I used the slash button. I shouldn't have done that. Oh my god, he won't die. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, let me put the schedule back up so you guys know what's going on. Okay. We are going to come back at 8 o'clock. Right here, 7 o'clock, we were supposed to watch this match. This match isn't happening. So, the match at 8 o'clock is still happening, which is Avernus versus Booty Clappers. So, that's what we're going to watch next. We're going on break. I'm going to put the stream on, like, we'll be back mode. Don't leave. Or leave and come back. I don't care if you leave, but come back, obviously, at 8 o'clock. 9 p.m. is when I get to play, so obviously that's what I'm waiting for. I think that's going to be the most enjoyable. Um, but, you know. So, that's pretty much it. Yeah, the sirs, the booty clappers are the sirs. So, all right. Um... On break, be back at, 
will be back at eight o'clock EST. If anybody's in chat, if anybody new comes along, I hope chat will inform them on what's happening. Let me pin that. Okay then, I wish you all the best. We'll be back at eight o'clock. Do you have any more food? There's no food. Because all the stores are closed. We should have a little bit more. No. Okay. Not. Then I'll get more tomorrow. You can't tomorrow. Everything's closed tomorrow. Then I'll get more the next day. They're not going to eat tomorrow. There, there should be enough food in the food. No. They're dry. And they're Hold all up. here eating. Oh, crap. The stream. <laughs> Hold up.
Hey, bro, I just saw the, uh, I just saw the donation. Thanks, excellence. Dog shit.
All right, bro. We're back. Clan killer. Hello, hello. Uh, all the participants are ready. We finally get to go back. You know, somebody donated, bro. That's real of them. That's pretty real, yeah. All right, let's see. I think they're joining the server now. You know the password? Yeah, I'm in here. Okay. I'm joining you. Change your uh, scoreboard. Change my scoreboard? Oh, yeah, bro. Thank you for reminding me. So this is why I need somebody. Okay, we have Avernus. Versus Booty Clappers. Holy shit. You got like 10 people in there, BC. Why, bro? I don't know. I, I couldn't answer that. <laughs> and then a score is zero to zero. They asked, is that the real DVS, bro? It is. It is I. DVS. Okay, bro. I'm guessing that they're going to start once the map rolls. That would make sense. They don't got everybody in here, though. What's the roster looking like? Train man. DL, Sir DL Destroyer. That's a crazy name. <laughs> Rabbler. They got man. beef if you don't know. Ultra, they, they have beef? What beef? Yeah, the Sirs and DL members, they'd be going back and forth all day bro what beef and the shiv cartel i don't know bro they just be beefing dl beefs with everybody bro what you on about this ain't new it's common not knowledge i've never heard of that well, now you know there's no way bro so so like they just beefing yeah we're back styling yeah i mean i don't i couldn't pinpoint the reason why because i i don't really keep up with the that stuff but all yeah. I know is in the future, there might be a Sir DL grudge match, bro. So look out for that. Okay. But anyway. Yeah, you know, that's what we were thinking of, Clan Killer, doing like paid grudge matches. Yeah. We got to start doing that, bro. We have the money. Uh, most people aren't down. What do you mean? It's not about money, bro. It's about... I think uh, a lot of people wouldn't want to do it out of fear of embarrassment or something. That's what it usually comes down to. Yeah, but if they win, they get the It's a great though. idea. I know, but they're, it's not about that. They, they have that def defeatist mindset, Dave. You know that. True. They're thinking, oh, what happens when I lose? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I still think it's a great idea. We've had the EU has done it. They've had some grudge match first attempts that were streamed. And they we, got pretty toxic. Well, well I mean, we cool. should do some with with teams, not just with people. So we should go yeah. to, we should go to Dio and we should go to like booty clappers and we should be like, we'll pay the team who wins a hundred dollars, and they'll be like, oh shit, you know? Yeah, that that would be cool. And then they'll probably like cheat us behind their back. They're gonna be like, yeah, probably. Let, let's like throw the match and then like split the cash. But then, like, DL's gonna be like, nah, fuck that. We're taking the whole hundred. We're winning. Oh, shit. And then Booty Clappers will be like, oh, no. Okay, bro, we're gonna win, bro. And then it'll be an epic match. Bro, what is the storyline? <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about? I mean, it could happen, okay? I won't say that it, it couldn't could happen. happen. It, could happen. it could happen. I think it's a good story. Yeah. <laughs> that that should, we should hit up hit up the sirs or the shiv cartel whoever it is and dl yeah and just be like hey y'all got beef let's settle it you know you know that uh that youtube channel street beefs no what's that type of shit, right? it's just like instead of you know actual violence and killing each other they, they go to two people that got beef and they you know have a boxing match in the backyard <laughs> usually and it's like officiated Dude, that's, see, that's a perfect the beast, idea. The beast dropped after it. Yeah, that's great. That's a perfect way to settle shit. That's how all shit should be settled. 
I agree. And this level 1000 drip looks good. The Sirs and DL do not get along whatsoever, says somebody, bro. Damn. Okay. There you go, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, I wasn't just talking. I wasn't just chatting up a storm, bro. <laughs> I think I remember... Um, something... I don't know if it was DL that wanted to set up a 6v6... But I don't, I don't know. There was a lot of talk about people being shitters, and we're way better than this team, and vice versa, bro. It, was, it got crazy. This has been know. weeks on end. Uh, said King Nine, I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking. How are you? Sauce Code says DL Destroyer is Bonk Bonk, which is the captain. If Ooh, so, okay. that's crazy. All right, bro. I mean, DL must have done something crazy for you to change your name to DL Destroyer, you know? <laughs> that's like, that's crazy. Most, that's a crazy comment to add right there. That is also insane. But I guess we'll let it slide. Yeah, man. What the fuck am I gonna do, bro? That's Bonk Bonk on his new PC. Oh, okay. Bro, said King, dude, oh my god. Imagine if Strida actually fought all of the people who shit talk him for like 20 bucks each. That'd be great. I don't know whether he'd be out of a job or whether he'd be rich. Bracken and dough, bro. Dough, bro. <laughs> I would have liked to see him in the this league. Oh my he, god, dude. He's fond of team he, objectives. He low-key tilted me with how much he was against joining. That's unfortunate. It was really detested. I was in a dual server and a DL guy was being racist towards Sir and other randoms. Hey, bro, that's beef, bro. That's beef. What you gonna do, you know? Musa, can you ask DVS how he keeps his igloo from melting since the planet is getting hotter? That's you, fake man? news. <laughs> yeah, that's fake news, bro. Jordan the Peterson said, uh, Jordan Peterson was like, the evidence is inconclusive. <laughs> <laughs> so, and he's from Canada, so you already know that's the yeah, joke. Yeah, there you go. Said King, he said you're his favorite angel? That's good, bro. That's good. Well, if you're his favorite angel, then could you go convince him to join this league, bro? Because he low-key pussyfooting, bro. Not joining this shit. Well, I wouldn't say all that. I don't I think he is equilibrium. I don't think equilibrium's playing as a whole tonight. They're not. Is that correct? They're not. But like, still though, they're not. They're playing next week. Yeah, I would. That would be dope if he played, and hopefully they all play next week. He should play. Equilibrium is a pretty good team. It kind of sucks to see them not show up. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're starting. All right, everybody, shut up, bro. Everybody, shut up. Noise pollution in the chat. Noise pollution. No, noise more, pollution. no more DL. Everyone shut the fuck beef. up. Nobody send any messages in the chat, bro. Or you're Lock done, in. You're done so. Oh, shit, bro. Turn bro shit. Don't, don't tab out. Yeah, no, I almost I almost messed up the stream, bro. But we're good. We're good. We're solid. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping these people can figure out the teams. They will, bro. They will. I don't know the button on console. Maybe the start button and then change team. <laughs> Something like that. Your dream is me to kick you up in duels, bro. <clears throat> you got some messed up dreams. Okay. Interesting. I mean, I would have said like a billion dollars. <laughs> personally. But I also would have said a billion dollars. Each their own. Why does Legacy have like 20 people on their team, bro? Why, is Fly Why do they have like seven people, bro? Just one too many. Because you're, bro, you got to switch. I will, bro. Okay. I just want to get my scoreboard. Okay, now I can spectate. Dude, what? what is Journey with on? Randy or 500k? Two casters are so low tier? What? Bro, is that Tro JR, bro? Dude, JR, JR should have gotten his team What's in here too. What's going on here? It's a 7v5 right now. <laughs> what the? Dude, hey, listen, bro. It's. I'm a fly Molo 12 needs to figure out how to switch teams. It's in the rules that if they don't, like, get on their team. On time, bro. Like it, it, that's their business. It's not. It's not legacies. He's AFK. 
Hey, bro. Listen, right. bro. Well, AFK. That's that's their problem. That's what it is, bro. Play it out. Play it out, bro. Legacy gets one extra player for this first objective, or maybe longer. Oh, he switched. Tactical oh, okay. switched. Okay, Legacy good, gets the first objective. Good from D, Sam. <laughs> okay, bro. So it looks like we have Legacy on defense and the Booty Clappers on offense, with the Booty Clappers pushing up the left cart and having a pretty decent team fight. I just noticed that Legacy has an archer. Thoughts on that, Clan Killer? Um, we've seen quite a few games where there was archers, and I would say that, yeah, it's viable, but ultimately, the players that seem to be really good with archer are also, you know, just by coincidence or whatever, pretty good at melee. So I would say that uh, you're pretty, I don't know, you'd probably, you'd probably be better off just fighting melee for a lot of times, you know what I mean? Like, I know you played Archer sometimes, and you said pretty much that, yeah, while, while it was viable, you, you would do more damage in a team fight. Actually, yeah, there. oh my god. <laughs> you just killed literally everybody, holy shit. <laughs> that is a lot of value out of that catapult. Archers are not banned. That one simpleton going for a uh, rapier kill on the Guardian. Guardian with a light shield, what do you think about that? Um, I don't think it's that. I don't think that, that's a that's, smart move. I really don't. Yeah, no. Unless this dude's the go to jabbing, oh. I don't know. Oh, that catapult was pretty well placed, but still didn't get it. Here's how I think about the archer. I agree with you. If you are good at melee and you're good at archer, I believe you're more valuable on melee. But yeah. at the same time, if you are only good at archer or you're better on archer than on other classes then I would rather have you on Archer. Yeah, for sure. I agree. Because this is such a individual skill dependent mode. So it's like, if you're not, if you don't have that baseline skill to not get farmed instantly, Ultra Big Turks fighting with a mallet, okay. Go shit. Then I really wouldn't, uh, really wouldn't consider it viable. Mallet, mallet 4v1? Yeah, no, this is definitely not the oh. play. Legacy getting... Taken down, booty clappers pushing up with their whole team on the objective. And also the other cart as well with one person. Fly Molo 12 holding that as an ambusher. Very good. Looks like Legacy got back to the cart though. Also one person on the right pushing the cart. I'm it looks like we're going to have an issue where uh, the cart by the ocean can only go so far if the left card is also pushed towards yep. the uh the midline ultra the big turks pass. unfortunately is allergic to his primary and it's really costing him bro space really? didn't that was actually going to yeah i mean he just pulled out his knife it was maybe just, he's on to something bro he, he was not he trying new tech. instantly legacy in general <laughs> is just totally all spread out gl really destroyer is going crazy with these drags <laughs> That Legacy's two piece. getting 1v1. We got a 3v5 here. I think. Oh, they got one kill. Okay, 3v4. Look, he's going, he's going around the back. Deal destroyer with another big swing. Ooh, and oh, Victor's missed the counter. Work. Kietso doing good. Unfortunately, gets disarmed. 2v5. They need to get on the on the point instead of killing this one, dude. They got one guy there on. There we it. go. There we go. Deal destroyer. Are they going to get on it, though, to get a hit off? Or is the spawn wave going to prevent them from using it? Oh, one simpleton gets farmed completely. Legacy spawn wave is taking their time getting back to the objective while the booty clappers take the first point and begin destroying the door with the battering ram. I have a feeling the booty clappers won't even use the catapult. No, I, I don't like think they need to. For straight, straight team and fight Legacy over and over. is trickling, losing all their members. Wow. Oh, but besides the two. Oh, and okay, never mind. Rabbler actually gets some pretty good hits off. Hits both of them while they're on the objective LARPing. Like we said before, there is no speed boost to having two people use the battering ram compared to one. So you're role playing yeah. if you have two. The that advantage, is premium LARP. I mean, the objective I see DVS is if one gets stunned, then he can still hold it. But like, bruh, I'd rather just have him fighting. Rabbler gets interrupted on his leaping strike, and the fight looks really spread out again. Oh, they're getting the cat up. Ooh, Turning the Rabbler. Around. Can Rabbler stop it? Eh, I think he can. He might, he might be able to. Oh, oh he got three. to a bad spot. 
But he's not doing bad. Unfortunately, he gets hit anyway. Catapult remains up, and Legacy wins the team fight over here because of the player uh, disparity. Rapid the train man can hit his shots, though. Ball don't lie. One simpleton is here with the rapier. He's not even doing that bad. I just think he needs to win his ones more often. Oh, this guy, this guy's got it down, bro. He knows. He knows the lineup. Oh shit, bro. <laughs> oh shit, bro. Look at the shots, bro. These shots. Have you bro. seen a lot of teams missing shots so far? Yes. I I'm not even joking. In the first match, we saw six missed shots. Probably yeah, more. That's a lot. Yep. Goblins, bro. How many? Damn. How many? Dare I say it's like. What is it? How many shots does it take to hold the gate down? You think ten? Probably something like that. Enough to where six shots is a big problem if you miss that. Yeah, that's a big problem. So, Flymolo twelve trying to fake out a repair on the catapult <laughs> so he could get a kill. Jesus, they're one away. Yeah, they only they're need doing, one more. They're shot. doing very good. Yeah, no, they're very fast. Pretty impressed. Hey, take a look at the scoreboard. DL Destroyer is putting in work right now. Okay. They didn't get a shot off, though, in that whole time. No, yeah, I think, honestly, it would be better for them to just take this player advantage they have right now and go use the battering room. But then again, it might be too far. Yeah, they're walk. very split. They're just going to keep trickling to the catapult, it looks like. Kietso trying to do a 1v2. Could work, but needs to play perfect. 1v3. Unfortunately, loses. This is where they get the last shot. Fly Mola 12. Goat shit. Goat shit. Oh, field engineer. But they insta kill him. They're all forgetting they need to load the catapult. Hey, and it is what it is. No, I think they get this here. Oh, never, again never mind. Never mind. Getting to get a rock entirely. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's broken again. If they just send one person over here to go get the battering ram, that'd be enough. Yeah. It looks like they're doing it. We're gonna have a straight one for the ram. It's not. It's not gonna work. Legacy will send somebody back, or maybe he won't have time. Bond came in. If Turks pulls out a secondary again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I know. They're, they're throwing now. Yeah, they are. Bros. Carl, I'm sorry, brother. You don't have mod. I didn't know you wanted it. Fly Molo 12 getting some decent throws. Walks into the fire pot. Unfortunate. Will he survive or will he burn to death, bruh? He survived. And then walked into it again. Oh, okay. <laughs> they might get the cat up, though. Nope. The booty clappers are... Doing some very odd plays right now. Legacy might have found their footing or the booty clap. Oh, look at the front. Look at the battering ram. They got two people oh. on it LARPing. Get it anyway. Good job from them. Rabbler is on field engineer right now. Yeah, not a bad hold, you but you know it all. what it is. Oh. Gets disarmed, though. All right, bro. Hey. Booty clappers make their way to the town square while some of them are staggered. Legacy, are they holding? Yes, they are. They're in position. I want to see if Booty Clappers does anything weird. It yeah. looks like just a center push is what they're going for. Pretty simple. And they horn up to get that overheal. And I got to say again, third DL Destroyer, 27, 18, and 7. Absolutely backpacking this team. God damn, that's a carry He is and going a half. crazy. Yeah, no, he really fucking hates DL. <laughs> you know what he's probably thinking? He's probably thinking like, bro, these guys are DL. You, you think know? so? Yeah, he's just that. How else are you, he's gonna like motivate himself to carry that hard, bro? That's true. He's just like, dude, I fucking hate DL, bro. I fucking hate DL. Can hate them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, looks like booty clappers low key getting farmed. Kind of wasted all their overheal and everything. All dead. While Legacy maintains the foothold on the town square, bro. Cinderella story? It's possible. What does that mean? Bro? I mean, I, I, 
It means that uh, the underdog might win it all. You never you ever watch March Madness when like a super high seed goes super far in the tournament when they're not supposed to? It's like that, dude. I don't think what I think people underestimated the sirs is what I'm saying. The booty clappers, rather. Do you think they, the booty clappers were underestimated? I believe so. I'm I mean, watching, they're doing pretty good, wouldn't I'm you say? Skin God machine gun the shit out of that Warhammer. Okay, well, <laughs> no, I wouldn't worry about that. It's, it's got them this far. It has got them this far. Are they winning this team fight? I can't tell. Oh my God! That one so. simpleton goes crazy with the double kill on the rapier while a three v four. Yep. The ambusher could afford oh. to throw some knives. Dude, he'll destroy it with the two. Fly piece. Molo twelve walking into the fire pot again for no reason, but he gets a decent backstab. And it's a 2v3. Flymola12 could... doesn't care about his back. Oh. And unfortunately. Close. Dr. Peppa gonna go in. It's still a 3v4, it looks like. Raider with a rocket launcher in the form of Rabbler. Going crazy with those Daynaxers. We've seen a lot of Daynaxers tonight. Yeah. Oh my god, the divided loyalty YouTube channel. Just answer, bro. <laughs> yes, we did summon you, bro. I want you to know that the top fragger right now is fucking Sir DL Destroyer with 20 kills. And he's going crazy. He is going crazy, bro. More kills than anyone in the lobby. Are these guys even sir? I mean, they have four Four sirs. out of six are sir. Yeah. So, I would say, yeah. I thought Dr. Peppa was a DL member, though. I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe there was a breakup. <laughs> Break I don't know. It's interesting. Legacy has actually held them this far for a while. Yeah. So there's a chance that they might not even take the town square. Well, yeah, well, yeah this this uh, objective is obviously less strategy. There's not an a, a, like exact objective you need to do specifically outside of standing on the point. So if Legacy or uh, Avernus, I guess, uh, just keeps them off the point, they win entirely. So. And that's what I like about TO compared to LTS. There's some objectives that are like all skill, and then there's some objectives that are more strategy, and then there's some in between. This right. objective is like, I, I low-key want to call it like a filter. Like, if you're not yeah. better than the other team in terms of fighting, or at least if you're not even, you just it's lose. A skill check. Exactly. You just, I think... Uh, they, these guys are not beating Legacy unless they win at least a couple team fights. They cannot they win. They might have it right here. They might. They are not allowed to take this point unless they kill all the Legacy members, or most of them. Oh, it's close. They got numbers. Rabbler getting a very good counter. Decent footwork, but unfortunately lets them hit him a few wow. times. And there then the booty clappers actually take the town square, or at least start taking it. Legacy does have one more spawn wave, which I believe will reach before they fully capture. Guy has a barrel. Drop a that barrel. barrel. Hey, bro, yeah, you better watch out. He's not like that shit. Oh shit! He oh, threw that's it. a he foul. That's a foul. <laughs> that is a foul. That's he didn't crazy. hit anybody though. That's crazy. If you didn't know, unblockable throwables are banned, gentlemen. But the ref didn't call it, so it's all good. Oh my days! Double kill from Legacy, and Legacy actually finishes off the team fight. Six v one, six v none. Easy collapse from Legacy. Kieso on death's door. Probably going to heal. Yeah, it's definitely a skill check objective um, in terms of their team fighting ability. But it's kind of both ways. Like, if Legacy wants to hold them here, they have to win so many team fights. You know? Like, they can't, they can't not win the team fights. Um, and they have to win, like, fucking, like, 12 or 15 or something crap like that. So, it's pretty crazy. And obviously, Booty Clappers comes back. Looks like they're going to win this team fight. I don't think a single booty clapper died. Uh, one yeah. did. One did. And they placed the banner in Torn. So they really want to hold this point. They used all their juice. If Legacy wins this next team fight here, I find it very hard to believe that they will be able to take it back. Legacy trickling. Not even waiting for their whole team to jump on. I guess they Rabbler. determined that, that was necessary. Rather went in. I, I thought he was going to handle it, but he died. We got a flank going on space, man. The town square is three, three members in, in behind. It's neutralized it's right now, so they're not capping. Yep. Oh, now they are. Gets picked. Now they are capping. All right. Well, it takes it back. Um, somebody said in chat, I thought it was just environmental. Yeah. So throwing knives are not banned, but throwing unblockables are. So that guy picked up a barrel and he threw it. That was not allowed, bro. But all throwing knives are allowed. 
another fight happens while the booty clappers trickle and actually manage to get a kill on uh, Rabbit. Right now we're looking at a 5v4, it looks like. I don't know where the other legacy guys are. Their oh, destroyer just... going psycho mode, killing his teammates and everybody else. <laughs> He just downed another teammate. Maul special hits the Vanguard, does not one-shot wow. him, unfortunately. Their destroyer killed two teammates and two enemies. That was something. Legacy manages a revive on that one simpleton. Very cool. And a Warhorn to get that overheal. Two minutes left on the clock. They may actually be able to hold them at the town square if they do not lose a single team fight. Another chance right here. Full health on both Fire teams. Pot. Firepot on Ultra Big Turks. Team fight begins with Legacy having overheal and the booty clappers only needing to win one team fight to take the objective. I wonder who will win. It looks like deaths on both sides or no, only deaths on the booty clappers with it being a 6v none. They won that. 90 seconds left for the booty clappers to win a team fight. And rabbit taunting, bro. <laughs> He's the Rabbler. Yeah, bro, he's the Rabbler. BM is allowed, bro. I don't care. BM is allowed. If they want to call the enemy team shitters, bro, that's their business. Oh my god, Rabbler insta-killed. Call that karma. <laughs> With it being a 5v6. More legacy members dying by Another the Another pick. Oh god. I do not believe they'll be able to hold this. The numbers advantage allows the booty clappers to take the town square even without having killed all the legacy members on Avernus. They take the objective, and we move on to the next one. I got to update my scoreboard, bruh. That means booty clappers have... How much is that? Let's see. Three. Three. Sauce Code says, I apologize to Rabbit. I killed him with the kata, used, causing him to get mad. <laughs> it is what it is, bruh. It is what it is. Oh, bro, I didn't even put out the poll. Okay, bro. Hold up. Start a poll. Let me end the current one. Who's winning, bro? Who takes the dub? I zoom out in game for a second. You guys can watch while I type this. Avernus Booty Clappers. Put your votes in now, noobs. Oh, killing that baby actually cost him. But yeah. Avernus actually wins the team fight. And she putting down walls as well. Good strategy. I think they might be a little too spread. Oh, he's putting a bear trap. Pretty We've good got a counter NG as well. Oh my days. Kietso puts down his friendly NG. Terrible. A big mistake. Kietso probably apologizing. That one simpleton doing decent in the 1v2 until he gets backstabbed. That was not as good. Almost dead with a throwing knife to the head. Probably thanking God for that footman health bar. Keister holding his own here in the one with the halberd. And the back of the objective has now been broken open. The booty clappers yeah. are surely waiting for their team to get collected, and then they'll make one more push. We've got to win this group fight. A relatively ineffective oil pot. Twice. Legacy and booty clappers fighting hard. Well, the wall of flesh meets the wall of flesh. And it looks like booty clappers is slowly getting ground inch by inch until... Avernus actually kills each of them one by one, making it a 2v4. A booty clapper, Sir Trainman, uses his Warhorn when there was only two of them alive. I yep, don't believe that was the best decision. Definitely not. i rather them use it when we're all healed and together than if there's just one person injured, to be honest. I agree. But the booty clappers actually just push up anyway and get a few kills. Streaking through, there's a dude at the very top. He's getting hawked down by the Rabbler, it looks like. 
Yeah, Ooh, they're definitely... Oh, okay. Rabbit almost survived there, getting a nice kill, but unfortunately it wasn't enough. And the Booty Clappers are pushing that one. Simpleton finishing him off quickly. Pause. Making it a 2v2 with the Booty Clappers against Avernus. Proper spacing allows Kietzo to take one of them out. And the Footman duo take that 2v2 easily. <laughs> Somebody gets knocked off the OBJ. Schwinthorpe with the great tackle and then gets leaping striked by Sir Steakhammer. Oh, that almost could have been a great punish for that miss. And it was with him solidifying the kill when Rabbit oh, knocked him off, the, off map. the edge. Good job to Rabbit with that amazing sprint charge. Who said man in arms can't sprint charge, bruh? Genuinely. Yeah, this great is map. definitely another uh, skill check area. You just have to kill them. For the most part, but I think there's a little bit more potential for a flank here or something. Any like something yeah. that isn't winning the team fight could happen here, bro. They uh they have to keep moving and streaking through so they can turn uh Avernus around into a ball. You know, maybe go through the middle, try to get the ladders up, go to the right where the hole is. I agree. Rabbit trips, doesn't matter. Legacy still holding. I think we can agree on this, Clan Kilder. Legacy holds a considerable advantage in the team fight. They seem to be just winning fights consistently yeah, over and over definitely. again. Definitely. And I don't know if Booty Clappers has the superior strategy necessary to close the gap. Kieto actually gets swung through with that War Club. Ultra Big Turks oh, might win these this. hits. Baby Battle happening over there. It's very Ultra... close. Baby oh. Battle is over, and Booty Clappers actually manages to break through a little bit. They have one member through. Who is that? DL Destroyer going crazy with the field engineer. About to take down a banner, possibly more than one. Easily takes down one banner and gets punished, Ooh. unfortunately, by that one simpleton sprint charge. We go into Legacy, pawling back to defend the remaining two banners, foregoing the bridge. Very interesting. Legacy on the back pedal while the booty clappers slowly make their way to each banner. But unfortunately, they're going to die in the team fight and don't manage to get a single hit on the middle banner. Yeah, Ace said Dave's loves this job. Yeah, I do love this job. This is awesome. Who wouldn't love this job? Fly Molo 12 trying to get some lucky throwing knives on that guy healing, but unfortunately not good enough. He could have actually solidified a team kill there uh, or a kill on that one Vanguard while he was healing. He could not block, but unfortunately he just didn't land his shots. And now he is stuck in a 1v2, which he is definitely going to lose because he was out of stamina. Legacy getting ready to defend both banners. Booty Clappers get a lucky tackle, and Schwinthorpe falls off the edge. Very lucky, but unfortunately, a baby battle occurs. And they yeah, he's on first. the ladder, edging it. Won't go up or down. <laughs> so oh. Oh, but he makes the play, though. He gets a hit. Yep, Booty Clappers manages to get their field engineer to the banner, and that's all they need. Ooh. Unfortunately, he holds block until the very last second. Unfortunate, although they still manage to take it home at the cost of their entire roster. Down to just one. By Molo going up the stairs, going for behind the flank. The ambusher flank is crazy. Unfortunately, he doesn't want to jump the wood. I would totally jump to the wooden platform. I would not try and break that wall. I think the, this booty clap has really got to regroup here and stop trickling. They do. They have one minute, two team fights left, in my opinion, for them to take this banner. The field engineer is now here at the walls to help save the day, but it looks like all of Legacy is here to defend the staircase, and Flymola 12 actually manages to make it pretty close to the banner. Unfortunately, though, he was so focused on the banner that he did not defend himself. Sir DL Destroyer trying to win a 1v5. I don't know if that's the best idea, and it definitely was not as he takes the L there. 30 seconds left, one more team fight for Legacy to hold this objective. We have one on the ladder and one going to the staircase. They are attempting to do a 2v6. Not a good idea in my opinion. Sir Skin God trying to do his very best to ignore everyone. I don't think it's going to work out. And he didn't. He got one hit, I believe. He might have gotten one hit, yeah. But I don't know if that's enough. Five seconds left on the clock. It's over. Nope, Legacy it's over. holds the objective. Decent job to Legacy. Booty Clappers ending an objective the top three. Frag. 
Yeah, definitely. Rabbler with the top frag. 37 kills. Honestly, you got to give him credit, bro. I don't care what you think of Rabbit. 37 kills, bro. 23 deaths. That's not bad. That's great. Definitely good, bro. Definitely good. Booty Clappers ending with a score of three, and now we switch sides. All right, bro. Switch inside, switch inside. A wabbit. A wabbit, wabbit, yeah. Wabbit, bro. The stabbit. Do you have anything nice to say about the wabbit, the stabbit? Me? Plan killer? Yeah. He's one of the greatest players of a grace this game. Okay. That's not even a joke. One of the best. Also, probably one of the longest 10 years in the competitive community, I would say. He's been around a very long time. That's true. I'm just so my eyes, to, uh, he's, the, my he's the goat. Flymo the 12, bro. I... I think that Fly Molotov is very good, but I believe he's low-key failing on this performance tonight. You know? He's missing Seems a lot of those. Be baiting. He's missing a lot of those throwing knives. I yeah. feel like he's walking into a lot of oil pits. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I, I think um I think he Avernus could have stacks better. right side completely. Wow. Yeah. Booty clappers now on the defense. Avernus <laughs> fully ignores the left heart and then decides to go to the right one what do you think about the strategy clan killer i think if they dedicate themselves to the right side it's not an issue uh the only issue is when like i said if you push it up far enough on the right side to where the two paths meet and then push the left one uh the center one you know only one can go through you know assuming one's further you can't both get them so you have to almost completely dedicate you know, to whatever side you're going to instead of kind of pushing both because you're yeah. wasting time on one ultimately. You know what I think? I think if you if you and your team can win every team fight, <laughs> then it may be good because you're gonna they're gonna all go to the left one at first, because that's normally the one that people push. Yeah. And then Sir DL Destroyer actually just throws his weapons to kill that one simpleton, solidifies, tries to solidify the kill with a tackle, fails, and lets him bleed out. Very interesting decision. Oh shit. Catapult here. Catapult Ooh. actually just gets one T kill. kill. Very interesting plays. Very interesting plays. Kietso trying to attempt to stop him. I don't know why you would want to stop him, bro. He's helping you. <laughs> interesting. I don't know. I it, The Pullman flanking and trying to get the 1v2, that's just, that doesn't sit right with me. I think that no, was doesn't. a really bad decision, although Raider with a rocket launcher makes it worth it by landing his throws. Spaceman out here trying to get crazy throws. Gets backstabbed by... Fly Molo 12. Unfortunately, the Fly Molo 12 couldn't solidify the deal. Very cool. Trap kills nobody. The cart is moving crazy fast with almost no yeah. contest. Legacy is it's just a lot quicker. burning through here. Rabbler is doing amazingly in the 1v2. Landing that active parry like a goat. Landing a good drag. Then getting killed in the back by Polax. I think Booty Clappers will finally hold it here. I don't know how, but they actually managed to get a couple hits with the battering ram. They were not charged, though, so. They did it less damage. Looks like they're opting to use the catapult instead of only the battering ram. Smart decision, especially because it looks like a few of them are there. Although they're not going to kill any Agathians today. A great tackle from Schwinthorpe. Unfortunately, they can't actually get the punish since the weird geometry. And a big team fight begins on the catapult. It looks like the booty clappers are going to break it. And Avernus seems to just not give a fuck. <laughs> and they just they just keep shooting, bruh. A warhorn allows the overheal to happen and they win the team fight and proceed. 1v1 as if on the ram. Is there going to be a 1v1 on the ram? That's interesting. Oh, reinforcements arrived. I couldn't kill him in time. Ultra Big Turks actually did kill him on time. Let's think about that. He did well, and now he's on the battering ram, and he's going to do his deed. Unless he just wants to keep 
machine gunning. That's fine too. Yep, yeah, well, shit happens. A little bit of indecision, never hurt nobody. And they actually oh. take the objective fairly quickly. Very quick. Yep. Definitely gotta, a better time. I gotta change my score to two. Sir DL Destroyer not putting up the same numbers he did at the beginning of the last game. Hopefully he can turn that around. Hopefully uh, one kill, five deaths. That is unfortunate. What do you think about that one, Simpleton, using a Guardian, Medium Shield, and Cavalry Sword? Um, I don't know. I think uh, if you're going to play Guardian, it's just for the team fight. I think it's the benefit to have a heavy shield because obviously it takes a lot more hits to destroy it within the team fight. He's sort and, of playing like man at arms, but with more yeah, he's health. playing man at arms. He's not even using the shield, so <laughs> obviously he's using you know, guardian for the banner. I assume otherwise, yeah, he's he should playing just play like man at arms. a higher health version of man at arms. Yeah, uh, I feel like he's just better off playing man at arms at that point. But maybe Perhaps. he really wants the uh, the banner, which is obviously very important, especially for this objective. Right, right. Well, it seems like Legacy is winning the team fight. If not slightly, although it looks like the booty clapper spawn Dr. rate Peba has got two kills. Six v one, and oh my day, spaceman holding his own. Unfortunately, though, there's only so much he could do. A, a the rabbler, rabbler running in to pick up ducks his damage. the attack. What is he? <laughs> he ducked. He ducked his attack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, That's that one simpleton shit. deciding to uh, regroup. Good decision on uh, Avernus. Rabbit wins those. Yeah, Rabbit wins those 1v6s, bro. Don't... Historically, historically. Historically, bro. That's what happens. All right, looks like just a full push mid. About five people, and then Spaceman flanking. Gets some really good hits on the behind pause. It looks like Avernus is just running through, getting tons of kills, with the end result being a 4v2. Now a 4v... Sorry, 3v2. 2v2, Sir Trainman getting a lot of kills, but unfortunately Ooh. being put down by Ultra Big Turks, and now a 1v1. Unfortunately, Ultra Big Turks cannot punish the disarm with the Highland Sword, but he just does two disarms, and then he can punish it. Easy claps. He decides to regroup anyway, though, because that spawn wave is just too close. And while it may seem like that the was The Rattlers good, streaking through, going crazy. Oh. <laughs> the Rattler. Had the right idea. Booty Clappers, unfortunately, using up a lot of their close respawns, and now they're definitely going to spawn further as a result. So, yeah. I would say Avernus is still having the advantage here. I notice Kietzo here is out of position often. A Pullman should be a support, and being that far away from your team all the time is just not the best thing. I'd rather not have a Pullman at that point. Maybe it's just an, it's an ego challenge. Maybe. I think it's just by happening you know, by accident. And they should probably do their best to prevent that. I see on the poll, we got 51% saying that Booty Clappers will win with 49 on Avernus. Avernus, once again, having a 3-3 split. Three on left, three on mid. Spaceman's going Raider with a rocket launcher. Throws a Danax and a knife and goes in to help his team with a lovely special to the back. A peasant joins the arena, gets insta-killed, Avernus takes the team fight with a 5v1. They begin taking the town square. Now, with Booty Clapper spawning further, I believe they have to win this team fight or else they lose the town square. A yep. banner as well, allowing them to hold further back. It seems, though, that they don't even want to fight on the banner. Or maybe They're they just do. just super split right now. Yeah, if I was we them, I would Clapper. stay back. Spaceman with no weapon... This is what happens when a raider with a rocket launcher goes crazy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Me personally, if you're going to run double Dane, I, uh, I'm of the opinion you should at least keep one Dane axe for a fight. I mean, obviously, if you have a very, very easy kill, throw it. I agree. Interesting plays, interesting plays. It looks like Avernus is still winning here. They have all their members, and Booty Clappers unfortunately loses the town square, causing the score to be 3-3. Three to three. Now for Avernus to actually take the game. If they take the banners, they win. So 
Let's see if Avernus can manage that. One of these guys, Kieso, trying his very best to glitch through the map and unfortunately fails, falling off the edge. What a weird strategy. I don't know why they decided to do that. <laughs> and a normal team fight occurs as normal. 5v6, obviously, because of Kietzo's unfortunate demise, with booty clappers taking it home. That player deficit did not do money favors for Avernus. <laughs> that one simpleton jumps off to the end. Avernus regroup while one of the booty clappers overextends, causing it to be a 5v5. I do not know where the other Avernus member is. He is all the way in the back. That one simpleton, because he died last. I forgot about that. Schwinthorpe having some really good dodges here. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. That one simpleton got a really nice tackle up, but unfortunately did not get the punish. It's okay, though, because he was team killed. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting plays here. That one simpleton all alone. Shield broken. Fighting for his life. Can he get out of here? I think he can. Oh my days. That one simpleton doing really good. Unfortunately, can't solidify the kill on the baby battle. But he is still doing good. He does not need his shield to play. He's showing that. With a quick revive. They've been fighting at this bridge for a while, don't you think? Yeah, well, evidently the wall just cracked right now. <laughs> and I see an Avernus member actually manages to break through. Space ban. Will he take advantage of this and actually get to the objective? No, he decides to go for a raider with a rocket launcher shot and fight here. Dodge canceling and then healing right in front of him. That's not going to work, Space Man. The mind game didn't work, but it's okay because Avernus manages to get two banners. They only have to get one banner left wow. to solidify their victory. And then that is game, set, match. It looks Winthor like just walks past two people. And Avernus actually manages to them. solidify the dub, getting further. Well fought. They're probably still going to go through the remainder of the map just because. But that is Avernus's dub right there. I'll put the score. Four. Very cool. So to uh, all of you who voted, Avernus takes the dub there. Good job, Avernus. Jim Bean, what are you saying, bro? Our wife's boyfriend. What? What are you on? Yeah, GG's. Good fights to them. They fought well. Valiant effort, I believe. Yeah. It was a good match. Obviously, the teams are now, like, not really going too crazy since Avernus has already won. Let me go ahead and check the schedule and see what's going on. Sant said, Rabbler, oh boy, oh boy, where do I even start? <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, he did really good. W Glaze. Yeah, no, W Glaze. I think. So, what do you think about that match, Clan Killer? Um, I think. Well, I, I expected Avernus to definitely win. Okay. Uh, I believe obviously they've been around a lot longer than the Booty Clappers, although they have you know picked up some new people. But those people they did pick up have played on other comp teams and such and have experience. So. I still think that the Booty Clappers are pretty good, you know, all things considered. Yeah, I think they did decent, but I think they need more individual power. Yeah. Like, just straight up, I believe there was a, too much of a skill diff between the teams because Avernus won way more team fights. And so on some of those objectives where team fights weren't as necessary, um, they did decent, like in the beginning. I believe there's a lot of strategy involved. I think they did play well. You know, obviously they broke through the door, so of course then they took the town square. But yeah, they simply just needed this. They needed to win on that bridge faster. 
simple as so interesting yeah and justin of the sun says let me say this there are no team edge <laughs> yeah team edge unfortunately not playing tonight but definitely appreciated for their uh their sign up they will be here next week so that's still okay i think overall this was a pretty good match yep congrats to avernus on the dub good attempt booty clappers who's next let's look at the schedule that's a great question you know who's next clan killer i know who's next you know who's next you know who's next bro yeah let, let the people know let the people know bro i don't know if they let should the bro well, I, well. <laughs> <laughs> they should know bro you, they should know they should know okay bro so, yeah obviously bro um we are next so we are going to be going here this is the match we just looked over avernus versus booty clappers um big dogs versus vandals is what we're gonna do sorry for whoever wanted to see divided little davers booty clappers but i gotta play and it's my stream y'all see my gameplay are you so, streaming it yeah i'm streaming it are you streaming our comms too <laughs> should i not well it's up to you i suppose yeah fuck it bro. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get out of here bro i'm gonna go back to the vc okay yeah we better i mean we better start are they ready uh everybody's in vc i believe sauce code says who's gonna stream the other one probably nobody bro um they probably could but i don't know if, um, they probably can let's be honest no streamer for the grudge match no unfortunately not i'm, I'm gonna be playing so we can't um so it is what it is sorry bruh let me uh let me see when we start okay i gotta go to server xy so okay i'm in xy cool so i don't even have to leave this server so yeah i'm i'm gonna be playing let me go to my team pc warmed up at all all right bro what's good what's up, dude? Cool. are we ready bro do you want to hop in the door yeah. yard, uh, DVS to get a few duels in if you want some more? Um, I'm in the server so, right uh, now. All X, are we in XY or? XY. Yeah, we're yeah. in XY. What's the password? What is the password? It's, uh, I can't, don't say that loud, don't say that loud, don't say that loud. Yeah, I'll type it in the chat. Yes, yes, okay. Thank you. Uh, Dave, did you familiarize yourself with the map? <laughs> Trust oh. me, bro, I've seen enough line spire for okay. a lifetime today. Okay, okay. With the strats and everything? Dude, I've Wait, seen I've seen a variety okay. of strategies. We gotta, uh, and, all right, all right. Like the, the ones that were actually. Hold on, hold on. No, like the ones in. Should we play in New York? I don't know. I'd like oh, to. Yeah. Um, Although New York's a server where the catapult's been busted on, so. We could play on New York. I can do either. All right, I'm asking then. Okay, they're probably gonna want New York. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, I know. I swear I have 60 big. Wait, don't yeah, we get better ping on New York? The, the server we're going? Which one is the other one? Who's I don't one know. One? Just hold on. Look in, look in chat. It's one of those okay. two. Why am I pressing G? What, what, oh, I clicked my macro. I gotta turn that off. The renowned macro? The renowned macro. The Yo. overhead spam macro. What do you all think? Of what I talked about with Siege Crossbow on OBJ. I didn't hear Oh, I said that's an option. On stage one. Do. On stage one. Yeah. Go for it, bro. I don't care. But then we also need <laughs> also need two NGs going there too. Do we? I'm on. I like NG. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let, let's look in the strategy channel. Don't say anything because I'm streaming. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. just look at the thing and tell me which okay. option okay yeah so stage one um are we doing our plan we are gonna do that yeah, okay yeah. who's doing what uh you and uh you and dvs are gonna do that okay and then we'll split up accordingly okay yeah, somebody told me to mute while we do strats. I might do that. Yeah, that's probably... <laughs> okay, I'll do that, bro. They won't answer me. 
Which chat was the fast button? Uh, VC. Okay. Are we muted? Oh, yeah, hold I up. See.
initiation of uh okay bro stage. yeah Look. all right okay yeah, order order six, right. so order 66 immediately upon stage. yes okay yes exactly. hey, why can't you just keep us muted no um, I, I think it's good it's, it's good to have the comms on yeah. people to hear all right I don't if think I, I don't I'll think we're gonna get stream snack, bro. We we ain't gonna get stream snack, bro. Did I get a repeat of what? Vandals would never do us like that. Uh, Artists, <laughs> I'll message you. I, yeah, I want to yeah. keep that one as a message. Good also, the picture, like it, oh, it's yeah, pretty good. Yeah. It explains almost everything. Here, I'll I'll I'll, I'll ping it to you, Doba. So, when we do that, do you want me to go NG2 or no? Yeah, yeah. Or I just like, save my class and just stall and he can go do the thing? This is Order 66, I like it. Wait, I thought I'm doing Order 66 with Dave? Or, or DVS no, the DVS, is with, DVS is with me, you're in one of the other two groups. Alright. Uh, okay. So we start on Mapro? Yep. All right, bro. Are DVS and Dave the ones going behind the wall to the back? Yep. Okay. Let me get warmed up, bro. God. I'm warming up. I need to, I need to throw. Or, bro, your divided loyalty says time to clap some booty. <laughs> Four minutes, three minutes and 45 seconds. Damn, bro. <laughs> All right, bro. Who's Snow Bear? Bungie. Bungie. Oh, okay. Aren't you using Heavy Shield? Nah, I like it on medium. He likes it on medium, bro. Dude, the movement. <sighs> I know, I'm just letting, just letting DVS know. Wasn't it tested in the medium and Heavy Shield or like the same movement speed or something? Or was that wrong? They have the same movement know. speed, different acceleration. Oh, I see. Bring the battering ram to the gate. Two minutes, bro. Y'all ready? Okay, bro. Yeah, we're ready. <laughs> Noob jab, son god. Don't do that. Damn, bro. I would've hit you with one of those by missed. That's just a gamble job, though. Clevin Duck says greetings. Greetings. But I would do that if it was in a. Uh, Are we all muted? Could be one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hope so tired. Bro, Mason 60 so seconds, bro. The Mason drip is always there. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh no, you look silly, bro. Huh? That shield is so. I know. Nah, it's a Ninja it, Turtle bro. shield. Chris, <laughs> bro, like, why does it look like that, bro? Why? Don't blame me, bro. Oh. 
Where do you think Ooh. you are? Oh. Oh. I'm getting stoned. Oof. Oof. Wow, watch it. Oh. Oh. Okay. You suck. <laughs> Bro, stop. Thank you, bro. All right, bro. Time to go. Mm. Lock right. in. Lock uh, in. I we all locked in. in. Yeah, bro. I'm locked in. I got my dialed in degree at the Locked In Academy. That's not how it works. That's the dialed in goal. factory. <laughs> I'm CEO of Locked In Society. <laughs> Alright, everybody knows what they're doing factory. right off the bat. I yes, think sir. so. Just say it on the fly, bro. Make sure that All right. you repeat it. Oh yeah, we gotta join VC. Is okay. VC? XY2. Where is the X? X tournament grounds? Alright, oh, we were just like gentlemen. Uh, Thanks. We were gonna we were gonna ban you. We were gonna <laughs> DQ you. Low refs. For not for not using the X Y V C. Well, that's why we're here, bro. Go to spec. We're at Mason, right? Yep. Yep. Make sure you go to spec and make, sure, make, sure, make sure you get your class right. Right. Select right. your class, go to spec, and then go back to in the game. Okay. Let's get it. Oh yeah, bro. Do I let them? Do I put the poll up to let them vote on whether we win or lose? Sure. All right, listen up, DBS. You're going um, open side. All four of us are going to the boat side, and one of you go harass Cata. Who wants to do it? I'll harass Catapult. Bro, it is not letting me go. Oh, I, I my class. Yeah. Whatever. I'm just gonna throw my halberd. I was stun spec three times. It didn't work. Just try again. Do we have a superior weapon? Yeah, Doba is on Halberd. Okay. For your Halberd. I'm going to Catapult. Or it's not necessary. They're not even on it. I'm going to 1v2. I'm dead. Nice. Good job. Right, we won this. Good job, Clan Sonic. Killer, on that. Right, finally. They're nowhere Coming near you, Clan Killer. And even if they, even if they do go near you, like it's going to take so long. Which they're coming for you right now, by the way. One of them. Do you want me to rotate back? No, no, no. Oh, you you should be fine. I only have a knife, bro. There's two of them. I'll just try to stall. There we go. Let's nice kills. I'm dead. Okay. I'm going to move up to catapult. You guys do well. Okay. I finally have my fucking class, dude. <laughs> okay, stream, bro. Funk got input locked. He's not actually dog water. I promise. Where do you want me to go now? Same side? Old night or no? Yeah. yeah. Try it. Just try it. Okay. He's just gonna they sit on the then we'll uh... then just come back to us. We'll come around. I don't even think they're utilizing Kata, so don't even worry about it. We're just gonna sit here. There's no point in me being here. Actually. Oh, I'm dead. I just was a noob. Sorry, Old Knight. Baby battle on cart with Old Knight. If anybody wants to help, Old Knight. Good job, guys. Keep it up. I got the back spawn. They're not using Cat at all. So no, but you got a bench. All, I want my duel. I want my duel. All right, nice. I gave it to Old Knight. No, just give us oh, a nice here. coming in. Watch out. If you need healing, come back to me. 1v2. Randy, back up and you. Die, I'm fine. Can you win it, Clinkiller? I'm stalling, I'm trying. Killed one. I'm dead. I saw the Dave Botshot. Should I fight with you on the left side now? That's what. Yeah, come back to us. T Bird's rotating. Banner coming in uh, up here. So you guys can heal up, okay? Okay, thank you kindly. Fuck old, that guy. Old Knight, I'm turning it. I'm turning it around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You use it though. You use it. I don't want to use it. Hey, let's, let's, come on, let's blast this ram. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Healing. 
Dave, you use Kata then. Fine. Never mind. Actually, yeah. Not the best with it. Put a firebot ahead. Watch out, I'm dead. I'm also dead. We got to kill the war club. On Jewel Knight. I'm dead. One of them's down. Okay, we lost that one. Let's regroup and let's go back in. They're gonna push. Remember, come from all sides. Yeah, we know. EDVS, go ahead. Actually, we should bring gum. Yes. They, they pushed up too far. Who yeah, shot us? Hey, he shot it. Randy, are you kidding? Did you like a. I'm gonna help you, old knight. Give me a rock. I'm pushing it. I think Randy legged out. Nice. So I got him backing up. Three on me, I'm dead, bro. We're down. Yeah, Randy one. lagged out. We don't Randy lagged out? That sucks. You can yeah, just keep playing. Thank you for the save. Push in, we have numbers right now. I'm dead. Stall them, old knight, stall them. Are they after me? They're after you. One's behind you, but I'm pushing with you. We'll get the... Keep it up. Okay. We got a pretty good Um, I don't... Can we ask one of them to group spec? Up, group up. No, it's... No. That's not how it works. Oh, uh, okay. We need a catapult. We need a catapult here. We didn't get the door. Dave, put it put it to, se yeah, to 70, 70, uh, like 8%. It's done. That's not, that's not far enough. No, Sam can't play. Got Nino. Okay, one of them died, so it's a 4 before. Sam can't play. I'm pushing it. One dead. dead. It's almost there. Just try your best. Me. I'm alone here. I'm dead. Well, let's just regroup and push back in. Okay? This is Sam's not allowed to. No, but he's already played I'm, for SV. I won't. This is fucked up, bro. Oh, froze. I'm back. Nice. Good kill. Rushing now. Help, old knight. Dead. Did that get he anyone? Dead. Yeah, Bungie really wants Sam to play. Alright. Power with old boys, careful. You're going back as soon as you can. I'm dead, bro. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Loading in. Alright, let's regroup. It's like literally right there. We've seen it win one fight. Do we have our Randall back? Yeah, I'm loading in. My bad. Can you guys, I'm a horn. Wait, come here. I'm a horn first. We get our overheal. Okay. Let's go. 
They only have one on point. Casey behind you, double. It's too down. Oh, one didn't drop that kill. I killed one. I'm dead, bro. Bandage. Dead. Sorry, I thought I, I got greedy. I could have just backed off. Yeah. One okay. died. Did I get anybody? There. I'm dead on point, bro. I'm in. If we can step on point. Yeah, it's too late I got it. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Bandage hit your shield. Uh, I'm gonna go Dead. get on the cat. I'm going, Randy. Go okay. Randy. All right, let's do our strat. We don't Order have that 66. much time. Order 66. Oh, I'm, I'm getting on cat or thing right now. Don't get on. Get, get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. I got hit. Clan killer, respawn. Yeah, That's I know. I, I had to die. Okay. Alright, I'm here. You're ahead of me. Oh, I, to I haven't seen it. Don't, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't keep going. Two are coming after me. Sorry. One's following. Then ignore him if you have to. I'm or let him or He's fight trying him. to cut me off. Then one He's going one to you. you to. He's still go, here. Go, go, He's go. right behind you. Go Actually, Sanga, load me. I can't get here. Anymore. Keep hitting it. They have three here. They have three here. Four here. That's good. That's good. Did I did it? Good job. That's a no. That's that's profit. That's profit. That should be long enough to where you can get it. We got it. Good job. One more. Two more shots and we're in. They fell for it, bro. Hook, line, and sinker, bro. Nice yeah. shot. Go in and kill them here. Forget him, he's gonna die out of bounds. I'm gonna die, bro. You're fine, bro. Bro, what? Hmm. That guy needs to die. Put up all night. I'm still field engineer, so sorry. I never died. I was regrouped. Don't kill him, don't kill him. Oh, no. I gotta on. get a bandage. This way. They're Good down kill. one. They're down one. We should push in now if possible. Me and Minson got her a little behind. We're all blanking left. Putting a banner right here, fight here, okay? Okay. There's a way he's gonna come this way, Randy. We can hold them off. I'm down. Someone's chasing me for some reason. I hit T-Bird twice. T-Bird's after you, Randy. Nice. Good shit. He's dead. Stagger this guy. Stag no, don't. Yeah, I was gonna say. Let close spawn. Close spawn. I, I need the super far spawn. For one second. I got hurt. We have Back to kill them way. quick, okay? Special attack. Good 
Det var alt. Fuck. Oh my god, I got decent. What the hell? Alright, now I can respawn as what I want. I'm dead. Regroup. Don't push him. Regroup and go in. We, we got, got a two fire pot. We gotta regroup faster because we gotta win two team yeah. fights, not one. Alright, let's go. We're not. We're far. Me and Randy are far. Okay, okay. Then wait. All right. Okay, we're here now. You know, I go now. I'm dead instantly. I positioned quite poorly. I have the bug. What bug? Get attack. F10. Just regroup, or let them kill you. We haven't lost the fight yet. Oh, okay. I'm still here. <clears throat> Dova, let that just die, Dova. Just die, bro, die. Are we, are we all here? Our range left up. I'm gonna distract right, them. Go. We're on the flank. I think we're down one, though. Mm, okay. Dova's on the way. What a sec, so good. I'm them. Alright, we're in. Good. One's down, we have numbers again. I'm dead. Try not to die. Here's one. Here's one shot. Nice shot, bro. Alright, I'm on my way. Still numbers. Spawning bridge. There's spawning bridge now. I have a banner set up right here. It insta the banner. Good. good. Coming in. Flank left. So fucking. I'm dead. Okay, I'm leaving you, Dave. Alright, then I guess I, I'm just gonna let myself back. Yeah, die. <coughs> Regroup, and let's go back in the gym. I'm not there. Yeah. I'm getting... Dova, Dova's dead. Oh, okay, we'll wait. You gotta call it if you're in a one or something, Dova. Alright, we are right, let's go. ready. Yeah, we go. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna 1v2 with the spear. I can't help you, dude. I got two. Damn. We have numbers. I'm dead. Nice job, Clinker. Alright, we have the point. We need seals. I need a weapon. <laughs> Watch Bungie. If you need healing, back up. Watch out, Dova. Nice. nice job, gentlemen. Shit. You know the plan here. Street. We might be able to get some lucky kills here. Look, Nino's really close. In fact, we should oh, engage shit. as soon as possible. He's one. Nice. Yeah, Somebody else can throw shit at him. I got him. Nice. Nice. Now we push. We have an advantage. I'm going straight through. Two on me. I'm dead. I'm 
Coming really in double. Killed one. Nice. Yo, Bungie. Bro. You don't pursue him. I got some gun. We should streak through right now. I've been fighting for my life over here. I'm dead. I killed one. Bro, what? Zero active is crazy. I spawned at the fucking courtyard, bro. So far. I killed two, but I'm dead. I tried to get in, didn't. I just switched to engineer. Are you sure? What do you mean? Do you need engineer? Well, why not have one? That's fine. They're all leaving. Oh, they're we should group it. up. We should group up. They, yeah, group. they're all leaving. Get the ladders up now. Grab the pieces when you come. Okay. Have one. Okay, that's two. All ladders are up. You go from every well, I mean, side. Which side are they defending? Every side right now. DS, I'm with you. I'm down. Make sure you have full health before you go in. I'll go with you, Sunday. Distracting two of them on left. Got it. Uh, yeah, I got it. Dead? I think got one. Yep. Oh my god. I'm in a one with a bungee. Oh. I'm dead. Do we need to group up again or no? I try to come in from different groups. I hit, I hit the banner once. They're all going for it now. Dave, you're not going to make it up there. Fair enough. Oh, and I have no weapon. Okay. What a lovely glitch. <laughs> They're all on the right side. So Are we trickling? Yeah, we're trickling. I'm going up left side. Don't go up yet. Well, I'm not You're even alone. near them. There's That's a guy they're, there they're off me. it. I understand, but they're off it now. Okay. I'm not engaging. Well, no, you're not gonna... Oh. I can get the middle banner. They're, yeah, they're just giving it up. I hit it once. I got it. Down. Randy's on the right one. I got it. Good job. Nice job. Oh, <laughs> I got a five throwing knife. They're all very weak. Ooh. Okay, bro. Planting left side right now. Okay. Are they giving it up? Not sure. I think they're right side. No, they're right. There's a C2 right side, three right side. Somebody Go stay left first. Only second. four. Remember, different direction. I'm already flanking yep. on right. Just still clear. I'm dead. Did you guys watch everything? I'm down. Behind you all. You should win this, hopefully. Behind you, so good. Yeah, we won the fight, light it, light it. Nice, light it quick. We're coming in and I have a banner. I'm moving to right with y'all. Don't look like there's anybody here right now. I don't think they're gonna push it. If they're smart, they wouldn't. Two they drop down. Here. Don't worry about them. If they uh -huh. come to us, then push them. They're pushing. Oh. I'm just sitting on point. Fear is going through the fuse, what the? 
Yeah, I need to be this quicker. Nice. Try and stop it. I stopped it. Great job. Right, let's Get away go. from the bomb. <laughs> I couldn't. Okay. Same split. I'll go left mm -hmm. side. I'll I go see mid. most of them going right right now anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm going mid oh, right let's now. Let's wait for the team. Wait mid with Dave. Watch I'm out for the troubles, Nova. Maybe a small out of this two over there will come. Yeah, well. Three, four, five, six, on zero. zero. Six on my side. Okay. okay. Don't just back up. Don't jump down. I'm planting. Okay, jump. Good. Let's Sounds go. Like we're entering. Okay. Do you want me to leave right away? Yeah. There's no possible way. Watch out all night. Oh, it's okay. I'm dead. I'm lighting. Heal three. Right, keep it up. I'm lighting, I'm lighting. Anybody on the left side? I hope not. No, oh, I'm gonna get your shield up, bro. I'm dead, but I stalled. There's somebody to fear. Defusing, defusing, did I punch you? You're behind you, Dova. Behind you, DVS. Behind you. Diffusing. He's diffusing, bro. Diffused. Oh, yeah, they got that. That's regroup. A regroup. That's a regroup. Regroup. Damn it. We have the short diffuse now. That was oh, 75%. Wow. Yep. Alright. I positioned in the back. Ready to go. Wait up, wait up. I know, I'm waiting. I'm hiding. Fight here. My banner's going down. Okay. Tell me when. I can't see what's They're going on. They're in. Old Knight's in. Yeah. He's dead. I'm lighting. I'm coming, Dova. I got the one. I lit it. I'm dead. I'm healing. I'm going to back up the heal. It should be good. Pushing from the back. Both up. Nice so, job. Shit. Okay. Decent job. Good recovery. Man, that, was, that was, yeah. Oh. Good shit. just played at a deficit when my power went out? Yeah. 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 Holy shit. And you got it? Yeah. Nice 15 job. seconds. I mean, well, 15 <laughs> seconds. The only, the only person that could have helped was Sam, but he, he already played, so. The good part about your power going out was that it was only during the first round. So, like, yeah. you guys may have lost yeah. that point, but you got the speed on the rest. Dude, somebody DOS me. My power went out for like one second and came right back on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, you know, it is what it is. Can they DOS your power, bro? I don't think that's a thing. They did something, all right. They made a call? All right, fellas. Yep. Let's. We got this, bro. I think we did pretty good, honestly. Yeah, we should just hold them at the courtyard. Yeah. That's tough, bro. Hold them at the courtyard. That is, win that every is team tough. fight for eight minutes, bro. Okay, bro. The thing is we, have to, we have to stall for a while at some of these objectives. Because they did get a lot of time. Is that your order, Randy? Win every team fight for an hour? For been for eight minutes? Yep. Win the first yep. objective, bro. Okay, bro. First objective. For that, yeah, that works too. Well aim for that. I think how long is the first objective? It's nine, nine minutes. minutes. Okay, so we they held it for like eight minutes and forty five seconds or some shit. So, yeah, if we actually want to win this match, it, it doesn't really matter. The first objective, we just have to be hold them longer on each of the other objectives. Yeah. Getting that yes. dumb glitch again. Oh, there we go. Dude, we had every fucking glitch under the sun, and his power went out. <laughs> People can't attack in team fights. Dave can't doesn't have a weapon. You know that happened when I tried <laughs> to throw my fire pot. That's what caused Remember, it. Remember, both sides wrong so for some reason. We're on the right class, correct? You're killing me, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me. Th there's two pushing left ramp right, side. I'm, I'm I'm going both side. Or both side. I mean not ramp side. Dead. All right, I'm hopping on the cata.
Then of 1v3. Concentrate. Watch out, Dave. Coming to you, Dave. Gotcha. I'm giving you a load. Pause. Okay. Don't pause. On you, Dovo. Back out, Dave. Back out. Okay. Heal if you have to. <sighs> Shoot, so good. I got four on both sides. Oh, I just got killed by a uh, mallet behind you, DVS. Oh, Try it again? I'm like, back up, bro. Back up. What are you doing? Yeah, I know. I'm dead, bro. There's two on right side still pushing it. It's okay. Do you want me to keep going both side? Yeah, me and you. You're far, you're far ahead, Dave. That's fine, I can one of you two for a little bit. My capital's glitch going off of it. One dead. Coming out. Hold night, help me. One second, I'm killing you. What? My bad. Good. I have zero Sam. T -burst. Down one. We got the left side. Okay. Oh, good, good. We're doing I'm gonna fine. throw a. I'm gonna throw a fire pot. I'm gonna destroy the catapult too. Mm, Push yeah, it. That's a good idea. No, we're the only ones here, DPS. Back up. Yeah. Back up to the catapult. We're not gonna be able to destroy it. It's okay. Just weaken it. Cat is down at least. Yeah, we, we can hold it here. You good, Dave? Nice. Yeah, I'm good. We win our ones here. We win our ones. Who cares? Let them get that ocean side one. Okay. Keep on. Are you pushing out too far? I know. Dave, I just Dave, come back. back. I just noticed. Fire pot ready. Guys, come back Don't to the ram. You guys spread out too far. Two or one shot. I'm dead. I'm low, Dave. Healing. Okay. Oh. Dova bandage. Oh, never mind. You can just throw a bandage in the future, Dova. Gets me up faster. Okay, I'm Thank you, though. Dave, yeah. too far. Back, back up. Back up. Back up. What, I'm what trying. Are we doing? You got some guy killed. Oh, dude. I didn't mean to. My bad. Watch out for the hanging thing. <laughs> we'll get one more spawn wave to hold that ram. Just regroup and get back on it, okay? Get on the ram as soon as you can. Understood. DVS, you're under a trap. You're under a trap, it. DVS. I know, but they are too. I was going to say trigger it. We're on our way. I'm dead, bro. They're going to get it. It's 2v4 all night. How did we let that happen, bro? Completely overextended, like, it too yeah, far. That's my fault. Okay, remember. Yeah. Well, somebody, Dave, go in, G, do your catapult thing. Oh, you okay? You want to do that thing? Okay. Or yeah, just go okay. now. Nice drag. Oh, shit. One oh, is by the one. ram, by the way. Fucked up. But they're getting on cata, they're turning it around. Is that one? Ready to go? Yeah, there. still rush the catapult. Don't, like... Don't leave it there, yeah, okay? Remember, make call outs. Double back up. We got three on the ram right now. We're staying here. They missed the missed shot. The first shot. One dead. All right. Oh, my, I'm spawning in. Should I go disrupt cat? Dead. Go to the cat. All right. <sighs> I hold cat or what? Or I mean, ram. We need- you guys are fighting way too far Dave, out watch there. out. Oh shit, yeah, I see it. I'm dead. Nova, help Catapult's one shot. They'll have old night, Can anybody rush it or no? Dead. No, no both feed him, stop feeding him. 
Ram's clear, we just need to get on Kata. Yeah, go to Kata, everybody go to Kata. I'll stay at the room. I broke it, but they're gonna Igor's repair low. it, obviously. I have a bandit. Uh, Devious, go back to, to go back to the room, actually. He just oh, told my... me to go Kata. Yeah, yeah, Randy, stay with me. I have a fire pod, though. It's too late now, fuck. I'm throw it. Oh, you're good. Alright, I'm gonna Randy, go ahead. Pod. I'll make a call if I need back They're on catapult again. Yeah, I have a fire pod. I'm in one with Bungie. I need backup because uh, I, I know where one is sniping a little bit. I'm going to Kata. Well, I got I can kill both. Uh, Dave, watch out. There's one to your left. Gotcha. He's uh, going to the ram. They're behind. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm going to try and stop him, but he's going to get some hits off. Ah, yes, yes. You're coming behind. What? He's one shot. Oh, shit. He's dead. I got I got it down at least. <clears throat> Alright, we should fall back. Fall back. Don't go outside. Go bud. Hold my one you're so good. Banner here, by the way. Okay, let's ret retreat. Let's retreat. Oh, okay. Retreat. Retreat. Never mind. We still have a banner. Going engineer. You're going engineer. Yeah. Okay. Do I want to go guardian too, old knight? Yeah, go for it if you want. Or an officer. Yeah, go officer. All right. Uh, oh, don't don't have them in front or barricades at the at the at the vantage box. Damage box, I guess. I don't. Yeah. Actually, make it in front. Yeah, make it in front. Too late. They're already pushing. Here they come. Here they come. Go, but get your sprint attack off. Find you, Dave. Got you. Okay, she's dead. Say, level night back up. One dead. I got, I got two. Got one. We won the team fight. We have to hold them here. Sorry, Beth. I'm gonna get a banner in two seconds. Everybody full heal. Also, yes, replenish your throwables. Yeah, heal up. And when they come in, start throwing shit at them. I'm gonna try and potentially stop a flank. No flank banner. on your left. I need this. I need this. I need this. You can pick your other walls up. Where they at? No, 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 maybe it's a good idea we have it here. The right you side. Right. The right side. Okay, look. Thank you. Guys. Banner on the horse, okay? Someone's, someone's flanking around. Yeah, I only see five I here. What the fuck? Two regs flanking. I'm dead. They warhorned. He's dead. We're dead. I'm on close, I'm coming. Back up Stay if you can, old knight. And I'll heal you. Yeah. Died, I'm gonna right? be a very close spawn then. All you guys have to do is stall when we're coming. I got a far spawn. We need to take down the spear. You focus Trying. the spear hard. I'm dead. Okay, how are we? I think you get off Inji here, so I'm good. I'm dead. We need to fight on the objective. Dead. Well, dead right you guys still can win that fight. Yeah, very bad. One's flanking behind you, Dave. Listen, when we finish that fight, come back to mid. Go behind the horse statue, okay? Stop, yeah, retreat, stop come, fighting retreat, out there. Retreat. We, stick I'm, together. I'm gonna horn, retreat. I'm horning. Come back, come back. Come back now and stand by the ammo box, okay? Throw your shit. Don't go outside from this ammo box. Already two flanking left, right there. Okay? If you pick up the flankers, if you can. I gotta leave to pick up the flank. I'll leave. Okay, okay right side, three. Keep that in mind. I'll counter flank. One then. I'll five, five on left. One's dead. One's dead. On you, Sargon. Coming in. Stay alive, guys. Two dead. I'm down. 
Brandy behind you. You guys should win that, okay? I'm down. One on me. Nice shot. We're fight. coming from bridge now. Keep that in mind, okay? So try not kill to myself die. Like, um, they, they, they came close, they came close. We're here too, we're here too. We should kill these three. Things. No, they're gonna run away. You can also backpedal if you want and wait for me. Yeah, just back up, guys. Because I'm not there. Also, you're getting flanked. Two people on the left. What, Durag way behind? And then obviously... Orient left. Everybody orient left. Okay. Down. I'm down. I'm down. Some guy, watch out. You still have a chance to take it back. So keep it up. Oh, got special limiters. Oh, behind you, got behind you. Let's just keep swinging. That was still alive. We Give still, if we, if we wait, we can go in at the last second. We don't have to... We go in now. Go, okay. It's four oh. now. Old Knight, don't die. Oh, it's so far back. He's... Are we gonna die, bro? One guy... Oh, uh, Randy Good behind you. No, stay behind you. Stay, 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 stay. Gotcha. I'm very low. I have heals, I have heals. I'm, I'm dead. dead, bro. Okay, he just dodged there. <laughs> Fuck, they have, there's a baby, they're getting up a baby. I've tripled in too much. Should retreat. Okay, yeah, retreat, just retreat. I'll let them kill me. That was a good stall. That was a good stall. Yeah. I think we bet their time. <laughs> yeah, we did. Remember, yeah. oh. here, if they get past our line, we retreat, okay? I'm pretty sure we're up 2 1 right Sauce now. Sauce codes. You get it from yeah, turns. Just keep it up. Don't, don't get straight. You don't have to be level Stay nice. here, okay? Stall here. Okay. Don't push out. Play the back area. Up, if they back up, let them go. Bungie streaking. I stopped it. I'm down. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. Nah, just retreat to Banner. Just retreat to Banner. Are you going NG? I'm better. I'm, I'm gonna send Retreat Jody. to Banner already, bro? Yeah, we got pushed pretty far in. Alright. Get up top. They're probably already come, going. Come to me. Come to me now. I'm dead. Right side. Sun God on you. Pullman. Never mind. They're going ladders. Well, They're going ladders. Right They're going ladders. Let's go there. Go there. Go to that side. He's mid. He's mid. Come in Two there. on each side, okay? Two yep. on two on two. Okay? Don't go too far, Sun God. It's just us. They got They're, They got the good yeah. banner. That's like, okay. Why? That's why? okay. Come here. Come here. Stay One's on stairs. Okay, come here. Two stay here. Two on ladders. And we two should on get an engineer, bro. Yeah, we, we should. I'll spawn next. Fire banner. Fire. Hey, on the ladder. On the ladder. On the mid ladder. Just let them have that. Oh, no. We're going to gonna split up. Randy, don't oh, come back. I, I, we don't. I don't get close to watch, 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 watch the ladder. Just, just ladder. stay there. Yeah. Dova, watch the ladder. I'm on ladders, don't worry. I'm on these ladders. Oh, I'm dead. Got malleted. Up on you, noobs. Also up on the ladder. Nice bomb. So, two, ladder? One more yeah. guy go on the stair side. I'm with sure. Randy on this side. Okay, Dave, too. You got a hit on it. Remember the fundamentals of team fighting. Good up. Up it's fine. Try your hardest not to feed them. <laughs> Trust me, bro. I'm trying. I want to go energy, but I don't think there's enough time right now. Two on stairs. I don't have a weapon. Somebody dropped me a secondary. I don't, I don't have, have a secondary. I don't have a secondary. Yeah. Here, here, here. Hatchet, hatchet, hatchet. Fucking fell. I got a short sword. I'm watching ladder. I found one on a ladder. I'm down. Stairs, stairs. Ooh. One, one, you guys can just body behind. Here, so just Dave, come there. back over here. Kill two. I am. There's a guy in the Nice job. Keep it up. You're coming upstairs. He went down. Is there a weapon here for me? Sunga, when they push up like that, I'm going to just drop behind them. Alright. I got He's one there. mid. It's a spear. Just keep that on me. know. They're bringing a ladder. Three of them are coming in right now. Oh, there's two in mid. Two in mid. There's a war club on the... Oh, right, the last ladder. On the ladder. Yeah. Uh, on the yeah. ladder. Me and Dave have this. 
I got this lighter. Okay. Three on left. Two coming mid. Two coming in, one up the ladder. Yeah, I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay, they, I think they got it. Uh, my stairs. Oh, fuck. Yeah, they got it. That's okay. Do your, do your strat. <sighs> yeah, Dave, don't die. We shot, we shot die. a read hard protecting. You can't, you can't die, Dave. I'm on my way. Who's one? Okay, we're going left. Everybody go left, okay? Everybody go left? No. No, you're... you know what you're yeah. doing. Yeah, got you. I'm going right. Hurry up, Dave. I'm here. And I still got my shield. They're not going here. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's okay. Just stay, just... I am. Hey, stay there. Stay over there. One's going Four there. Going one's going right. there. Four going right. Yeah. Four going right. Yeah, there's three here. There's three people here. Should I come to you, Dave? Should yeah, I come to you? No. Oh. Well, no. I mean, I already lost it. There's nothing to do. That's okay. Figured that. Yeah, I mean, well, that, that was good play by them. Just come back over here. Yeah. Dead. Dave, actually, when you spawn, you should go over there and try to defuse. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're all leaving. Oh, they're all leaving. It. I'll go ninja. I'll I got go. it. Okay, Sun God has it. Sun God has it. One dude's, one dude's there. Sun God. Sun God, do you need me? I'm not going to make it anyway, but, you know. We're playing too far up, bro. Way too far up. Hold night. Yeah, no, Randy got it. Pushed out. I wanted to help him. Just keep, guys, go back to the chubby fit. Okay? Yeah, we're so far out. Oh, I was a millisecond away from the no. defuse. That's okay. I need help, bro. Yeah, we're on the way. We're coming, DVS. We're coming. We're here. Dave, get up there. Nice job, DVS. We're here. I'm a firepower. Hold it here, okay? Yes, sir. No reason not to. I'm gonna go to the box. You better hurry back. I'm here. I'm with you, Dave. Thank you. Don't push out. Stay here. I don't okay? plan on it. I hit two with throwing knives. I hit three with throwing knives. I'm warning. I'm warning. Get that men in arms. I got you, Here's gone. Here's dead. I'm dead. He rags down. I'm down. DVS, run on that bandage. Low. Run on that bandage, DVS. We won the fight. Okay, we're coming. We're on our way. Snowberry's bungee set. I have my banner. Get back to the. He's entering. It's a fucking Funk's entering, bro. Kill him. We need to kill him. Stall him. Stall him. Here's Stall a banner, him. okay? Keep it up. Yes, sir. Thank you, Thank you very much, kind sir. They're down one. They're down one. I'm gonna see if I can. Bungie's on, on that ambusher. Ambusher. I'll match the flank. I'll match the flank. Kill this guy. I'm in so dead. I'm in so dead. I'm We're outnumbered on the fight. Bungie's gonna go around. I'm gonna one with Bungie. I got one dead. Nice. I'm coming. I'm on the way. Ten seconds out. Back up on the other one. I'm dead. All the way. I'm down. It's okay. They're you guys still have three on it. Try to stop it if you can. That's right. We're coming. Go over the defuse. Randy should get, get it. Defused. I got it. Nice. Oh, we have to go. We're on our way. One dead. We won the fight. Another dead. Who needs Keep to it up. It. Stay on my banner, okay? Yes, sir. Throw shit at Funk. Like two more fights and we win this objective. So Don't push out too far. Don't push out. We can't yeah, help yeah, yeah. you guys. Yeah, back up, back up. Damage. Damage. Yeah, that's good damage. I'm watching the back dish in case someone tries. The one's going around. Stair flank. There's three yeah. back stairs. Fear's dead. Casey's dead. Oh, I, I fucked up some good. Go ahead, go again. They it's lit fused? it. You have three there. One I'm of defusing. You I'm defusing. Nice. He's trying to, he's gonna hit you. Oh fuck! Someone, guys, someone hit him, please. Dova, Dova, Dova. Dova. That shit. Someone has Dova, Dova. Dova. Someone help me. Okay. Someone else. Body block. Body block. Forever's defusing. Nice job. Nice. 
One more oh fight. Oh my god, I actually have F10. I, I, I don't have a weapon, bro. I'm just. Oh, you don't I, I'm not, man. I'll give you my secondary. Uh, no, I know. I'm disarmed. I mean. Oh, you're he's three, disarmed. You have to F10. No, I'm just gonna kick. That, he's dead. We won the fight I'm again. I'm stalling. Keep it up. We won the fight. Kill that guy. F10, DBS? Yes, F10. Does anybody have a heal? Okay, then I have to go back and get a bandage. Oh, he's dead. Retreat. Randy, come back. We can hold this. Yep. I'm bandaging. One so minute, gentlemen. One like minute. I have a banner coming down. Who's pushing around? Good pick. He's dead. He's dead. Hey, give me a band down, down, give me down. a band-aid. I'm gonna yeah, go back and I'll grab it. Ooh. He's dead. Are we all alive? Are we all alive? Yeah, we're yeah, all alive. Yeah, we're yeah, all we're alive. Keep it up. We won. 30 Again, seconds. It. Takes 30 seconds, so. But they, 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 literally they hit it a couple times. Less. Oh, true, true. Forgot Once it gets that. past 20, there's no way they can win. It's over. I'm leaving you all night. Yeah. They're lighting, they're going to light, they're going to light. They're lighting. Stop this. Good shit. Good job. It's over. It's over. It's well fought, go, gentlemen. Dude. Good fucking nice comeback, down. guys. Nice Killed job, guys. Let's <sighs> go. Oh, you won, oh, you won even four. with Brandy's power oh. going out. Oh. Yeah. Well fought. That's fucking well crazy. Fought. Great match. That, that's oh, like... Yeah. It's crazy timing that like your power goes out during your one match of the day. I know. Oh my yeah. god. You have, like you have, one, you have one time, like window. yeah, one time all day that you need the power to not go out. <laughs> Nothing wrong to go. Yeah. Yeah. I, must, I must be a sinner. That was such god damn good LARP match. commander strikes oh. again. Good shit, old knight. That was one of the best matches oh. we've ever had. It has to be. Yeah. Sure. That was, that was so a lot of fun. Fun, bro. Thank you for playing Doba. Yeah, yeah, thanks for filling in Doba. Yeah, you did, did great. Thank you very much. I would love you to did great. Again. You did great. I yeah. saw you win a couple one v twos. That was really, it was really good. Thank you. I can't act like I wasn't nervous as shit, but this is super. We're fun. all That's nervous, all bro. Good, bro. We're all nervous. Actually, never yeah, mind. I'm not nervous, bro. I'm literally like that guy. So, oh, the Roman Slayer, Stone Face Killer. I'm a Roman Slayer, bro. I'm a Roman Slayer. <laughs> I'm a little quiet after Randy left. <laughs> bro, I mean, a little, the, a little like, defeated. What are we supposed to say, bro? What is all the way old commander supposed to be like? Yeah, bro, just with the five you bro. Just with it, bro. Everybody kept going like, uh, can we get salmon? How do we just get salmon? <laughs> no, bro. I'm glad we didn't. That's like that's a legit win now. Well, yeah, because it's against the rules if you get salmon. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, yeah I mean, but if they still, allow it, it's fine. I know, but, but still, also, I, like, I appreciate you guys. Uh, it. No, it, I don't think it. I don't think it's fine even if they do. No, it's not it. fine. I think it is. I think it's, it's, against, it. it's against the it's rules. It's against the rules, but I, I I do appreciate that the Vandals were willing to make that. Yeah, no, that's, I, I, that's respectable. Exactly. It's something that, like, you should have, like, another sub, but I get that it's Easter weekend. And hard yeah. To yeah. Low-key, it was kind of a mistake to start on Easter weekend, but, I mean, I'm Jewish, so I didn't even know that was a thing, so um, can't blame me. <laughs> it's not you a really big thing in Canada. You don't remember when you killed really Jesus? Know. Bro, we did not kill Jesus. Those were, there, the bro. Romans, bro. Oh, okay. Those were the Romans, bro. Those are the Romanians or something. The, the Jews are always Romanians. behind Romanians. <laughs> was it not Romanians? Was it Romans? I'm not Christian. I don't know. Romans. But it was... Bro, uh, okay, it was the Jews. They what? wasn't the behest of the... Uh, the Jews are uh, always at... The the Jewish if it wasn't for the was Jews, he wouldn't have died. Yeah. <laughs> bro, you are wily. Bro, he was Jewish, bro. Why would the Jews kill him? They didn't are you like commentating still, Dave? God. Yeah, I got, yeah, I ain't commentating. I forgot. We got another okay. match to do. Sun God, you're gonna get commentate with me? The, get back in the casting room. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. commentate he's, if he doesn't needed. want to. Okay, bro. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or we can. Or we can triple. Are kind of cracked on triple. Catapult. That three cooks is too many. Oh, <laughs> all right, bro. Yeah. I'll let y'all rock. That was pretty good. I've been practicing. Three cooks is too many, bro. All right, back to delirium. All right, good match, guys. Good match. Good shit, Dave. Okay, bro. Let's see. How do I need to do like, dude, joining a stage channel in Discord is the most like unbelievably annoying shit ever, bro. Okay. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that match. That definitely took a year off my life. Let's check the schedule and see what we got going on for the rest of the stream. Although, 
no bias. I don't know how anything could top that. Hope you all enjoyed that. Let me end that poll, bro. Oh, God. Yeah, bro, we, we rocked it, bro. I mean, come on now. What can I say, bro? What can I say? Okay, what do we got here? We just did this, and we got two more hours of matches. We got Byzantine Empire versus Knights of Vanguard and Basins versus Survival. Uh, I'm going to let you guys decide which one you want to see. XY or a TO? Let's put the poll out there, bruh. BE, okay, which match? BE versus KOV or B versus R? All right, bro, there we go. Go ahead and vote on it. You got less than a minute. <laughs> okay, bro, B, e, B versus R is winning by like a pretty large margin. So I'm just going to go there. But I mean, they just got time to change it, though. I'll give it another like 30 seconds. Let's show Revival. They've been under the radar. For yeah, that's that's fair, bro. That's fair. Well, then again, we haven't shown Byzantine Empire either or Knights of Vanguard. We haven't shown either of them. So, like, they haven't been under the radar as much as the other ones. Bro, do not say zoom out again. You're going to give me PTSD, bro. Stop, bro. Stop. Uh, okay, it's looking like B versus R. I'm sorry, uh, whoever wanted to see BE versus KOV. That ain't happening. Who won Divided Loyalty versus Booty Clappers? I actually don't know. I would have to ask the refs afterwards, so I'm sorry. I, I kind of want to know that too, though. Yeah, bro, DVS was very warmed up. I, bro, I was not warmed up, bro. So. Booty Clappers won 5-1. to one. Nice, nice. Okay, well, good job, Booty Clappers. All right, yeah. Uh, we'll do... Uh, Basins versus Revival. We'll watch the Pee Wee League, bruh. No offense. Which is TL. Let me join that lobby. TL. Hello, Dave. Oh, Sun God, you finally joined, bruh. Yeah, we had to give the, like, the post talk real quick. <laughs> what a match, right? Yeah, dude. That was that was intense. I'm glad I drank a little coffee beforehand. Bruh. Um, all right, bro. Looks like they're all in the server. They're just waiting for the map to roll. We actually joined just on time. Also, Sunga, I was wondering if you could like watch my stream instead of spectating in game, so we could like see the same thing and commentate on the same thing. Um, that makes sense. That, but your, your stream is behind, so it's behind by like I'm not even joking, like two seconds. <laughs> not even, not even. I, I think I think it's good that I if I get a different perspective, so I, I let you talk, and then uh, and then I uh, if if something else is going on across the map, I can, I can say like what's up, like if they're what's fair going enough. On the up trebuchet. Fair enough. And for the most part, I, I like to, I do look at your stream and follow the camera to some degree. Okay. Fair enough. All right, so we got, let me change the scoreboard. We got the uh, Revival Eternal on the schedule. They're put as Revival, but they're actually called the Revival Eternal, so. And then Basins. Basins. And then let me just change both the scores to zero. Cool. I got I got to clean up my play a little bit against yeah. Vandal. I was I was doing so I, I I had some really good stuff, but I missed some stabs. I did some new. Same jabs here, man. Punished. Same here. I had it's the same exact story. Had some fights where I'm just like, bro, like you guys fucking suck, bro. You guys are dog shit. And then like I had some fights where like, Ooh. yeah, <laughs> Ooh. exactly. <laughs> That's just how it is. And you gotta, you gotta, and Vandal's playstyle, a lot of them, like, they, they are going to, like, uh, 
try to push very aggressive offensively, and if you don't like hit your shit, they will they're they are they are lined up to punish. Yeah, I agree. Okay, um I got my scoreboard. Alright. Looks like the Basin's got a European on deck. Or maybe he just has shit in it. You never know. Basin Nation, yeah. Give it up for Basins, bro. Basins on uh, attack and the, what is it? If Revival Eternal on defense. Already clashing off here at the right cart. I think it's already a big mistake that they have nobody on the left cart. Kind of just, just rocking it, bro. What's the prediction, Sun God? Do we take these? I mean, oh, that's the old prediction. Okay, okay, here we go. Um, oh, that's, that's also the uh, wrong prediction. <laughs> I'm, behind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm start a poll. I'm gonna start a poll. Who takes these? Basins, revival, eternal. All right, bro. Cast your votes, noobs. Cast your votes. Rocky got jokes with a hundred ping. Yeah, is, it, is this server uh, Miami or is it East? This is Miami. It is what it is, bro. Do they know about the VPN thing? Because Froggy is definitely in a. They I, should I, know about sure the VPN thing. I don't know. I don't know if they do or don't. It sucks if they don't though, because this match is already going on. No, the other team doesn't have great ping either, so it should be fine. This is Miami, so it shouldn't have the routing issue. If they have bad ping, it's just because they have bad ping. It is what it is. Okay. So, already off to a decent start. Um, defense actually putting up a good fight. You already know, bruh. Revival Eternal. Clashing again. 4v5. 4v6. CKG on the catapult. Can he get kills? Definitely killed something. I don't even know if it was a teammate or not. <laughs> Okay. Our Yeast. Oh, he was doing so well. I think they still hold these. 3v2, although they're all critically injured. 1v2, one dead. Oh, but he gets disarmed. Disarm with the 2v1 win. Revival holds. Yet again. Let's break this. I do think they gotta they gotta start splitting it up on both carts. Like look at that, right? To test and just Gave up the right cart to start fighting these guys or join his team to fight the left cart. Just doesn't seem necessary. And it looks like all y'all are voting for Rev Revival Eternal to win. So. Ooh, that's two. That's two hit with the Kata. Go to Catapult users? Revival Eternal might need to give Goblin some lessons. The testing gets <laughs> caught healing. Free kill. Wagadins just lets his team make rock. Okay, bro, finally. Rictus now now's the time to hit, hit the other uh, battering ram. Jossie's going for it. Is he, bro? Okay, yeah, see, finally. Jossie taking the one against the Pullman. Unfortunately, though, it's not going to be a one. It's going to be a 3v3. Oh, my days. Another catapult shot. That, catapult guy's actually trade. popping off. That was a trade. They killed one teammate. In my opinion, that's like... A trade is bad for defense. What a good switch from Jawsy. That was a great play. Oh, but he goes for the uh, the active parry punish, but uh, not gonna. But happen. Wagdens reads it and excels. Rick just got a really good excel though. Do you see that? Some good drag. Good nice heavies. jab. I like. I like. This guy's doing well. All yeah, Rick just uh. He trained in the first half of his chivalry career with, I believe, uh, SAC, or uh, I think the SACA program, their training program. The ball sack program? <laughs> no, the, 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 the European uh, clan. He, 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 he oh, Speedy Agro were... Knights, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he trained with them originally, and, he, and then he came to LK to begin his NA career once he felt that he was ready. Right, 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 right. Okay. Interesting. He was a part of the legendary Ultimus Rex uh, TO victory. Okay. So he, he has some, some competitive experience under his belt. 
Very interesting. I'm, I'm just seeing like this guy pop off here. I'm just like mesmerized by the doses spins, bro. And now they decide finally to take down that catapult. They've gone field engineer. Um, may or may not be the right play. They, it seems like they've destroyed the catapult right when they need it. <laughs> you know? I don't know if yeah, that's the play. Yeah, at, 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 at that point, uh, once once the the battering ram gets like to that fire pot in front of the in front of the catapult, they can no longer hit it. So usually that's when teams turn the or destroy their own catapult. But they did for the things. Another fight on the right side. They've decided to switch over. You see here, they keep on focusing like all men on either on either ram but like i feel like you can attack both battering rams you know just have one guy on one and the other five pushing one or even a three three split or something some 5v3 right now raider with a rocket launcher gets a kill and revival the sand skipper gets super goes down revival maintains that defense See, now they're, now they're run, running for the the top one, but oh, Raider with a rocket play, launcher. That would have been that, that was would have been a good play. Yeah, they sent five over to the right, and then pulled the entire team, and one guy just ratted. And pushed yeah, the exactly. The that would have been good. Decent oil pot over there by revival. And the team fight begins. Kind of a clusterfuck right now. No one's really fighting on point. I think that's really on the basin's fault. They should totally be fighting on point. Warhorn, really good Warhorn actually. Like. Almost perfect timing, to be honest, for how damaged they were and how many of them were still alive. It's kind of iffy to get a good Warhorn going, because, like, you, you want to use it when people are hurt to get as much value out of it as possible, but you also don't want to use it when, like, all your teammates are dead. Exactly. So, or you, you could use it uh, to buff yourself before a fight that you need to win. That, too. I think, honestly, for me, if I was using Warhorn, which I never will because I don't play Knight of Vanguard, but if I did... I'm thinking that the way I would use it is, like, when somebody is downed to revive them. Or, like, wait for yeah. a teammate to get downed and then insta-revive them before somebody, like, kills them. And honestly, probably yeah. then I should be healing a lot of people. Yeah, because that, that is actually so fast. They can get up and they, they can put their block up instantly. Yeah. Like, if you manually revive them, where uh, they have a little bit of delay where you can get punished despite them standing up. Mm -hmm. Like it's so fast that you could be down and the and, and the uh, the enemy could be in wind up. Horn goes off and he could block it. Right here, CKG actually just wins the one v two, and leaves the guy with one arm <laughs> to fend for himself. Gets an awesome leaping strike on his teammate and then Raider with the rocket launchers, but misses. We only got about ten yards to go. <laughs> ten yards. One yeah. minute left though. They might actually hold them first objective. That's crazy. This is fourth they, and goal right here. They need to win this. Can they, they make it. They need to win this team fight. There's no choice. They have to win this team fight to win. Like they literally, they have no choice, and they honestly have to push up pretty far too. Warhorn, like yeah. Kelsey might be going for a flank or or a rat. Yeah, he's going for the rat. Nope, he's going for a flank. Yeah. Honestly, pretty good hits from Jazzy. Someone needs to run. Someone needs to run. Someone, now. no, nope. They're seeing nighting, bro. They rather they rather fight here. None of them are going for the objective. Honestly, this is a really bad decision by them. I don't know why none of them has decided to disengage yet. 20 seconds left on the clock. They might just give it up. Unfortunate. Well, you know, they were a late sign-up, so I, I don't think they had time to, uh, to practice. Maybe not, but damn, that's unfortunate. Six seconds left. They don't have time to get it. Unfortunate. Yeah. Basins lose at objective one that means no score for them so all revival has to do to win is get this first objective but technically basins can draw there's a total possibility of a draw you never know that actually makes revival what first first team to hold fully like on um, first objective that I'm aware of, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Okay. Let's see, bro. The fall of lion's fire. Rabbit says no. Booty clappers. Booty clappers held first objective. Then, but somebody told me that the 
score was five to one. So that means that they didn't hold first objective. You mean, Rabbit, where did they hold? On the catapult part? Are they breaking the door part or pushing the ramp part? Pushing the, uh, the battering ramps. Booty Clappers held second. Okay, so yeah, then that's not holding first. Noob Rabbit. It was the program. Someone said they did, bro. Somebody lied. The ref's in chat right now saying that they didn't. All they got to do is hold. Easy. Yeah, excellence. I guess it's just unfortunate because they know right now that they can't win. They can only draw. But that happens in a lot of other competitive games too. I remember playing Overwatch back in the day. It was basically a guarantee that you would draw on 2 CP. Alright, bro. Scoreboard fixed. All right, let's see what happens here. Sun God, predictions? Are we ending in a draw? Or is Revival taking I, the dub? With Revival now I, on the offensive? I, I think Revival is definitely taking the dub. I mean, I think that was very much a conceptual uh, defeat uh, from the Basins. I think, if, I think if they just, you know, positioned differently, maybe did a different play, they could have easily got past that objective. And I think that Revival won't make the same mistake. Okay. Interesting. Already off to a good start for Revival. They kind of wiped defense and are now pushing both carts, as we talked about before. Look at that. As the basins group up near the catapult and decide that they want to get some ship damage off, let's see if it happens. Close enough, but didn't get any damage off. The Basins are getting intercepted by a flanker, CKG. Raider with a rocket launcher attempts a shot. Unfortunately, he misses, though. CKG is able to do that and win the 1v2. At the moment, CKG is just ripping through their back line, killing all three of them. There needs to be a bit more individual power here if they plan to hold that catapult. And it looks like Revival Eternal is pushing up with the catapult and now has taken claim to the catapult. Basin Nation, they have seven minutes. <laughs> they have to hold them here. That's a tough ask. It might not be possible. But they totally could pull it around if they find their rhythm. Although right here, like Rictus, kind of pushing out, overextending a little bit, in my opinion. With a 2v3, and unfortunately, both of the two die. Revival Eternal is pushing. And they're trying to break the door before it's even possible. I don't know why they would do that. Especially, it's unnecessary, because... That once they get to that door, it's it's they win, so. But tons of catapult shots going all over the place. It's a 2v2. This 2v2 may very well determine the outcome of the match entirely. Revival Eternal, if they can beat these two, are able to push the cart. And uh, one Wigadins captures the objective, and that means Revival wins with a score of 1-0. Oh, good job to Revival Eternal. Very well done. Now, they, they still need uh, to win the next, all the points, if they want to max out their score. Okay, okay. So, they can't give up here. They can't quit, or else they will be, overall, uh, worse off in the rest of the season. Makes sense. Um, at the moment, pretty interesting. I think, I, I don't think they're going to have trouble getting the rest of the map, to be honest. I think th there's just too much of a differential. The kills are 22 to 9 right now. Wegadins is like spinning and shit. <laughs> they took him down, but it's, it's really, uh, I think the teams are quite uneven. And uh, there's not much that can be done. Even if Basins find their rhythm right now, it's too late to take a draw. But then again... You know, more experience for the later rounds next week, so. He probably uses a horn to heal up everybody. Pretty decent horn. And decides to just hold out at the catapult, foregoing the battering ram. <laughs> Sending somebody in to get instantly hit. Players engaging with each other love the socialization, but unfortunately one of them has to go, and they realize that too. <laughs> Um, 
Simpleton. Simpleton asks. He says he really likes the rule set we have, but he doesn't uh, understand uh, the Doomer Dodge ban. Oh yeah, so the dash gamble, basically, uh, Simpleton. Dodge canceling is not banned in its entirety. There's a, a specific variation of dodge canceling that allows you to not only dodge cancel, but then cancel that said dodge cancel into a block and then allowing you to counter. And that allows you to attack significantly faster than a combo. So you can watch a video that I have on that. Um, and it's literally just called the dash gamble, so you can look that up. And that technique is uh, banned. But we do understand it happens on accident. Um, so there's a little bit of forgiveness there. At least more forgiveness than on the other rules. Zafne perfectly counters an attack to protect his guy on the battering ram. Revival Eternal going for the battering ram now. They don't want to use the uh, catapult anymore. I guess they got bored of it. Wigadin's getting farmed. I think he maybe they thought they could hit the door, but maybe they don't know that the door has massive HP. <laughs> so you're not going to do anything uh, against it unless you have like two or three engineers. Rictus actually gets Wait. a very nice feint off. While well, Emu got Francis tried teammate. That. Yeah, tried it's that. it's the full health. The, the bar was all the way at the end, and I went and hit the door like ten times and still didn't. Know. But for us, it worked, Sun God. Me and Clan Killer went with Field Engineer and just started whacking at it, and that that ended up in our favor, did it not? It absolutely did. It, it freed me to feed all night catapulting, <laughs> machine gun style, machine gun style, LMG style. Revival Eternal takes the gatehouse and move on to the town square. The kill diff is a little bit better now. I feel like basins are finding their footing, but I'm wondering if they can hold them at this objective where they simply just have to be better. You can see throughout the teams today, um, I don't think anybody held town square because it's just such a hard objective to hold. Yeah, you would, the really best way to do it would be you'd have to front load your wins uh, and not die because every spawn wave that's triggered, you get spawned further and further back. Right. So if you lose the first fight, that's which we did, uh, you know, it's just bad, bad for you. Yeah, you guys almost so. did 130 left. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it's just such a long objective time, like eight minutes. That's crazy. And it's eight minutes of just team fighting, no pushing an objective or anything. So, if attack wins like two team fights, they got it. And the really interesting thing about the team fighting here is that it's not on. It's it, 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 objectives like this, which are people uh, say are akin to LTS, but they're not on LTS maps that people have practiced. They have routes that they they have certain jumps that they know will work. Uh, and even if you played Teal a lot, it's really different because there aren't uh, 63 other players packed in here. There are only uh, 11 others. So every, every, all the dynamics are changed. So it's really interesting. And if you're a fan of the game like I am, it's just it's really fun. It's like a whole different game. I agree. It's just It's just simply better than everything else we've done. You know? Yeah. It simply is just better. I don't know how else to say it. And, and the key, the key to winning is 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 is, is uh, team play, strategy, etc. It's it's not it's not just uh, your killing ability, although that is mm -hmm. a significant portion of. Hey, it. Vladimir, you welcome back. Yeah, still, I mean, I I like five to six people because, in my opinion, that is the perfect number where individual skill is important, but at the same time, strategy becomes a factor. And I think we see this with sports in real life. There's like a number, and if you go past that number, it doesn't allow individuals to shine as much, which is why, in my opinion, no sport with more than 11 people is really popular. Because it's just like, if you have more than 11 people, it just becomes like clumps of men. <laughs> which is cool too, I guess. Pause. But, you know. And for esports, that number is like 5 to 7. For real sports, it's like 11. 8 to 11. So... It's not a coincidence that every eSport is like five to seven people on it, on teams. Golf. <laughs> bruh. Hey, listen, bro. Golf ain't no soccer. 
So. Revival uh, is holding Town Square after their first victory. Yep, very interesting. Basins were unable to contest it. It's all right. They decide to back up onto the bridge. What do you think the uh, the basins would be doing better here? Football doesn't have that much, that many players compared to 11. soccer. Yeah, this is like eleven. Eleven. That's what I said. Same as soccer. Nope. Excuse me, Dave. I'll be back in a second. All right. Revival looks like they're winning their team fight here, although they're all incredibly injured. Sandskipper going for those crazy swings. Hits his teammate on the ground, unfortunately, and then gets finished off. Pause. Hey, Vladimir, welcome back. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we were just talking about like how there's an ideal number that people like to see because people like to see teamwork. They also like to see individuals and like their skill. And if you had a sport where it's like 60 people versus 60 people, that'd just be, or 30 people versus 30 people, I just don't think it'd be as popular as your typical sports that have 11 people because I feel like it would just take away from the individual's performance. So I enjoy this way more. How many are in water polo? I have a friend that played. I have a friend that played water polo. I don't know how many are in there. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. I there you go. Polo. Yeah. It's. It, but what I'm trying to say is that like, if this to me is much more enjoyable than 32 v 32. Because of the fact that. It's just, the teamwork's still there, but it's like I have to be good. And I can, I can shine a lot more. And every time I get a kill, it matters more. So. Right here so far, the Basins are actually holding pretty well. They haven't let them get past at all. So, good job. They stopped every flank, every streak. With the side objective being broken open now. I don't think it'll change much. You know, I, I really think it's interesting where different teams, uh, which objectives they perform better at. Uh, the Basins, maybe they're just finding their footing now. Yeah. They're figuring out what to do, and they're doing a great hold here. What do you think of that banner placement, though? It doesn't seem like it's healing most of them. <laughs> uh, it's tough, you know. It's not terrible. I wouldn't say it's an F-tier banner placement. <laughs> but I wouldn't say it's S-tier. Unfortunately, they let one get past, so... One is running, but he'll probably get intercepted by his spawn. Ooh, the spawns are on the other side, though. They're not going to be able to catch him. He's going to destroy one banner. Interesting. Yeah. One decides to go up the ladder. One actually hops over the oil pot. Good job. It's not that big of a deal. They should have just sent one guy to stall him because it was dead either way. Yeah. But now they're having uh, a 1v1 on the other side. Dukuli main versus our Yeef. Oh, and got some guy comes up the ladder. Okay, now they're having to defend the central uh, banner, but that's the, t the hardest one. And we have a Mason coming up. Ooh, and he misses. He looks like he lagged a little bit. Frog, he looks like he lagged. That's unfortunate. The banner was their bold claim to the world. We are here. <laughs> yes, it was. I mean, it, it, I understand. It's not even that bad of a place because, like, it was... It was placed up there so they could not break it easily, which makes sense, but at the same time, they just like, I don't know, they didn't fight near it because they had to protect the flank, so they didn't just, they didn't do that. And it looks like Revival is, or sorry, no, Basins is foregoing one side while Revival just plants. I remember you tried to ninja last round, Sun God. What happened? <laughs> because the bomb went off. Um, yeah, I mean, T-Bird saw me, uh, come no. in, and, and I, I, I think he was staying anyways. Okay. And, but he was, like, pussyfooting it, and I just needed to go in there in case he did stay. I had to win the fight quicker, and, um, I, I did win, and if I had won about... Sun God, minutes, shut up. The champ is in chat. Earlier. The ch Shut up, Sun God. The champ is in chat. There oh are more God. important things. Stride as yeah. angels. The champ is here to hear my voice. I am so appreciative. Sun God, the champ's here. Strida, look what you're missing out on. 6 v 6 combat, the peak of team objective. Significantly better than 32v32. 
Yeah, but right Dave, now. If, I, if I had killed him like a millisecond earlier, I would have gotten the defuse. That would, oh, uh, so you all, you were close to it? Because the defuse, the circle, was full, and then it exploded. So it was like literally a millisecond longer, maybe 10 milliseconds. Makes sense. Stride of the glaze, dude, no. Froggy right here actually counting like crazy, but he doesn't have to, he has a tower shield. And of course, Revival Plants, the second trebuchet. It looks like they're gonna defend it, they're all here, and Basins are nowhere near. And they, I guess they're standing next to it because they rather, they like to sacrifice themselves. It's about to pop off and they just wanna ensure that nothing gets diffused. The Basins are trying to fight back here, but I think it's better if they just back off and go to the next objective. Yeah, yeah, I think they are now. And here These it ends, bro. Who's about to blow up? Who's who's going? Magadins is healing. I don't think he understands what's about to happen. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, four revival members decide to push up the ramp and fight immediately, even though it's a four v five. Basins pop a horn and it's actually really clean sweep but the oil pot hits all of them Trip. or three of them very cool basins clean sweeped i don't think any of them died never mind one of them did very interesting did they yeah. give up the other side probably yeah I can that's froggy that was that was a good point you made froggy uh is not countering it's countering too much uh, yeah, there's always a threat there. Froggy, uh, this is where you can take a break, bro. You got the shield. <laughs> like, come on. Oh, okay. Full flank from Revival. Revival going crazy with the dodge cancels on CKG, trying to 1v3 somewhat successfully, actually. He's going insane. Yeah, you see how he, he dodge cancels to get his block back up after dragging? That's completely yeah. okay. But if he were to hit their block and then quickly dodge and beat initiative, that would not be okay. Dodge and then block cancel the dodge and then attack. <laughs> yeah. Looks like there was a plant, but then they defused it. That's right. Froggy's got it locked down. Oh, but he... Unfortunately, too shallow, and then he gets punished for the miss. Revival plants once more. I think this is where they have it. It's going to be very difficult for Basins to win the team fight here. How do you dash cancel? Immediately after landing an attack, you can just dodge. It's the same reason you can block immediately after an attack lands. Um, Vladimir also said the spear is useless. I'm going to have to disagree with you. The spear is definitely not useless. <laughs> All right. It looks like, yep, that makes game. Revival... Got five objectives. Very well done, Revival. I think um, be proud of yourselves. That was a clean sweep. Killed if it wasn't even that bad by the end. I believe if Basins caught their ground a little bit better, they probably could have had a more even match at least, if not drawed it or won. Because the kill diff here is very different from the kill diff in the beginning. Kill diff was a birdie with 10-9. Absolutely, even the, the, the first game. The first game, it was, I think, double. It was a factor of two. Yeah. So, unfortunately, I think the Basins really did uh, get get the wind under the wings, but it was too late. Uh, and you know what? That happens. They're, they were a new team to sign up. They probably didn't practice for three weeks beforehand, like some of the teams have. So, I'm excited to see how they uh, evolve in the, in the coming weeks. Yeah. That's Revival beating Revival Eternal beating Basins. Well done. Strata says, you're not selling me on sixes, Dave. Sun God, take the mic. Say what you got to say. Strata, it's so fun. I mean, the thing is, uh, it's it, it can be exactly the same experience as 64TO, but it's just a microcosm of it, right? And so you, you don't have, you know, random people double sprinting in with Dane axes all the time. You got a little bit more space to 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 move, you know? You win, you win your team fight with your 6v6, and then that's a, uh, a step forward. You're gonna take a break and reset. I agree, bro. All right, so Sauce Code says, who's next? Well fought uh, to the participants. Let me go ahead and get the schedule out. So, selling him on drinking dog water. 
<laughs> yeah, well. Um, okay. We just finished Basins versus Revival. And we can either go to Basins versus the Knights of Vanguard, or we can go to Byzantine Empire versus Revival. What do you guys want to see? Actually, let me put another poll. I don't know why I asked you guys anything. <laughs> Start a poll. Who are we watching? BE versus Revival or Basins versus Knights of Vanguard? Take your votes, noobs. <laughs> Stratus said, Sun God, never become a car salesman. No one is buying shit from you. Damn, bro. It is what it is. Okay. So. It's fun. Let's see the votes. What do you need to know? BE versus Revival winning by a landslide. Okay, okay. It's like in 20, 20 v 20, strategy certainly matters. But in reality, if you're facing an even team, then people are dying too much to stick together in certain squads, right? They're, they are respawning at different times. They can't reach each other. Each person in the, in the 6v6 matters where they are, what they're doing, when they do stuff, how they execute. It's extremely important. It's a high stakes TO. You can think of it like that. I had this up earlier while playing free for all, and I think Simpleton was wrecking. Hey, bro. Probably. Anyway. Uh, it's like a microcosm, this Honda Civic. <laughs> Very funny. All right. Um, let's see. What, what, what are the votes, bro? BE versus Revival. That's what you all want to see, bro? That's really like the cream of the crop match, bro? All right. Sure thing. Let's go ahead and change the score. Well, we have a little bit of time before the match starts, so you know. Byzantine Empire. Oh my god, they don't even fit on my scoreboard. <laughs> what the hell? You like the B BYZ Empire, maybe? I'm just gonna put BE. Fuck BE for having such a long name. Win MFL? Um, we could probably do it next week. Um, the reason why I wasn't I wasn't doing the MFL uh, was at first was because the ser we weren't sure how the servers would work, and I think now we have a decent solution. Um, and plus there were all like the other events people were running, and I was helping to run. So that kind of provided that organized TO experience. Uh, and also we were organizing this. And so now I'm kind of more free. Everything's in motion. So we, we could probably do an MFL. Yeah, I think at this point we're probably going to get this to be a little bit more automated by next week. And then we should be good. Because I also want the MFL. I guess it's just a and matter of like how much can people play. But I think... For the most part, the people who want the MFL are not the people who want this, so, you know. Exactly, and and maybe even new players. Some people who play the MFL are now playing, who first started comp in the MFL are now playing on teams in this, which was, you know, something we really wanted to see, and I'm glad it, ha it has come to fruition. And maybe now, this next season, we'll have mostly people who are not affiliated with comp in any way. And then the next season of whatever NCL or comp event, they will then join a team and be able to play in it. Mm -hmm. Repeat the cycle. I concur, bro. I concur. Okay. 10 38. We still got 20 minutes till our match. Vladimir said, Strata, who's the random, who's the most random Chad player you've randomly come across? What are some noobs that you've, re like, remembered, Sun God? Like, just literal random nooblet. A random nooblet? Well, I think there's yeah. one guy, like, uh, his name's sorry, it's not Girthworthy. It's like it's like Girth Enjoyer, uh, who was in the dual yard the other day, and he was he was he like uh, I thought he was uh, like a noob, and I I feel like I farmed him on like FFA and other things and in, in dual yards, but I lost like five in a row. He like five owed me in a ca in, in five casual duels. 
Let's okay, go cool. crazy. You want to do duels while we wait for the next match? Gentlemen. Oh, Funk, what's up? Um, is your match concluded? Our match? Yeah. The uh, Okay. Rev it was Revival versus Basins. Revival won. Sounds good. Um, do you need... We need to swap the servers around, right? Because now I've got Basins and Knights Vanguard. Let's see what the schedule says. Um, schedule says... The... Hmm. Uh, it's, it's Basins versus Knights of Vanguard and Byzantine Empire versus Revival. Which one are you on? Uh, right now, I have neither because I disconnected from the server. Okay. Um, Knights of Vanguard is currently in uh, HG. No. Um, Sam should XY be on. Here. Sam should be on XY. I'm covering for Sam. Oh, then you're you're on XY then. Yeah. All right. So do you want me to have, uh, what is it, Knights of Vanguard stay in XY? Yeah. Yeah. All right. They should stay in XY, and then Basins should join XY. Is No Name still on TL? Uh, that's a great question. I don't know where No Name is. I'll go find out. Thank you. Okay, bro. Oh, No Name, no name is in chat. He said yes. Okay, yeah, No Name. Go, go to TL, bro. Keep doing your thing, girlfriend. Um, Sun God, duels. All right, the duels not in Duel Yard, no RDM. Which which one? Are we sure, going to? duels not in Duel Yard, no RDM. <laughs> it says no Duel Yard. It says not in Duel Yard, but it's Duel Yard. Okay. Stride or is bought yesterday against some a Mortal Pro team. And... God, do I regret it. It's uh, why oh, yeah, we, we did all right, we did all right for a, a level 30 noob, but uh, I don't, I don't enjoy it. You don't enjoy Mordo? Uh, I enjoy it casually a lot, I really like it casually, but I don't like uh, what happens at the high level. I thought they had the no, uh, the no chamber server, yeah, exactly. Um and it's not that I don't like chambers, but it's it's that uh, I don't know. I, I don't I don't like I don't like uh, hard reading feints uh, and being able to punish. I, I like I, I really enjoy what Mobius is doing, where faint you can't punish feints. Okay. Maybe maybe feints can be used for something for like target switching. Of course, I got a block. Now he's in cooldown, and you can switch onto the enemy. But, uh... This is bullshit. <laughs> Easy. How that? There's a special fast for the throw? That's bullshit. I guess so. Look, I mean, ball, Vladimir I said, Mordahau has too high of a skill ceiling. You see, I just disagree. I think this game and Mordahau have an equal skill ceiling. I just think this game is easier to get into. Yeah, so, and, and I think I, I, well, one of the reasons, uh, one of the big differences in the combat is, or it's, if you like a really high level difference, would be Shivery 2, you have to do swing manip and all the all the right things over an extended period of time. And Mordhau, you need to do all the right things all the time in a very short period of time. And and so that's just something I, I, I uh, you know, not a fan of. I, pref I prefer a little bit more extended fights. Uh, and I think there's a, there's slight changes you could make to Shivery too to make the the fights you know a yeah. little bit a little bit quicker. But... I concur. I mean, to be honest, I, people say like even... people say that oh fights are too long in Shivery too. They're really not. Only the duels are too long. But if you look at like LTS and Mordhau and LTS and Shiv, it's basically the same exact. Like duration, they, the Chivalry Two ones don't last longer at all. I gotta get off these shitty weapons. Rapier's shitty, bro. No, I'm just terrible at it. I was too distracted yapping. Let's switch off. Yeah, so like, and then people are making different different games uh, with slash mechanics like Renown, so that's like a Rust game 
with the slash mechanics, and in particular uh, mechanics that are very similar to the first chivalry, chivalry medieval warfare. And yeah. you know, I don't really like that. I, th I think um, I think the fights are too fast. If you if you're fighting over tier three loot that took you like a million years to like make and, and go for. You don't you want you want that fight to kind of be cinematic. Yeah, I'm exactly. Not. I dude, I've said it a million times. Renown needs this game's combat, not chivalry ones. Renown is a game where you want every fight to take five minutes. Genuinely. No cap. So I don't know why they have decided to pick something where like the fight literally has a time limit. That time limit being stamina. Oh, that's, that's bullshit. It's too much health, bro. <laughs> Die. Uh, somebody said to fight Pispay, and I'll fight Pispay. Stratus says, Sun God, being in the renowned voice chat, reminded me within a minute how much the slasher community sucks as people. Damn, bro. Why? Sun God, what did you do? Oh, no. Strata, look, I know exactly what you're talking about, but I think those guys in particular were actually rust people. I mean, that made, being in that voice chat made me not like rust people, Strida. Because I, I know which ones were like slasher and, and which ones were rust. Because before you came, we were explaining some stuff to them. Lockout on Longsword? From the goat? Yeah, these extended fights are what Renown needs, uh, genuinely. Because a, another reason why I say that is because. In, the, in this genre, to practice and improve, you need so much gameplay, like, nice, so much fighting to improve. Would you not agree, Sun God? You need to fight again and again and again and again yeah. and again and again and again and again and again for a thousand hours to improve to the point where you could beat a very good player. And in Renown, that's just not going to happen. It's a survival game. So, the, like, the amount of fighting per gameplay is like what? Like, a tenth of your gameplay will be fighting? Maybe less? So much less. Yeah, so much bad less. bad players have so little opportunity to improve. And in my opinion, that's why they need a combat system where it's easy to survive for a long time. So you get more gameplay in and then you learn to improve better. Chivalry 2 is very good because unlike Mordhau, it gives the tools it gives you a lot of tools to survive. So bad players can survive longer to you know improve. But in Mordhau, obviously, and they die faster, so they have less time to improve. That's why people say Chivalry 2 has a low skill ceiling, because it's very accessible in how long you can survive. But that doesn't mean it's less skill-based. It just means it's easier to survive in, which are not the same thing. Yeah, and, and the thing is, the raids, uh, they made a good change up from Rust, which was to make raids expensive. But if you show up to the if you show up to a raid that you've been pairing for for with like ten people for like five hours, just trying to get the amount of resources you need, and then it's over in a second because all the fights are so slow. I mean, so, so exactly, quick. yeah. But basically, the I think Randy had a an interesting opinion with removing stamina, which technically would increase the time between fights. But I think it would just be better to have Silver Two's combat system, and. The reason why they don't have it is probably the same reasoning the more the Mobius devs gave me, right? Is they just said they're not confident in their ability to make a good Chivalry 2 version, but they're confident in their ability to make Chivalry 1 comment because that's what they played and enjoyed. So I can't even hate on them for that. Although, I will say that obviously I would prefer it if it had Chivalry 2's combat system. You and know, I, I don't believe that I'm biased. Slash, Dave, do you know what that is? What? It's a completely free swing minute where you have, in order to block it, isn't a button. You would have to, like, move your sword to, to like, block it. Yeah, and sure. And even how I think that would work, you know, like Rocket League, how there's gravity. So you always fall down to the floor. And in order to fly, you have to boost. So essentially with that mechanic, so you would, you would pick, like, a guard where you would default your arms would swing back to, like this. But then you press a button, it was like the swing minute button, and then you could start moving your sword around. What the fuck, bro? What is that guy doing, bro? Alright, let's go. I love that overhead. Bro, cheater. I didn't, try, I didn't trust the tech there. Uh, I did the duck, but I... 
I was too afraid. What is that? Ooh, clean. What? Where's the duck? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> No. What was that gamble? Dude, it was... If I got that jab, you were lost, bro. No Name said about five minutes until TL match starts. Okay. Alright. No Name, actually, could you just tell us when it's about to start and then we'll join you? I would appreciate that. Because then there will be no downtime. I just, I just leaked the tech. Thanks. By accident. Oh, the, 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 the duck tech? Yeah. <laughs> Happens. One of my favorite footworking moments in all time in comp was was a, against you. I think maybe in the two v two or the three v three Delirious Arena, you specialed me, and I like I hooked around right here. I hooked around your sh your shoulder and like walked around it. <laughs> yeah, I, it is possible. Yeah. Fuck my life. Ooh. Easy. No way. That's just slow. Where's cancel player a better? You're lying. What? Ooh, what? Come on now, bro. It's over. I stabbed you. Nope. <laughs> How can I get better at ducking swings? Vladimir says. Um, what I do is I wait until I absolutely know that they're going to swing over me, right? Because obviously ducking is very, you know, low. And then I do it. So, and another thing is you cannot block while ducking. So this is how low I am when I duck, but this is how low I am when I block. You can see I stand up. Like my character stands up even if I'm crouching. So when Sun God swings, I will duck. And I basically just have to like put faith in myself that I will properly duck and that he will swing over me. And it doesn't really work that often it, against the same person twice because they could just aim down from then on. If you're fighting an opponent that looks down often, I wouldn't even try it. But then I would start jumping, bro, so. All right, let's go. So basically when you duck, don't block. Noob. Bro. This guy behind us with the muck voice is so annoying. <laughs> bro. Easy. <laughs> you go for a jab, no <laughs> <and> kick. <laughs> <sighs> Cab saver excelled alt slash whiff, my beloved. Yeah. Stratus Angels said that many of the people in the renowned voice chat were horrid. Yeah. I mean, like, what do you expect from Rust for this, players, bro? For, for afterwards, because we, we switched off the bug mode and went to the regular mode, where you start with no base, and it worked perfectly, and it was like super fun. Ooh. How'd you block that? Easy. Easy. <laughs> Why the gamble? Got the heavy cap so sword slow. All right, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna end you. Now Go it's ahead, serious. Bro. You're not gonna like what I do next, bro. Fuck. Nice. Fuck. Easy. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, bro. That first overhead was, was too long. I definitely spaced that one. Man, the spins still get me. I'm somewhat new to duels, though, says Noogie. Yeah, I mean, I love duels. Well, let me not say that. 
I definitely don't love him. Dude, I think... Okay, no name said we're starting. Let's go. Tio. Boom. All right. Byzantine Empire versus Revival Eternal. Everyone watching, this is going to be the last match we commentate. We're getting pretty tired, if you couldn't already tell. At least I am. And I am... I, my brain turns off after a comp match like that. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 really tough, man. Um, I definitely have had a lot of fun, but it's six hours of gaming. I'm not 12 anymore. This is really tough. So, thanks a lot for whoever tuned in. We appreciate you, and we appreciate you appreciating us. So, let's give some really good commentary for these guys. Just getting the scoreboard as per usual. All right. Byzantine Empire on attack and Revival Eternal on defense. The last match of the night that we're going to watch. Let's see how it goes. Already off to a pretty even start. Wall of Flesh meets the other Wall of Flesh. With the team fight looking like it's a 5v4 with Byzantine Empire coming out on top, 5v3, can BE pull it back? The Ugandan switch from BE Nugs, unfortunately, was not that fruitful, but it doesn't matter because it's a 4v1 and they finish him off with throws. Good job, Byzantine Empire, pushing both carts as expected. Sun God, what's the prediction? Prediction is, I think uh, I'd have to go with BE here because they just have so much experience. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, put the poll up. So these guys been playing since the start. Yep, I'm pretty sure Byzantine Empire is actually the oldest currently existing clan. So, you know, good on them. Yeah. There's the poll, is, ladies and gentlemen. Like Go ahead and vote. Century. Yeah, 13th century. Revival oh, Doses yeah. thinks he can get off that heel. Unfortunately, Legatus Cody does not let that happen. The experience is showing Byzantine Empire pushes strong. Good job to BE. The cart has been stopped, but not for long as Legatus Cody gets an amazing tackle with a decent feint, and the Pullman BE Viking walks in to save the day. Control over the catapult has been taken, while Byzantine Empire 4 goes pushing the cart to finish off this one person. I don't think that was the smartest decision, but regardless, Revival Eternal backing off, deciding that they'd rather regroup. Besides one of them, though, Emu God... Thinking he can take the 1v2. Unfortunately, it did not happen. Another Revival Eternal member, unfortunately, getting ganked. And Raider with a rocket launcher misses his Danax throw. And Doses gets out alive. Let's see if Byzantine Empire can push this cart the remainder of the way. It looks like they are going to get it. Good job to Byzantine Empire. That was one of the fastest pushes we've seen. It also looks like Revival Eternal is opting in for the Heavy Mace as their superior weapon. Decent choice, gentlemen. And they also have a Highland Sword. Very interesting. All right. Do I do I hear the catapult getting loaded? <laughs> we might be looking at some nice team kills here. Warden doing a good defense. I believe Warden's actually Air Menelik. Now, Air Menelik, I believe, would be their strongest player. He is an LTS fanatic. He is insane. You know, very tough guy to go against. He's actually using the Messer here instead of his signature uh, longsword gameplay. Interesting. I noticed in chat somebody asked, uh, hey, either Sun God or Dave, could I ask you guys, when you're not busy with this tourney and you have free time, if I could get some fight experience with you guys? Sure. Just DM us. Okay. Looks like they're getting some good shots off with the catapult, but that was way overshot. I don't even think it did damage. That one was a little better, but also too undershot. Come on, Byzantine Empire. Three years of experience. You can you can line up your shots. They're defending the catapult well, but they need to land their shots. It looks like Revival Eternal needs to regroup before they can actually take down 
Oh, and unfortunately, one of Revival's men gets killed by the catapult. Unfortunate. Yeah, Medify is where I do my coaching, Vladimir. I'll go ahead and put it in the chat. You gotta show myself, you know how it is. It's also in the description. Oof. Warden's doing so good in a 2v1. It's punished, though. But you maintain control over the catapult, but again, they're not actually hitting the door. Yeah, they need to hurry. Now they're Time is the Good score. Job. Oh, Medify is, um, it's basically, if you've ever heard of Fiverr, it's like Fiverr, but for video game coaching. It's a service specifically for you to hire people to coach you on video games. It's not a money uh, transfer yeah. site. If you want a, a good sale, a sales pitch for uh, for Dave's coaching, I, I took Dave's coaching back in the day, like two years ago maybe, two years ago before a summer tournament, trial by bud, and uh, you know, placed fifth overall at the end. So that's that's uh, going to be the fifth best duelist <laughs> uh, out of the, out of the people who showed up. <laughs> if Dave had to play a sport, what sport would he play? Probably soccer. I see people here saying that Byzantine Empire is probably going to take the dub. Uh, Dave would be ping pong for sure. Ping pong? There's no way. Maybe a foosball guy. Table tennis? Foosball? Is foosball sport? <laughs> yeah, man. Is foosball a sport? I don't think so. All right, Byzantine Empire going on to the town square. Capture the second objective. Let me go ahead and adjust the score. I had the... Scoreboard off for some reason. Odd. It's back up now. BE with three points. I'm sorry, two points. Okay, it looks like BE is going for the left side attack. With a flank or coming in to maybe start the cap. Everyone yeah, fighting off point right cap. now. Every, besides that one guy, everyone fighting off point. Oh, but he leaves. See, if that one guy, if that one BE guy stayed in the zone, he would have kept the capture because they need a. It's it's win by win by one. So. Yeah, I agree. They must have an extra person. To stop the cap. Looks like they won the team fight regardless. So. Byzantine Empire capturing this objective, but revival eternal spawns. We're pretty close. Interesting collision here, full on. Everybody ganking everybody. Pause. Looks like Revival Eternal is going to come out on top with it being a 5v3. 6v3. Oh, a lovely leaping strike from the Devastator. Do you think Torn Banner would ever add the Flail to Chivalry 2? No, never. No. no. They're, I'm not joking, they are too self conscious of their abilities as developers to do it. I don't know why, because like some of their best work is their content. So like that's where they specialize. I don't know why they'd be that self-conscious, but they are. Revival Eternal actually getting a good amount of kills here. One of Byzantine wow. Empire's men walks into the oil pot, but heals it yeah, off. Yeah, that, that was, that was a, uh, a, an error. They just got the BE got squeezed into a small space. They had they were yeah. they're up against the fire pot and they just got melted. And now, now the capture amount is back to zero. They have to restart here at six minutes. This yeah. could be an objective that revival comes back next map and wins. Maybe. They yeah, on time that to is. give a further explanation on them being self conscious, it's just they anytime they try something new or experiment, they get negative feedback. So um, unfortunately, Torn Banner isn't that, like, ambitious. <laughs> so they, when they get that negative feedback, instead of, like, taking it and then improving on that feedback, they'll just stop experimenting. So... See, look, look at Arab Mana Lake go. Look at him clean. Yeah, definitely. He finally um, is punished. Oh, no, he doesn't. They don't get the disarm punish. Uh, damn. Yeah, get the second one. Like, how can I, how can I say it? 
if you look at like the guitars, people told them we don't like these Frankenstein ass weapons. So then they released some normal weapons, that being the cavalry sword. And next is going to be the Godin dog, which is even simpler. So it's just like, why are they going to try and release another weapon that works weird and has funky animations? If people are just going to shit on them and get mad at them for it. And also it's the development time needed to make it. Make that, that's a, in, incredibly overestimated. People say it's, it would be incredibly complex. It wouldn't, I promise you. They figured it out before 10 years ago with no budget. They could figure it out again. On the same engine, no less. That was UE4? No, UE3, but, you know, obviously it, it's a dev team with... Transfers. A dev team with 10 plus six years of experience on that engine. And Byzantine Empire attack successfully looks like the spawns are now further for revival eternal if be wins this fight they take it yeah that's what i'm saying so flail was in chivalry one so they figured it out they knew what they were doing they managed to make it work perfectly fine they could do it again it's it's not an issue of can it's an issue of like will they and they won't well dave there's something going on because they uh you're having a hard time finishing a map. <laughs> I know, dude. I think, I think uh, Citadel will be nice. Revival Eternal losing the town square for good, it looks like, on this time. And yeah, Revival Eternal is going to have to back up to the fourth objective. BE now with a score of three. All right. Zafne is just like chilling, letting himself die. In. <laughs> it was the respawn, but they're not killing him. Yeah. Are they trolling? <laughs> <laughs> was the two handed flail in Chivalry 1? No. You see, if they did release a two handed flail, that'd be dope. That's what I would want. I would give it to Devastator. I'd give All it to right. my crossbow, man. <laughs> A wall of flesh meets the wall of flesh, and it looks like BE is taking the dub in this team fight. And they have simply just decided to pass the banner. We already have a man at arms rushing over to build the ladder, and he's gonna go right up. Are they gonna intercept him? I don't know. No, it looks like they aren't. No, they will. They have somebody over there. Yeah, you know, this is a good example of like where experience really comes into play. Like, we, we uh, when we were playing Vandals, we got wiped on the first try on the bridge section. And Old Knight, it's like, that's it. Don't go out. It's over. Back to the banners. And, you know, it, it worked out. We held them the banners for a long time. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Looks like Byzantine Empire got one banner left. They, sorry, two banners left to destroy. And they're fighting pretty okay here. You got the Paul in here trying to win a 1v3. That's not going to happen. Byzantine Empire gets another banner with only one remaining, the center one. Unfortunately, they have all of their members getting farmed here, and Revival Eternal takes it. <laughs> we got a poor BE member trying to heal there unsuccessfully, though. That's air. Do you casters even enjoy any Tenosian map? I do. Sun God doesn't. Well, no, I actually am an Ask and Deer fan. Closeted asking dear fan. Guilty Closeted. pleasure asking dear fan. Closeted. I, I, I have hit a uh, hundred plus kill games. I feel like in like thirty percent of all my asking dear games in the past four months, which is like a pretty big ratio. There's something about that map that's quite you know, just it's a meat grinder. Meat grinder of a map, which I enjoy. Yeah, business and empire. About to destroy the Banner, and they take it. Good job, Byzantine Empire. That is the fourth objective done and dealt with. Um, I don't know. I mean, I actually... People would say that, like, I'm a Torn Banner apologist when it comes to content, because I actually like every map. For the most part. Montcrux is the only one that I would say is, like, actually bad. But, like, even that map has its redeeming qualities. I, I, I do not like Bridgetown. Uh, I think I think um, 
the towns the town objectives are fine once you get once you get uh, to the gate uh, but when it comes to burning down things I really do not like the terrain it's it's quite disorienting and this this is like super specific but you have like slopes coming from all these different angles and you have structures that if you even go near you catch on fire so everything yeah. is it feels awkward it feels disorienting and confusing because the color palette also makes Tenosia, uh you know a little kind of like blend in a little bit so I don't know. The Revival Yef just won a 1v2 to defuse the bomb there. It was actually pretty uh, pretty impressive. Who's the Revival Chad using the Polaxe? I actually don't know. I'm going to have to see. Can CKG finish off both of these of guys? Trying to just, just get one trebuchet going. Revival's fighting on both sides. They're yeah, they're taking their time. I do not see a Polaxe, so... But this guy, Yeth, if you're talking about the guy using the War Axe to revival Yeth. <clears throat> yeah, red and yellow look too similar. So yeah, that's why I think the Tenosians should have been green and yellow instead of yellow and green. I know that sounds stupid, but like, you know, I, I think they just should have made like their, their team color green. I feel like that would have made everything made a lot more sense. Especially because a lot of the UI elements are yellow. But whatever. Byzantine Empire looks like it's doing fairly okay here until they... I noticed that they're in a 2v4, so they have to disengage. But they're actually getting some kills here because Revival is just walking around and unfortunately taking some L's. We have a 4v... Three here with Byzantine Empire at a player deficit. Also, where's where's the Tenosian Janissary armor? Janissary? Excuse me. Yeah. You know the Ottoman Jan Janissaries? Nope. They would go perfect because they were they were like Slavic uh, child slaves that were you know enslaved and then raised to be soldiers, uh, elite soldiers of, of the Ottomans, I'm pretty sure. And uh, no idea, bro. Everyone, everyone uses like their their white their white uh head on the ten oceans. <laughs> I do not know my history as well as you do. Mm, Phantom says I wish I could get a normal sword for the Guardian class. Yep. But you can't, unfortunately. Play man at arms. Interesting. Byzantine Empire Viking. Doing really good here with the short sword. Unfortunately, though, it gets taken down by Yeth. And the remaining BE man at arms disengages. And then gets hit by an awesome headshot from Yeth. That was a great throw. Yeah. I think one handed spear is a bit broken. Well, Nugi, that's why we have it listed as a superior weapon. Which means if you have the one handed spear, you cannot have the halberd, pole hammer, heavy mace, or spear. Ugh. Yeah, I think that, that was just like a, a choice uh, of engagement failure in, in this fight we're watching. Yeah. Our Yeth didn't engage, and he he allowed the uh, the what could have been a three v two to be a two v two. Then one guy died. And he's and letting himself again. bleed out, dude. He's wasting his respawn potential. What is this, Yeth? You got yeah. it, F ten man. You got it, F ten. They're not gonna he's kill you. It. Yeah. It's unfortunate. And then the Pullman came in and finished the fight. Yeah, get I it, think. It. Let's see how the other one's doing. Eh, they're just they're still up. Byzantine Empire just, just wants to guarantee the plant on this one. You know, this is really pushing it to the wire, Dave. It is pretty close, but I still think they're going to get both. Two minutes 30. Byzantine Empire only really has to win two. one or two team fights. And they have like three or four in them with the timer, so you know. I think they have they have like two max because they got they got a plant before thirty seconds. Lovely drags by Nugs and a great special. No, yeah, they're totally gonna plant here. The e. Nugs getting a decent plant off, and a lovely special. Oh my days, bro! Great war axe gameplay.
looks like B will take it here. Yeah, no, Byzantine they, Empire 100% has the B did a great job, but they weren't that fast. They, they leave it up to chance to see what happens next game if, if Revival can push through faster or push through at all. Yeah, I think... Can we get a defuse here? No, stop. No, they don't, they don't have enough people here to potentially defuse. It's just not going to happen. Boom. Well fought, well fought. All right, BE gets five points. Well done, Byzantine Empire. Be proud, be proud. Oh man, I've been ignoring chat. Um, let's see. I saw you guys meant earlier, best way to say KYS to a random. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh man, I'm, I'm getting close to burning out here. Sound good? Yeah, it's tough. Uh, kind of want, like, revival to get held at the first objective. <laughs> so I can go no. good. That's bad. That's really bad of me. But I don't want to poison them. I need to get out of this chair. All right. Yeah, bro. You'll stay up and cast me, Vladimir. I'll just leave the stream on and you just type out what's happening. <laughs> Let me tell you, any, anyone who's interested in getting the comp, I'd say one of the best uh, things about it is the feeling you get in it during a match, an intense match. It's just it's adrenaline, it's focus. Yeah, you exactly. Know, you really feel it afterwards to kind of drain it. It, it, it takes you, you're surprised, but like. I think that's probably why I'm so exhausted. I don't think I'd be exhausted if I was just casting. Yeah, I probably would. <laughs> yeah. Back, 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 uh. I used, to, I used to always take naps after our comp matches. I would like forcibly fall asleep for an hour afterwards. Bruh. Alright. As I've gained experience. Did I, did I get bit. scoreboard? Yeah, I did. Okay, awesome. Alright, so. Switching sides. Revival is now on the offensive with Byzantine Empire on defense. Byzantine Empire low-key winning this team fight with it being a 6v4, 6v2, 6v3. Something like that. A lovely throw with a throwing mallet, but unfortunately, that's not what you need to win the 2v6. Yeah, I think whoever is watching and isn't already in competitive, you're missing out, man. It's more accessible than you would expect. CKG going for a Raider with a rocket launcher, misses, unfortunately, and then gets tackled, but not punished. Oh, he did get punished, unfortunately. But I think he can still sort of let it kill on this knight with the Messer. Decent drag from the knight with the Messer. It didn't work out, though. The fight is pretty even with a 3v3. Business Empire now on the 3v2. And it looks like he's fighting a knife. Can this guy actually hold it off? Go, go. One jab will put this guy down. Nice feint. Oh, imagine. He, he probably could have got a uh, an alt stab punch off and killed him. <laughs> an alt an alt jab. <laughs> an alt stab uh, punch. Yeah. Like Thirty damage would have taken him out. Revival Yeth actually gets a good punish on the kick, and now they get to push the cart because of that. So good on you, Yeth. They're, they see they're fighting here, these two, right? But they're ignoring the cart. Can't get too focused up on the kills, even though they need to die. It's like, objective is more important. Emu God, unfortunately, yeah, well. mistimes that counter because of an awesome 360 by the BE. Knight goes for the Uganda switch, jumps, swings, getting hit in the back, kills the baby battle, and hits his teammate in the back for good measure. Dodges Whoa. the Raider with a rocket launcher and then gets taken down by the sprint charge. Revival Yef here to win the 1v2. Let's see it. Unfortunately, ain't gonna happen. BE Viking making sure that him and his team are ready for the next 2v2 with the Uganda switch on the Vanguard. Will it work out in their favor? No, it won't. Unfortunately, Byzantine Empire are good, but they can't win every fight. I really like Emu God's flow. I like the way he moves. Yeah, he great, definitely is. Great special coming in. That is... That is one on one. That is that is perfect. Holding block king. 
It still gets hit, but you <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bro, they won the 2v1, so you can't even complain. Nah, Vladimir, we're, we're almost done. We got enough energy in us to finish off this match. We're almost so many babies on the ground. And it looks like one of them gets up just to get downed again. Two baby battles. Oh, my days. And he finishes them off. Jeez. What is happening oh, here? Oh, they weren't paying attention. CKG comes in as ambusher with dagger. Gets a lovely special off on Viking and starts going crazy with the combos. Ground warfare, as they say in chat. Yeah. You know, Sun God, you know what's going to bug me? Tonight, what? I wanted to go for more BM in our match, but I couldn't because I was too focused. Yeah, after Randy disconnected, it became a focus 100%. Yeah. Full force. Yeah. I actually had a baby battle with with KC. Uh, <laughs> T Bird killed killed KC, and then I got like jabbed or kicked down. And then he went to revive KC, and I hit him twice and, and put him back down. And then Teeper didn't know what to do, and then I killed KC on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wookie, uh, BM bad, means uh, bad manners. I basically wanted to disrespect the enemy team by being rude in chat and calling them bad names. But I couldn't because I was too focused. Uh, I think that's off target. Or no, they're not going for it. That. Wow, okay. Okay, Revival, I see you. All right, girlfriend. Close air support. Off. Oh, just off. Aryeth realizes, hey guys, we gotta push the, gotta push the battering ram. Come on now. It's pushing. Oh. Some decent Still movement there. getting interrupted by Viking. Gets a nice Ooh. hit off on the behind. He just misses the Pullman. Yeth realizes that he's jab health, so he horns. Gets a decent horn off, unfortunately. Didn't have enough time to actually get that regeneration and still gets one shot. And CKG is still going for these catapult kills. <laughs> Slaying with the catapult, but it doesn't matter. I like that. The team is at a player deficit. It, they might not be able to take it even with those good catapult shots. Emu God here almost dying. Unfortunately, that bandage was a waste and Emu God takes the L anyway. Okay. Chain smoking Vin Diesel by Liquor Beats. Okay then. BE Chili in a 1v2. Actually doing decently well, especially with the dodge cancels. Nice counters. 1v3. Still doing decent, but he's low. Rated with the rocket launcher. Gets the shot off, but then dies as a result. Is throwing OP? Definitely not. He died. That was a. Uh, that was a. Uh bad example of OP throwing. <laughs> Truly is OP in every other situation. Fair enough. Go to the ram! Go to the ram! They don't want Forget to. That guy. Go they, to the ram. they don't want to go to the ram. They don't want to. Guitars are legal, right? <laughs> guitars are legal, yeah. Okay, well, CKG is using guitars, so I just have to check. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. A little bit of ref action. Yes, guitars are legal. That's okay. A crazy choice. That's a that's a crazy choice. Katars? Yeah, I don't I don't know about all that, bro. This a miss revival. Come on, we can't afford these misses right now. The they the ambusher, the ambusher with the Katars is on the catapult, bro. There's no way. Do do, do, you, uh, do you pull your Katars out faster than other weapons? Yes. Does he want to be able to get off and defend himself? Yes, you do pull it out faster than other weapons. That's smart then. That's smart. Dude. <laughs> Is it smarter than just like, I don't know, Dagger, which also comes out pretty fast? <laughs> See, he pulls, he pulls out the special right away. Oh my days. It's like fighting a cat. Aw. <laughs> uh, Dosis hits the tree and that causes him to die. Revival. Getting their okay, catapult here's when destroyed. Emu God goes, or CKG goes, go to the battering ram. Just turn right, man. Go all the way. 
go all doses the way. Do, doses will do it. Doses will do it. Look, while that fight's happening there, bro, Doses... gets intercepted by the respawn. Yeah. And that's their best player respawning. <laughs> their best player respawning. Dude, he, the Nobody, best player's he, best, best player's blind. he doesn't even know. Nobody turns it. around, he, he'll get one. Ooh. <laughs> Randall like, keeps him up there, bro. Crazy. Yeah, Vladimir, um, I actually agree that they should have like a like ar like armored fists, which are like guitars, but they have blunt bonus. I think that would be much cooler than guitars. They might even be a lot slower too, but just like basically what I Captain Agatha wanted. Captain Agatha wanted like a version of fists that stun. And I think that'd be cool. No, I, I think you would need to keep them uh, stunless, but you could block. And if it, if it had the fist like move set, that would be really strong. Yeah, that that I I would like. That's what I mean. I guess, I, I guess they don't have to stun, but I mean like you know basically, a better version of fists. That's well, what Captain Agatha wanted. Right. You know what? If they did stun and he didn't block, that would be interesting. They didn't block. No, I think you're going crazy. Uh, no, they would definitely no. have to block. No, but if they didn't block, but <laughs> they had they had a they had a stun on jab. Stun, a stun. Everything is a stun on jab. Uh, regular fists don't. Oh yeah, I get I get your point. Yeah, that'd be cool too. Cause cause some people can if they take a throwing knife out, so they have a stun on jab, they can kill some really good players with just fists and a throwing knife. Right. All right, so four minutes left on the clock. Revival needs to repair their catapult. We have CKG down. Nobody going for the revive, unfortunately. Byzantine Empire kind of fighting on all fronts here. Um, but I still think that they're doing decent. As long as they Ooh, win nice their wins. Emu God. I like this guy. He's like all over the place. Not really fighting okay, on there. Here's a chance to get a lot of damage. Someone needs to go ram. Okay, one guy's going ram, two guys going ram, maybe? Okay, two guys going ram. Yeah, it looks like it him. looks like they're not okay. gonna get it though. No. But now they're hitting the catapult and those those people are tying the other team up. Yeah, they have ram. four people on catapult. There's no way BE can stop that. And they might even get some kills with it too. No, unfortunately not. Team kills. Yeah. B does not attempt to intercept because they want to defend the battering ram. And Revival Eternal probably takes it with this one. Yep. Nice job. Whew. Okay. So, I haven't been keeping track of the score. Revival Eternal now at two points on objective three. Eight and three quarters minutes on the clock. Byzantine Empire matches them at the door. First team to not backpedal to the town square. Revival with 62 kills. Actually, it's now tied. 62, 62 kills, both teams. Very interesting. And that, that's what I'm talking about. Like, if they're killing the same, Revival could have employed other strategies to further the objective. Not just try to get kills and and go through the most basic way to get the objective of of waiting for them to respawn and trying to get all your stuff in, all your objective points in while they're respawning. You can do you know different maneuvers to pull them off. And try. Yeah, I ways. agree. I agree. There needs to be a slight improvement on strategy, which they seem to have already with a three-three split in mid and right side. Fights happening all around. Byzantine Empire surely will hold this. It's a 6v2, 6v3, while some people fight off point. I don't think that Revival Eternal will be able to win that team fight. They're going to have to reset. Oh, I, I haven't read chat. They need to add boomerangs to Shiv 2. Yeah, I think, like you said, that's definitely a joke. <laughs> I don't think I want a boomerang. Nah, we um we have to be happy with our golden dog. Interesting. Yeah, no boomerangs, bro. BE actually gets the warhorn off for the team heal. 
and they decide to reset on objective with their banner while revival eternal still fails to take the objective they are trickling in at this point two people three people against six four five and the full team fight starts can they kill any of the be guys looks like they killed one that's definitely what they need to start off but be actually gets their guardian behind and gets some good damage in on the pullman to where they win the 3v3 here yep The new weapon will drop a 2.11. Uh, Nugi. Yeah, gonna be rough to take this in six minutes. They've kind of wasted the first two minutes. They definitely need to uh, do a little bit better. Oh, man. If they so plan to close. take this. Enable kill out feed. I haven't had kill feed on this entire time. What is the Godin dog? It's the new weapon that'll drop. It's a, it's a thick stick with a spike. Revival really needs to stop trickling in and have proper spawn webs. Yeah, I agree. They gotta stop. How many times? Then again, I mean, they are slowly eating away at BE's respawns. And the more they do that, the quick, you know, if they keep doing that, eventually BE will spawn further away. Yeah, Vladimir, unfortunately, it's just a stick with a spike on the end. It even has the same animations as the Heavy Mace, everybody's favorite weapon to fight. We would have the drags of the Heavy Mace. No, shorter release, longer wind up. Worse excels, worse drags. So is it just a bad weapon, dude? Yep. <laughs> I genuinely don't know why they're making it. Like, it's just worse than the heavy base in every way. The only thing it's not worse than is it has an awesome special attack. So, it's got that going for it. Ah, they keep doing this. They keep adding, like, stupid specials. No, just dude, you're gonna, you're gonna like it. It's awesome. It's a cool special attack. No, you like cool special attacks. That's your thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like... A nice variety and wind-ups and releases and and that kind of thing. Byzantine Empire actually manages to take back the town square and it is slowly decapturing. Four minutes left on the clock. Will Revival Eternal continue to trickle or will they group up and get one good team fighting to take this objective? With the capture progress going down, I'm not sure. BE Nugs almost took an L there. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Sun God, it's it's slowly like getting buffed. Like every update, they buff it, right? But at, the, at its current state, it is still worse than the heavy miss. It it currently well, I mean, has a longer wind up and a shorter release. Literally worse excels well, it and worse drives. Should be worse than the heavy miss because it made something better than the heavy miss, and that would be insane. Well, I I mean, it's worse. The fact that it's worse than the heavy miss wouldn't be a problem if it didn't have heavy miss animations. You feel me? So it's a worse version of something that already exists. That's the problem. Like, I think you'd agree with me. Uh, you, you, like, you would ag like, I would agree with you, but... A lot of the one hands have the same animation, but they have different purposes and such and different use cases. So, Sun, Sun God, here's why I don't... I, I think it's sad. It has less range. It is slower. It has shorter release windows. And it does less damage. So tell me, what purpose will it serve? <laughs> uh, RP, I guess. <laughs> LARPing. LARPing. LARPing as a, as, a, as a peasant who worked in a, uh, a lumber yard. And That's actually what some... it is. Historically, it's a weapon that is like not, like like very cheap, you know? Like yeah. easy to make. Mass produced. Byzantine Empire wins again with the clock at 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Can they actually hold Revival Eternal on this objective? Revival Eternal wins a little bit more every time, but if they allow Byzantine Empire to decap the point consistently, then it might be too late. And are they throwing by having a Qatar user? I'm not sure. CKG going for the special. Unfortunately, that weapon doesn't stun, and he gets killed instantly. Yeah. 
Qatar is great in team fights when you have the advantage, but if you're starting even, he's not going to put out enough pressure. Yeah. Also, you spelled it basically correctly, Vladimir. The only difference is there's an E after the O, but other than that, you spelled it correctly. I did play Star Wars Battlefront 2, 2004. Really great game. I would always like to play like the space battles and uh, fly into the enemy ship and take down their core and stuff, commando style. Yeah, I also I played it as well. Very cool game. One of the best PlayStation games of all time. Byzantine Empire again winning this team fight with 90 seconds on the clock and almost no capture progress. Can Revival Eternal take the win? At the moment, it's a little bit of a skill diff here, but the kill count in Byzantine Empire's favor dramatically. I believe it takes a little bit over 30 seconds to fully cap this point, which they're going to have to do. So unless they completely wipe and melt BE, then I believe that is game set and match. You know what I actually yeah. enjoyed? I enjoyed the new Battlefront 2 as well, quite a lot. Like EA's Battlefront 2. Genuinely, I thought it was a great game. Revival actually doing a little bit better right now with it being even 4v3 with a lot of the business and empire members hurt and unfortunately one of them tries to disengage but gets killed by nugs's throw and nugs uses a horn they manage to get up their down player and kill the straggler very interesting again revival eternal is trickling with 20 seconds on the clock can they actually take this objective i don't think so i think this is pretty much it here there is simply no time to capture the objective and overtime is not a thing in shiv 10 seconds left it was well fought. Good attempt to Revival Eternal. They put up a good fight. That would make it end at 5-2 to two BE's victory. Well fought. BE is looking quite strong this league. Yep. Uh, you, took, you took a Revival, a team that stopped another team on the first objective, and, and they stopped them on the yeah. map. That's pretty interesting. Very good. Byzantine Empire, congratulations on that dub. You did a very good job. Definitely should be proud. Kill diff, 34 more kills than Revival Eternal. Very good. It's Vladimir says it's pay to win. It's not. They removed the pay to win aspects of EA's Battlefront 2. It's totally not pay to win. Not at all. Yeah, just play it and you'll see. Okay. Very well done. Well Dude. fought. Everyone. Well fought. Well fought. Good job to everyone who played. Really good job to the winners. For the people who did not win, sucks, but <laughs> there's always next week. Um, definitely were a lot of mostly even matches. There were a few sweeps, but I thought it was really good. So I, I really laughed. think. I cried. Yeah, my left, I cried too. A lot of ups and downs. That was truly an awesome stream. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. We really appreciate you enjoying Dr. our Dave matches. Signing off. Make yes. sure you get metafy.gg slash Dave. Yes, Dave. yes, mfy.gg slash Dave. Thanks a lot, guys, for showing up. It means a lot. If, I hope you enjoyed the stream. If you're events, join the Tournament Grounds Discord. That's Discord gg slash join tg yes let me put that in the chat too oh my god you're also gonna do mfls mfls medieval fighting league which is kind of just first come first serve we'll hop on a 64 server and i'll try to balance the teams and we'll have like you know an intense match with a bunch of sweats just good old 64 gameplay no limit very few rules things go uh pretty smoothly yeah very cool okay that was really neat. Um, I'm glad to have watched all the matches. Thanks a lot for co-casting with me, Sun God, and whoever cast with me earlier, Clan Killer. Thanks a lot. Been real fun, guys. I hope you all enjoy your evening. And it's 11:38 p.m. I'm tired, and I, <laughs> I I need I need my sleep. I need my sleep. Yeah. All right. No problem. And yeah. See also, ya. thanks to the refs. Oh my God. No name. Funk, Eruption, 
Sam, thank you so much for being the referees. We really appreciate it so much. They did a very good job, sir. I don't know. How many people did we have watching? Um, we had 47 as it currently stands. During, during the matches, it was it was like 60. Yeah, pretty good. 60 okay. to 75 today. Pretty good. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I'm in the East Coast. All right. You guys have a good rest of your night. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Maybe next week we'll do it again. I don't know if I have the energy to cast two weeks in a row. Oh, man. But we'll see. All right. You all have a good one. Goodbye. Bye-bye.